This is great because they decide to go digging and they just, it's just the two of them. That face right there. <laughs> Look at that face right there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. So they dig a hole and they find all the meat. They dug a hole, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this, oh my god, look at that. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh, <yes>. oh, <laughs> oh my the, the caption is just like, you know, I've had better, but it's acceptable. <laughs> Uh, uh, I gave you the meat and I gave you the meat. It's writing itself. <laughs> 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 I imagine it's a gay joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just look at these faces. Oh, he's driving home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I got news for you. He's put a bit of spit down there. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Oh, no! 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 Never come so close to dying from laughing. I know. <laughs> that was a horrible pause in the middle of that sentence. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nerdorotic.com, please subscribe. Nerdorotic.com. Cause I'm
hello there. Hi. Oh, I didn't see you there. Time for bro tip. Uh, sorry. How did you know that's what Mark said to me? <laughs> what, what did Count say? If she ain't breathing, you don't have to be leaving oh, or God, something dude. like that. What, like, Count, Count Dankula, whatever, man. how many of her followers Count Dankula has, he deserves three times as many as he has because his, uh-huh. his trolling is so legendary. Holy shit, man. It's just it's it's a it's a very uh it's it's a very underrated skill he has. Uh, they just released sure. his roast yeah. actually. It was yeah. pretty good. I Drinkers it, in it. He must say, yeah. Drink it, so, am I. so are me and Chad. And I was as well. That really surprised yeah. people. They're like, "What the hell is Chad doing here?" <laughs> no, I okay. play video games with Dankula. We're like bros. Not so much anymore, but yeah, mm-hmm. we, we had a heap of fun. Right on. Well, he's big time now. Welcome to Friday Night yeah. Tights. My name is Gary Beekler. Come to you from Nerdrotic and my mom's vagina. And not a really, not a lot to talk about today. It's not a big show. It's not Gary, a big, Gary, big Gary, show. Gary, 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 will you please state your pronouns before, before speaking right. any further, please? That is my demand. And uh, I would feel a lot, everyone here will feel safer if you would just mm-hmm. give us your mm-hmm. pronouns. Uh, uh, who, what, me? That would be my pronoun. It would be fucking you, right? Like Thank fuck you. you. <laughs> it would be. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't. That, that's so lame. That the fact that GI Joe has to do that is like we are getting. I mean, I, I don't want to call GI Joe's an amazing brand. I love the toys. They're great. Love the cartoon. But they're running out of shit to turn woke when they're like getting down to GI Joe. Like Marvel did their best with it. With, well, uh, G.I. Joe's already went through his woke bullshit. They turned Snake Eyes into a woman in the comics. They were giving plus-size females oh, on the front line. They're yeah, like, th- didn't they turn one character yeah. into a lesbian Samoan? It was, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. woman. I, it, it, to be yeah, fair, basically. I'm totally fine with putting all the fat women on the front lines. They can absolve all the bullets they want. <laughs> I think that's a good strategy for the military too. going forward. I'm not going to argue with that. Right. They can put their brave bodies to good use. All <laughs> right. You yeah, know what? It, 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 boys, one, what's that? Fat lesbian Samoan women. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder how that I wonder how that action figure sold. Probably not very well. (laughs) More like an inaction figure. Yeah. So hey yo. It's been a crazy forty eight hours. The Rings of Power and She Hulk finale were all we thought they would be, and so much (laughs) worse. (laughs) Holy shit! Reading those She Hulk leaks Uh, doesn't do it justice to how bad. No, No, actually, anybody reading the leaks would be more entertaining than the show actually was. So, like, I didn't read the leaks. (laughs) I did. I was stunned when they do that thing in She-Hulk. It's like they have completely given up. Whatever vain attempt that they were trying to have any narrative through line, they just threw it out the window, stuff it all, nothing matters. And then what they replaced it with was just crapping on the MCU. That is, what is, what is this show? They yeah. hate when nerds. It was, it was crapping on the show. They hate nerds. Yeah. And they she hate went to superheroes crap on the show to create her ending, which which crashed <laughs> all over the show because her life was shit and she was pathetic. And she <laughs> hates nerds and they hate fandom. It's really yep. fucking clear. They made they made it crystal mm-hmm. fucking clear. Yes, yes. they did. Uh, that image looked like every college bro, like the first time he discovers absinthe. It's just like <sighs> green and oh. Oh. Those leaks were the first time where I judged it by how bad it was. I'm like, yeah, this is bad enough to actually be true. Normally you think, no, there's no way that something this absurd could be real, but the more strange and out there it got, the more I'm like, okay, this this is way too detailed to come out of someone's yeah, imagination if they sense. wanted to fake a leak. It was so Imagine specific. Having... Like, we, we never, we, we've never got leaks that are quite that specific down to exact yeah. phrases. Dude, down to, yeah, down to Lady, down to lady I Thor. Think I think I think I quoted Halbrand perfectly today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is true. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, down to Lady Thor being mentioned in the meeting, and the, and calling all of them female, which is uh, it's it. It's I can't almost, I can't do it, Gary. I can't call that? them female. I can't call women female. I know, even though it's they do as them. as they use the term to... themselves earlier in the fucking episode. Earlier in the episode, they use the term themselves. For fuck's sake, they're so stupid. What? 
what is wrong with saying females? I don't understand. Like these these writers, do they want? Do they mean to come off? Like, do they mean to come off? Because the way it comes off is that none of them know any like right wing men. Chrissy, they don't know Chrissy, any men. They don't want to say female because there are women with penises. All they know mm-hmm. is little beta assistants that are running around Hollywood. How many men are left in Hollywood? Not None. many. No. Not no. many. There's none in the writer's room. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I didn't see oh, any. Oh, can't wait for Rings of Power Season 2 with the hall all-female directors. That's going to be great. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy be from Geeks it, and Gamers. It, 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 I, it's true. They wa- they absolutely watch all of us because that's where they got all of their ideas from these shows because they hate our fucking guts. I mean, it is unbelievable. These people, it, it is, they are truly what do you mean these people. Reality. These okay. weird, these weird fucking SJW fat freak weirdo women. That's who. Females, Jeremy. They're called females. 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 <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. <Women's> <laughs> Holy shit, man. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it was two of the worst episodes of television back to back. I've ever seen it, it yeah. and that's not that's not hyperbole it, it is unbelievable but rings of power was worse mm-hmm. yeah. and I can say that very comfortably and that says that speaks volumes because She-Hulk was absolutely ter- terrible on every level but rings of power takes it to uh, I guess it's because it's Tolkien because it's Lord of the Rings but also nothing there is nothing there's not there's no sing- put dare just give me a daredevil cameo in rings of power and i guess i'll find something i can at least say that i like <laughs> like holy fuck there is not a good character there is nothing there is no redeeming quality of anyone in the show nothing and even when they're trying to fake us out with not gandalf being you know sauron but you had already tipped your hand with like you already showed how anyway we'll get into it god fuck these shows man <laughs> yeah. It's just unbelievable. So the just, only good thing of Rings of Power is getting on Friday Night Tights and roasting the living yeah, fuck out of it with my bros. Right. That is literally it. That's the only enjoyment I can find out of these fucking shows. So I'm ready for Friday Night Tights. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. You know, Thanks, j- Jeremy. Just on what you said, Jeremy, about how they're, they're obsessed with us. They really are. They they are so like, like you know, living in uh, hand. everything we living say gets them so much that they were willing to make their entire show and are uh, trying to respond to us. Uh, so it is getting to them so much. They yes. can't handle yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, like, you know, we are here for, room. we're here. We Do you really exist. think they watch? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Or Absolutely. somebody has at least sent them clips and have sent clips. Oh, yeah. And, it's mm, circulating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah. And, and you, you have you know, no idea how fragile these people's ego are. 100% like, when do you think that. this finale was written? Uh, yes, a year yesterday. ago, a year ago. <laughs> well, 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 hang on. I, hang on. I thought power or She Hulk. I think She Hulk might have been written so, last week. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm like, like if they're responding to criticism, like in in real time, basically. But but you know how that we heard there were massive reshoots. I get the impression that when she starts to go off rails, that was all reshoot. Like like they unironically were going to go with that story as it goes out through and everything like that. And they, I feel they reshot the entire thing trying to make a gag out of the end and of course screwed it all up because they tried to set up that plot line if you watch what that what's actually happening like the blood being taken and all that stuff that's all set up in the previous episodes chrissy and then it's thrown out the window they they had a meetup they they had a fucking meetup <laughs> and, and, wow, and they, they, it, and I, they had a fucking meetup okay so like yeah a lot we have been making uh marvel videos i've been since captain marvel so that's three four years now damn right they're watching us damn right oh and, and, we've, we've got a history oh, yes. with a she hulk compliment. and dana schwartz yeah, and dana schwartz has at least enough. got me an ass blocked i know after the videos we made about i'm her, blocked right? too. i'm blocked um, yeah mm-hmm. i'm blocked we all got didn't even talk about the bitch. episode of friday you night guys are we all makers. really uh-huh. I feel like a pacemaker, not a tastemaker. <laughs> oh. Hey. Well, I mean, I know for a fact Lucasfilm hates my guts. Mm-hmm. And that, that's the that's the best compliment I've received in all of my YouTube time was that you, Lucasfilm hates geeks and gamers. They fucking hate everything we stand for. <laughs> Warner Brothers and, not uh, a big, well, so, former regime of well, yeah. Warner Brothers not a very big fan either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, fuck you, Warner Brothers. Yeah, the Warner Brothers right there. didn't I mean, a big fan of him either. So <laughs> Yeah, so fuck Warner Brothers, fuck all these studios. Um, at the end of the day, like I was going to say this, but like for me, when I'm watching Rings of Power, I fucking want to like, 
I just want to end it all. But then I'm like, well, at least I got Friday night tights so I can roast it with my bros. And I think that's how the audience feels. And that's why it's important for us to continue to do this because we guys, we give you guys and girls something to watch and enjoy. And that's us roasting the hell out of it. So shout out to the chat. As shout always. out to the it's chat. Fuck Hollywood. The fellowship. Fuck Hollywood. So hey, the community. The com- <laughs> Kick him. Garrett, he almost kick him. said it. He almost Garrett, kick him. <laughs> kick him. Kick this dumb redneck. As, oh, that was good. As, I, I just want I, I just want to tell you and the audience that I am not the kind of person who says I told you so. But I am the kind of person who says we told you so. We told you so. Yeah, yeah, we told you so. I am, How you I feeling? Think I disagree with Jeremy on surprise, surprise. Uh, which is high mine. Uh, Jeremy, I, 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 I hear you when you say, you know, this is the only place you get for rings of power. I, I slightly disagree. I also like the money. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> which is probably I mean, more than uh, the showrunner is going to get in about tr- six months' you're 100% time. You're 100% right about that, you fucking grifter. He admitted yeah, but, uh, it. Mask you know, off. Uh, he admitted what he admits every fucking day. He said the quiet like these part weirdos out loud. Don't, yeah, he said the quiet part out loud. Like, have he you works ever heard for of money. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy I'm, a, I'm a capitalist, and somebody's got to profit from this shit. Okay? <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. All the way, comrades. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, we've been saying, uh, we've been saying for some time, even before the show, you know, we told you who was going to be Sauron. We told you what was going to happen. And it happened exactly as was foretold. Um, this this show was a disaster waiting to happen, and uh, it, it, I, I kind of text just you know re, just just not does it j- justice. You know when you see something and then you see it on the screen, you're like, oh no, this car crash has multiple car crashes in the car crash, mm-hmm. which is which is There's absolutely in incredible. Car crash. It's a ten yeah. pile up instead of uh, one. And I purposely didn't want to read the She Hulk uh, spoilers because. I really just wanted to see if my soul would leave my body <laughs> watching the finale. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see if I could look Out back body at my, my empty husk, you know, just there watching it. Like, and I, I couldn't even, I couldn't have even made up uh, the finale that she hoped. You just just make the biggest load of shite you can. It probably would have been way more um, sensical than than this. And as, and as Shad said, and I was going to say myself. They have literally just spent however much money, nine episodes, uh, reing, reing that they, 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 we are in their fucking heads. We're living rent free. I'm off furniture shopping tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to pick out a nice little cooker for the kitchen area. They are so fucking mad. And do you know the, the stupidest thing about this is the best way to go fuck you to us lot is make good TV. Yeah. That's yeah, the best fuck you you, you can possibly Whoa. do. Because then we have to come in here on Friday Night Tights and go, do you know what? what? That, was, that was actually pretty fucking good. Just like, and if you think we wouldn't do it, just look at Gary and Mauler and Shad uh, and, and, you know, Jane Theory, whoever, who goes onto the, the uh, House of the Dragon, which I'm not watching, so goes onto the House of the Dragon uh, streams that they do, and they were just like, hey, we thought this was going to be a disaster, but do you know what? This is good stuff. Because we are here to, to actually, you know, hopefully, you know, talk honestly about fandom and what's been put into fandom. And so if something's good, we're going to turn your head onto it. And and <laughs> the, 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 it's so funny that the, the companies, all these people that are, oh, we're going to spend fucking money, at money creating a nine episode series going, oh, YouTube is a fucking horrible. Uh, Could have just put that money and made a good show and gone, fuck you. That's a good show, mate. Yeah, and we go on incapable fair point. Of doing that. I know, they but their response, their response to us ripping apart terrible media is like they're making fun of all the bad things Marvel's making. We'll make the worst thing possible just to own them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow. you've given us more material than we could have ever asked for. This is not. A, they actually think they're getting an own by having oh, those man. stupid repurposed talking lines. Your, your shows are shows. scripts for us to tear apart. <laughs> your your shows are scripts for us to do these streams, which is a show that people want to fucking watch. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, all, all it does, like when they do shit they like hate us. all it does is open more people's eyes to how they truly feel. Because there were some yeah. people that might not have got the message yet, who might have been like, you know, I'm not a big fan of these, but whatever, it's entertainment. When you watch something like that, it gets harder and harder to refuse what is actually going on. These people fucking despise you if you yes. don't think exactly like they do. Yeah, yep. she hope was nothing, nothing but helped every single person that they deemed is bad in their show. All I did, it helped all of us. It just helped mm. us. It just gave us more credibility. Is all that finale did. I mean, that was I mean, bad. The, the irony, Jeremy, finales did that. Both well, of the them irony, yeah. Well, the irony with She Hope particularly was I hold everybody else responsible, apart from me. Mm -hmm. Apart from me, the woman who just kept fucking up and fucking up and fucking up. And then she was just like, you have to, you, you have to take responsibility for your actions and not one fucking person because they are so fucking blind and dumb to what they really truly are because obviously Jenna is a representation of the writers. They are so blind and dumb, they think it's everyone else's fault but their own. Wow. And it was worse. It was and the it's fact the first place to fucking look. She almost killed a guy in front of, like, the police force, essentially, that were pointing <laughs> guns at her face to stop her killing this person. And she got out of prison immediately with just, like, a tag, essentially, don't do it again. And she, like, the accountability was so awful for her to actually have, she changed all of reality just to avoid it. Like, any consequence of her actions, she ch literally changed all the entire world. She went and complained to the manager, who was essentially God in this case, yeah. just so she didn't have to have any responsibility or accountability for her own actions. Oh. This, this is, what she this did is what they wow. think they can do, though. Just to complain yeah. and change their well, own reality. It, it makes you wonder if they can. She like, changed it, her reality. They can in their reality to around them in LA. The man into her life because she couldn't get one. Uh, mm -hmm. Because yeah, nobody yeah. wanted her. So she had to magic Daredevil yeah. back into her life yeah. oh, to, to want her. These women are fucking insane. Probably barren, never come in their lives, and they can't get a man. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, cats. again, we are at a point where go back to the first, go to go back to Winter Soldier, go back to uh, you know the first Iron Man, go back to that first phase. Now we're at a point where Kevin Feige is self-inserting himself into fucking TV shows yeah. to own yeah. the incels. Holy and fuck! The, yeah. I don't know whether that was a self-insert or whether they were just so desperate to like praise him and make big him yes. up with a TV show that, was that they put him in just so they could score brownie points off yes. him. Yeah, and he's yeah. yeah. Like, this is it a bit much, like dude. This is weird. Hey, thing. Kevin, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you remember? No. If you honestly... remember, Jessica Gao bragged about she fights more with Kevin Feige than anyone else at Marvel studios Fuck off. That, yeah. that's what the lead writer for this said like months ago hey well she was willing to burn burn the place down if she didn't get a job and now she's burnt the place down now she's the, burnt the place yeah <laughs> she got a job yeah. then burnt the place down yeah yeah <laughs> but i mean uh, to quote to quote to quote a famous philosopher uh ryan kennel women ruin everything mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, so, and, and this uh, show this show did nothing to kill the stereotype that women aren't funny at all so, uh, yeah. it, it, it's really not helped it's like no. if you hire unqualified people based on their character characteristics and then they prefer like one of the saddest it. things sorry shad sorry to interrupt well, one of the, i was one just of the, saying it's gonna oh sorry one of the one of the <laughs> shattered go on, one of the, <laughs> i was just saying it's gonna do horrible things for women who actually do have talent and do have merit because now it's gonna spread the perception <laughs> just that, don't well, let him talk what happens when we had a full women writers room look what happened and, and i'd so. rather a thousand talented women go jobless than put one in charge that wrote this show but... <laughs> wow. I think they're jealous of talent. Sorry, though, so Chrissy. One, one of the saddest, I think, attempts at an own of, of I guess, you know, men in general was uh, they were at the uh, the incel meeting at the uh, intelligentsia, like secret meeting, right? And there was this moment where I guess the leader called another guy like, oh, uh, he's hot. Oh, it, like mm. they tried so hard to like to force in like a, a low key, like homoerotic. Um, yes. It, I would say it, if you look at the closed captions, if you, you looked at the captions, someone said, "Yeah, I'd bang him." Yeah, like that was like no, no. trying to make so guys. One hundred percent. These these woke writers 
we're trying to basically say not only do these are these women up are these guys upset because they can't get laid, but they're also gay. Ha ha! Yeah. Isn't that funny? Now I think that that's funny. Uh, I think using that as an insult very funny, but they're not <laughs> like, supposed to. They're progressive. They want it both ways. Like they want to no. use that as an insult, but at the same yeah. time, yeah. they're the, the we love the gays, we love the theys, we love the trans, uh -huh. be anything. But, but it's they like just call somebody your gay. Two colors. Yeah. Th that's so called the mask off, Chrissy. That's, yeah. that's yeah. called the yeah. mask is like, off. Oh, let me take these strong men down a peg by by calling them gay it's like so you actually feel that way so that that's your way of telling the world like you know just like we do all that shit is bullshit mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah, yeah. we've and... been saying this for fucking ages they are the racists they are the sexists <laughs> they are the homophobes uh... <laughs> holy shit that's Hope even so. better than the show <laughs> better hair dude <laughs> yeah, what was that hair dude uh, that is a better uh, hair that was dude. like a vato hair you know that there's an actual hairstyle so, that vatos so... and, and crime I'm... gangs actually wear are they just gonna like I didn't know they would represent it be like hey Crazy. flashback to what planet hulk was is that like, is that what hey, do you this? vaguely remember that thing that could be cool. Ryan, but we're never Ryan, do, do you think the current regime at Marvel could get a close to making a Planet Hulk? That was no, of course not. But like the 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 introduction of that character, Star? like, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, it's the I result mean... of Planet Hulk because Hulk got busy and had a baby, and baby mama died. You know that's why we got Planet Hulk, World War Hulk. Yeah. So. I, I, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a wrestling analogy that only Az will probably be able to appreciate. This is basically the NWO. Like it was great for like a short period of time, and then they just kept fucking it up so bad. What, 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 the, the the Brown is now in the NWO, dude. Yeah, dude. Like that's what this is. The MCU was the NWO. It was the it was the peak of everything. Like holy shit! And then as soon as it peaked. It fucking collapsed everything and ultimately ran WCW out of business. Jeremy, Maybe do you know Disney's what this is? No, no you, you just, do you know what this is? This is Vince Russo with the belt. Oh, God damn it. You're so right. Holy shit. I don't know what he's talking about. So I'll just or say. David I'll, Arquette, or David I, Arquette. Or David Arquette. I don't anyway, know what they're talking about. Chat, chat, I'll say it's Metallica basically load. Basically, I'm saying, basically, if you look at WCW back in the late 90s, they, it, they seemed unstoppable for a short period of time. And then because they kept overshooting every fucking thing with the success they had, they killed the company. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just saying it's possible. Disney, they, MCU has overshot so fucking bad with the MCU stuff. Like it peaked at Infinity War, in my opinion. That was the peak. Mm -hmm. Since then, this has been downhill ever since. So, yeah. we'll, you know, mm -hmm. time will tell what happens. No, this is it. No, you don't, re you don't reverse from that. They just, it jumped the shark. Marvel jumped the shark officially. With She-Hulk. And they they swung for the fences. They tried to be self-aware and break the fourth wall. And they failed like like you had to plan how big of a fail that was. That was mm. that was either gonna go really funny or really bad. And it went really, mm. really fucking bad. And it's because they took no time. For one, Script Doctor was saying it earlier on the live stream today. They padded their third act with everything. You don't do that. You spread it out over, you had nine episodes. You did not need to watch uh, most of this show to figure out what's going on at the end. You didn't. This is the weirdest review. You erased it all. It's the weirdest <laughs> review I've ever recorded because I usually break down episodes. I didn't even bother. I just said they shot for suit, shoes and fucking got some outfits and uh, and everybody was gay at the end. The end. And, that the, was and the one through <laughs> line, the, the single plot line that they did keep going was this whole like intelligentsia and the yep. blood plot. Like that was the whole thing, the blood thing, mm -hmm. like from the beginning, from the very first episode, they did set up the blood thing. And then it got mentioned a couple of times. They tried to get her blood and they couldn't. And then they had the, the Asian dude fuck her and steal her blood and all that. That was the one <laughs> plot point that they actually used throughout the entirety. And they threw it away at the end. Yep. Yeah. And what, and what, you know, when she breaks reality and replaces reality, that, that plot line is completely contradictory because now it's why were they stealing the blood? It wasn't so he could transform with the Hulk. He didn't do that anymore. And so it's completely contradicted. And, and so the repairs that she's trying to make to fix her episode makes it so much worse on top of it. And then she just craps on the MCU. And, and it's, it's baffling. I was watching it just thinking, what's, go what's going on? Well, well there was a, Who's there defending was a, this show? A, a very I, I haven't seen anybody line. defend it. Well, no, because there, there, no, there is. There, there's oh, a very, there's, uh, there was a very clear plot line that person. went through the series, and that was she was an alcoholic whore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's consistent all the way through. Thai's the most, yeah, Thai's the most That's consistent. That's the only thing the writers thing. knew. Who, who at the like, same if time anything, hates we know this. men? Who at the same time hate men. What they need is yeah. a, yeah. a what they need is an AA meeting. There's a lot of very good recovery no. in Burbank oh, and in yeah, Glendale. Yeah. They need therapy. They need, they need to therapy. go to all AA meetings. Of all of them. They're, they're all literally just saying men are shit, men are trash, Dana Schwartz, men are trash. They're doing all of this, and then they are literally showing you saying, We need a man. Mm -hmm. We fucking desperately yeah. want a man, Where's a steady man, a man that's got his life together. Hey. Somebody that can fucking it. pay for my shit because yeah, I'm an never alcoholic gonna get it. fucking whore. Oh, but they Nobody made fun of how much money he made. Oh, you do pro bono oh. work? Oh, no, that, yeah. no, that, that oh, was yeah. true as well. That, that entire family meeting was horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, her father oh, was actually different. decent. And he's like, please look after my daughter. Somebody needs to. And he's like, <laughs> desperately thinks, there's no way she just brought a one-night stand around to a family meeting. And I introduced her to her entire family. Then she's like, no, I please, just anything to prevent her from being that kind of out and about with it. It's like, oh, he was desperately hoping that he hadn't raised someone like her. And she didn't even. <laughs> realize she tried to humiliate them for it when they're just like, please Dad, just please relax. have your life I'm together just, in some like, way yeah stop what? talking about us being together i'm just fucking him okay relax <laughs> yeah. i'm just a whore dad i'm just a whore yeah i'm, I'm just a whore <laughs> i know even dude. daredevil tried to let him hey, down I, in the nicest way possible it's like no i'm i'm just here for a week okay after a week just a week I, dude i have been magicked out of my fucking life to be next to this alcoholic whore. I'm on the next fucking train back. Yeah. I, I'm I out here. Like I'm blind and I'm I'm fucking run to the station. Talking about like raping and no yeah. consent or anything oh, like yes. that. She's she's enslaved him through yes. magical powers outside the thing. Oh yes. my God, he's, they did it again. You're right. right. They did it again. They did it they again. It's a whole life rape. Wow. Oh they, raped life. they just don't learn. Yeah. They don't learn because they don't listen now, outside of their, their bubble. Oh. oh boy. Their bubble goes like, oh yeah, this is all. This is how a person should act in reality. Uh, okay. No, so, so, okay. 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 Their attitude is literally men. We obviously want to talk about she hulk so we're gonna really quickly get through the introductions sorry disbrew 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 hold that thought ryan say hi hi shad say hi hi disbrew say hi to a weapon yeah hello you can yeah, I've, uh, I've got a weapon comparison i'll come right back to you okay i'm just gonna okay. make everybody say hi and then i'll come back to you yep. uh x-ray girl don't even say hi just wave uh quarter black Garrett. <laughs> hey what's up chrissy Hi. Hi. Okay. Shad. Oh, I want to say hi like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> God, the chat's never going to stop now. No. <laughs> it's thought again. <laughs> hey, it's the thought that counts. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. And that is, of course, X Ray Girl because she's Asian. Yeah. X Ray okay. Girl with just like completely no effort. And there's still going to be simps in the chat. She didn't even want to do her hair, so she put a hat on. She's got like a big ass fucking zipper z or zip up coat on. It's a, so. it's a crop top, but I mean, it's a crop Whoa. Pull it down, one or the other. Chat. <laughs> I, I love the emoji of x-ray girl and it says help on the bottom that's my favorite one <laughs> so shad m brooks author extraordinaire swordsman and all-around good guy owner of the shadlands how the hell are you show us your sword uh, big boy mate i'm so good uh, I, like this has been hilarious it's been painful and uh, we've gone through a journey at, at the end of it with uh with rings of power and she hulk and, and so there's, like with Rings of Power and Shield finale, that's a double whammy. It's like, what weapon could I compare that uh, that you know conveys the the retardation and pointless stupidness of two things in one? Uh, and and on top of that, like it was it was meant to be entertainment, uh, but no, like at first it wasn't even meant to be entertainment. This is like just a a platform for them to share their you know uh, views. And then they're trying to present it as entertainment. It doesn't even fulfill that role. And I found one. I found. It's this is these are nunchucks. These are complete nunchucks. This is, you know, two in one. It was never meant to be a weapon in the first place, but then they picked a found a farmer's implement, uses a weapon, and when compared to everything else, pretty darn garbage. It's crap. Uh, Dad, that's what, how did you find my chopsticks? Oh, hey. Aww. she committed a racism. She did a racism. <laughs> it was a good racism, it's though. It's so big. I need the. <laughs> 
Don't ask, man. Just ask no question in a lot. Settle down, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen all of the... Oh, so the Trump monster. I, I, I covered this uh, I covered this a few months ago, Right, I think right when She-Hulk premiered, but... You've got all of these accounts on Twitter that have like less than a thousand followers, but they get insane interactions mm-hmm. when they talk about She-Hulk, and it's yep. still happening. Uh, there, there's accounts that are getting forty, fifty thousand likes every tweet, but they only have like six hundred followers. Yeah. And how, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, how many comments are on those? By the way, Com- uh, comments compared to likes, because you'll see, yeah, you'll see like ten thousand, twenty thousand likes, and ten comments. Let's see. That makes so no got fucking sense. Up from I've got one pulled up from an account that has, he has three tweets that are all that they. So this person has five five hundred six followers. They have a tweet that's got thirty seven thousand likes Whoa. and one hundred one hundred seventy seven comments. One hundred seventy seven comes at thirty mm. for thirty seven well, thousand likes. A, that's a lot. I have a photo that's of the lot. person that the, runs the that reason account. why bots don't leave comments is because spin tax is yeah. hard to write. <laughs> to make it, which is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and so. Right there. It is far harder to automate than just like a click. Like, <laughs> Have you guys been experiencing the, the, on a day purge? Off, by the way, just saying. Yes, yeah. yes. They, I lost they, like a thousand. They purged. Followers. They purged yesterday. It's, yeah. yeah. Well, that, there's yeah. A and then purge, they slowly it, like, kind started. Of it's it, it's, it's going back. Bit. Yeah, because mine yeah. popped right back up. Uh, it probably has a lot to do with federal investigations. Elon taking over. All kinds of stuff. God, I They're hope it does. for you. If it just yeah, destroys <laughs> Twitter altogether, that's probably the best be great. possible result. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I really just went down to the server bank followed the rules for years just for him to fucking yeet it out of existence. I, I, I mean, love that Elon's getting investigated. And meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi has literal threats against the United States, uh, President of the United States on camera. Yeah. And nobody all cares. This, it's, dude, it's, it's, dude yeah. this shit is coming to an end in a couple, three weeks. At least all the just useless, crazy uh, uh, ban- banana Come republic. On. It's courts. all performative. It's, it's all performative. performative. It's you coming can, to that, an end the soon. The cameraman. It felt like an uh, an episode of The Office. They were like shot at that Kangaroo lady, and she courts. was like, uh, "The president's yeah. not going to be able to come here and she, co- whip over." And then she yeah. like, knocked him out. It felt, <laughs> so <laughs> fake. it felt so yeah. set up. Did this come out today. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now it's, over, so it's everywhere. Fake. Yeah, she basically saying she was going to punch Trump. She, she said, wow. she's yeah, Nancy Trump Pelosi. Yeah. Her, and then she, yeah, and then she said, and, and I'll and I'll go to jail. Eighty year old body. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't even feel it. Right. She'd be like. You wouldn't even know. Uh, um, Biden's investigation. Kids. How did that go? Uh, well, that'll ramp up in a, about a three or four weeks, in a, about a month and a half after the um, red wave. So, that'll... hey, we're so excited. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Andy Masterson. Yeah, Andy. Andy. Hey, Andy. by the way, before we get started, we are only a few weeks away from the October meetup. It's now, Orlando. by the way, guys, it's Can called we? the Anti She Hulk meetup. We have changed yeah, the, the name. Anti She Hulk meetup. I don't. We're know. nearly full. It, we're nearly we got full. Hundred left on the on the. Okay, uh, RSVP. so we. Okay, so we don't have many spots uh, left, and uh, so we are also going to do a a post meetup uh, afterwards. We'll announce all the details at the meetup. So for everybody that's there, and we'll also announce it on social media. But we'll do a post meetup, uh, and so we can still meet with all of you and, and have more time to hang out and just mingle or, or whatever. But it's going to be crazy, and uh, I, I can't wait to hang out with all of you. We're going to be there all week, geeks and gamers. We're going to be uh, at Universal. We're going to be recording a lot, uh, hanging out. We're going to Chrissy's place. Yeah. See what's going on with her. Yeah. She got a content house. We have a content house. It's it's going to be a wild week. So uh, we're looking forward to hanging out with all of you. Just and, don't uh, twitch. Be Just sick. don't do a twitch for please, for fuck's sake, please. <laughs> what? Don't a do a twitch. twitch. What does that oh. mean? Oh, TwitchCon. Uh, oh. Sexually assault people in your fucking house. <laughs> oh, yeah. slam, slam your own. I thought yeah. you meant no. to the don't, ground. Don't let a woman Concrete. jump into a foam pit that isn't that, actually that's, that's like that. Break your ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, break your spine. Actually, two places. you know, yeah. we're going to change the name to our house to the consent house. We plan to be breaking backs, but the good way. So. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> there will not be a neurotic content house ever. <laughs> um, it, it'd just be like Perry and 
and I and Garrett playing games and Gary being like, okay, I'm going to be over here with my comics. Yeah, I'll be reading <laughs> comics. I'll, I'll be I'll taking a, a nap coffee. in the corner with a comic over my face. Oh. We had a, hey, Gary, we had a content house in uh, in California when we went. Uh, we were just really sick the entire time. We were. We, so. uh, yeah. Oh, God, it would have been an amazing content house. It would have been me sleeping the content and then was you vomit? sleeping. And yeah, then, me sleeping and then you and sleeping. And then me sleeping for two days. It was really fun. Yeah. It was great. It was good. Nice house. We got this nice fucking house. House. So didn't good. get to enjoy it at all. Poor yeah. lady. Hope she didn't get COVID when she got back. Um, <laughs> <She did. laughs> Sorry. But yeah, all if you right. want to RSVP for that, you can go to geeseandgamers.com. It's on the front page. I'm sure the mods will drop links to it as well. Uh, we yep. need a head count because we are we have a capacity. So if you're if you're not on the RSVP and you show up, you're probably not gonna be able to get in. So uh, not probably we, you're not gonna. Yeah, and I'm, you're, I'm you not gonna be special. fucking nice about it. You're not gonna we, be able to get oh, in because um, we, we got fucking we, fire marshal shit to go. Yes, to follow, yes, we so. do. Um, and we do have special guests that we have not announced because I didn't feel it was necessary to announce them. It'll be a surprise for for some people because we're at capacity pretty much at this point anyway. So there's no yeah. point in adding more of a demand to something and it's already at capacity. So there's gonna be door prizes as well, but you have to be there. More details to come. Heck yeah. So, so we got, we got like, including it. ISOM number one. That's going to be Woo. some of your door prizes donated by me. So nice. Yes. Nice. That's and, like a $200 and, value. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and this is, uh, um, oh, let's, you know, this tips. is, it, it, it's, I, I want this to, I want this to go over well because uh, it opens up the opportunity for the, uh, the next phase of my, uh, my master plan for Orlando. So, uh, could, could be doing something again next October if this goes over well. And if I'm not broke, because if, if if we don't if we don't sell like alcohol, Ryan's gonna be sucking dick on the corner to help me. <laughs> I think he should shit. anyway. So, I think Ryan uh, should uh, be uh, anyway. Uh, I think we should take money by having people yeah, pay it. No, 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 no. I will drive. <laughs> I will <laughs> drive Ryan to Miami to go get that money for you. Okay. <laughs> I will pimp his uh, ass speaking, out. Speaking of uh, money, my fuck. <laughs> Just two faces. No, explain yourself. Explain no. yourself. What? <laughs> Is there I, a sink I, near I, you? I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just really into dental oh. care, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> my final draft for the uh plushie has been okayed they are sending me the physical <laughs> copy in the post so Ooh. gary i do have the final look at the plushie if um want to bring it up uh that's you quarter black i'm waiting okay so we this let's go so so yeah. here we go oh wow this here is, we go uh, the front plushie hot it blog looks just like you I know, I know. I know. <laughs> that little man. <laughs> oh, it's, little fall, guys. <laughs> it's great. Uh, that's the side. So you get, look at that bun. He's look at that cute. bun, baby. <laughs> yeah, girth, you, man. Yours have an that is some girth right there. It does yeah, have yeah, an I, asked, I asked them. I asked them to. <laughs> I said, can you make him nice and fat? Extra stuffing, please. So uh, awesome. there you go. There's the, uh, the back. Great. You can see the little bit of the sausage. Uh, wow. The that's really cute. Yeah, and then uh, I think the last one is me sitting on a bench, and then I'm there. Oh, hold on, sitting on a bench. <laughs> last time, wow, on a bench. <laughs> there I you want go. a little bench. That so is awesome. that is the hot dog man plushie. They're sending. They are physically sending it to me now to give them a wow. this, and then once that has arrived and I've douched. Uh, it's just Wait. setting up the campaign. And so the same with Gary and Gary and you, Jeremy. You douche, douche, douche. Oh, douche. oh not that, that's not douche, what douche but means. douched. Okay. You're gonna clean your asshole. <laughs> I always clean my asshole. Who doesn't clean their asshole? Well, not like this. Not you don't it. probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got the script of Rings of Power in my <laughs> toilet. Of course, yeah. I can clean my asshole. Oh, we. Right. I was gonna nice. wear I was gonna wear this or my Sauron helmet, but like the Sauron helmet would break my neck. So I'm just and I don't want to mess up my hair. But King Thandon's wow. helmet. Wow. I don't want to mess up my hair. I got news for you. I got yeah. news for you. That's cool. Nice. Look at that detail. That is awesome. That is nice. This is United awesome. Cutlery. It's fucking awesome. So. That looks great. 
right now. <laughs> We're ready. Uh, do we want to let's uh, She Hulk first and then Rings of Power because She Hulk's She-Hulk. shorter She-Hulk. and dumber. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. What else do we have left to talk about? That nothing matters. No, yeah. Nothing that yeah. happened no. in She Hulk since the very first episode matters at all. They just erased it all because uh, they thought they were being clever by fourth wall breaking. She broke Disney Plus. And uh, yeah, She Hulk is a whore who gets whatever she wants. So they hate that. <laughs> um, no I mean, consequences. Yeah, and the show actually says that. They don't really contradict the fact that the show itself calls her a slut. So, um, no, I think I think the biggest takeaway is, like, we're in their head. Like we said before, we're, like, living rent-free in the writers of Marvel's head. This giant billion-dollar corporation can't mm-hmm. stop thinking about us. They had to make an entire fucking show about us. Mm-hmm. That's a wow. massive win, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like, ultimately, it hurts your brand and it hurts fandom. But as far as content creators, thanks. Fucking awesome. Keep it up. Yep. <sighs> They're so insecure and oh, so yes. narcissistic. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Great. <Rage. laughs> I mean, the strangest thing about She-Hulk is that she got her own way the entire way through, yes. even to the point of changing reality, and she was absolutely miserable. This is someone that's like, I only want to be a lawyer. I don't want to do anything else. A lawyer is the most important thing to me. And she was miserable. At one point, she even goes, I'm just sad and lonely. I was like, okay, so mm. maybe you should realize that you should change your life instead of just doubling yeah. down on the same no! decisions you've made year no! in and year out. But I, I need the legitimacy of fault. being a lawyer. What yeah, the well, part that, award. That's an incel. Like that is the reverse of an incel. That's like Fem-cell. a female Fem cell. Yeah. Fem cell. The, the part that Ryan referred to where she broke Disney Plus and she was like swinging around on the menu, I honestly felt like I was going through like a cheap ride at Disney World like yes, this. Just the yes, way that scene yes, went yes. down I was like very it, very it was well very done. like it's a small world and yes was- yes <laughs> like, I, like a cruise I have, like, I have, had, I have yes. no problem in principle with that happening because that is this character like that that is who she hulk is mm. she does break the fourth wall she's fucking torn through the comic book and said what is this bullshit before so like okay. inherently I don't have any issues with that uh, the problem is that every <laughs> What they made happen was nothing mattered. Nothing, nothing. fucking mattered that they said it. There was no reason for you to watch this fucking show. Um, th- that was really that was the outcome of what she did when she broke the fourth wall. Well, also me. look at how in the same way that I have I have no issues with uh, Jen Walters and Daredevil fucking. No, Zero. of course. I, okay, both of those Ryan, people fucked in the comic. Ryan Daredevil yeah. fucked in his own series. He fucked Electra. Yeah, yeah. he yep. fucked her in a in a in a in a fighting rink. So like. That it's never been about that, and you're absolutely right. She broke the fourth wall, but sometimes it just don't fucking work. Deadpool was able to do it. It was pretty incredible how dead the first Deadpool was able to break the fourth wall perfectly. This yeah, show could like not. Ryan Reynolds is funny because yeah. Ryan Reynolds yeah. is funny. talented and funny. End yeah. of story. You have to have like you have to have immense talent to write comedy, improvisational comedy that just comes out of the top of your head. You have to have fucking talent. And uh, these women don't, and I'm um, encountering the well, men why, in the writing why room. Why did Deadpool? Why did Deadpool have to break the fourth wall? And why did they have to take shots at the previous iteration of what happened in X Men Origins Wolverine? Because every fucking body hated it. They reacted to a failure, and they fixed it by honoring what Deadpool was. And again, I'm someone that I actually did like X-Men or just Wolverine, but I, I'm not going to sit there and go, everybody's racist because everybody fucking hated it. I'm one of the, like seven people on the planet and most of them don't even have eyeballs that liked it. Like I'm one of the few people that liked it. They reacted to people hating something and they did it beautifully. And what did they do? They gave you a, was Deadpool the highest grossing rated R film ever? Didn't it break the, the passion of the Christ record? Like, the first one came close. I think great, didn't so. Suicide Squad overtake it? It might have, but yeah. either way, at the time, no, Joker, you know, Joker is highest rated. Uh, now rated it is, yeah. yeah. But I'm yeah. saying at, at the, the time, time I, I think it broke right. the record. I believe, and that's that's being successful. That's li- listening oh, to cre- to the criticisms yeah. and responding to it. That's not what She Hulk is doing. She Hulk is inventing fake criticism. Just like any activist does, they're creating something that's not really there in order to cure a problem that doesn't exist in the first fucking place. That's what social justice is, and that's what She-Hulk's doing. It didn't feel like a deliberate creation. It felt very reactionary, especially Mm. in the last, in the the finale. Here in the States. It's what they're saying, right? Domestically, it's number two, by the way. Domestically, it's still number two, Deadpool. 
Mm. What do we hear all the time? We hear you guys are just a small, like little group of people. You don't fucking matter. Like there, nobody's paying attention to you. None of this. So it, so what they do is they decide that the big bad of their entire series is a hyperbolized version of us. Oh. Right. That that's what this message is. That is the fucking main villain of an MCU show. But, but Ryan, I think it goes even a little bit more psychotic than that because in their own show, sure, YouTubers, critical thinkers are the villain, but they she's also jealous to fuck <laughs> of the other characters in the MCU. She's jealous, jealous of a cousin. Uh, she's jealous of Daredevil. And the final episode is called what? This is my show or something like that. Whose show she, is this? Yeah, and she's bitched to using the fourth wall. She's bitched about those characters oh you you know oh um, our show has to get a guest star every week it's one of those shows well you know just remember whose show it really is you know just like god you have such esteem problems mm -hmm. with your characters you 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 really do you are so um defensive everything is defensive well, and reactionary hey, um and, and you're absolutely right uh razor fist uh last night tweeted mickey spillane and and ran ayn ran talking about what what their heroes are and what's the what's what's the commonality between two pulp heroes and they both said it's self-esteem they're absolutely sure of themselves they don't doubt themselves they've got confidence and uh the writers i mean like it like entertainment really does reflect the world of la today and it's just a bunch of inexperienced insecure people writing mm. who drink a lot and text a lot and gossip a lot that's what i got and, and, and just what you were saying as how it's all got to be all be about her and everything she broke reality to make sure it was about her because bruce mm. comes in to save her and she's like no no man can save me this is my show get rid of him yeah yeah I, I, exactly so profound and, like it's and she not only broke the show to get rid of her reality she created a completely fake one which didn't marry with any of this series at all Yes, that's she why tried it to present matter. herself. She she literally created a reality where she was a phony. She was a family, you know, she was a family daughter with a family and having family time and having a you know food and the kids are there and the uncles there and the cousins are there. She hated all that. She hated all that when in episode two she went back to her parents and she fucking hated it. And then when she had to move back into her parents because she drunk and hoard all her money away. <laughs> Even though she was the a lawyer, a, a, a partner that held, you know, that started up a superhero division that was probably on four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year. Where's your money, Jen? Oh yeah, you 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 fucking got drunk, uh, fell on your back, and woke up to some gal, some guy plowing you in the middle of fucking an alleyway somewhere, probably. So you know, so she's she's she, her her character in the show was a complete loser. She had no responsibility. She had no friends. She had no job. She she got fired twice in the series. Fucked three guys in four episodes. All of them one night stands. Uh, drunk at every occasion at, ho at home, out of work. Got legless more uh, twice in the series. Completely legless. Fell down because she'd drunk her so much. Her her, that was her character. And so she had to get rid of all of it and then magical a fake version of herself. So, so, so now relatable. Jen is a fake. You're describing well, hot girl summer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except she's like almost you know, you're getting close to 40 there. We'll yeah. just say mid thirties, early forties. And it's a great unintentional marriage, uh, uh, unintentional <laughs> message of maybe you should, you know, marriage, think about marriage and career. You can mm -hmm. do them both, you know, and kids. You can do, you can do all three. It's crazy. I, My I, wife did it. I, I couldn't work out why in this show the fourth wall breaks annoyed me so much because they don't in other shows. You had uh, House of Lies, which did uh, fourth wall breaks amazingly. I think Hustle did them as well. Um, and I've been thinking about it a lot. It's House like, of Lies. Uh, no, House of Lies. Chris is touching you. Chris is touching you. Disbrew. I'm actually pup I'm actually puppeteering Disbrew. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm gonna do is that real? Breaks, but but the, 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 reason, like... the reason why fourth wall breaks annoyed me so much in this is because in other character in other shows they use them to. It's a bit like when when you read a book, you can see the thoughts of a character. Whereas the fourth wall break in this is meant to be an insight into the character. 
But in this show, it wasn't an insight into the character at all. It was an insight into the writer's mind. And you you yeah. saw that when they say, oh, well, we've got Wong on this character. And so that does just give us Twitter protection. That's not something She-Hulk would care about. It's something the writers thought themselves. Mm -hmm. And so the fourth wall break in the finale was essentially an insight into the writer's perception that we can literally create perception. We can literally create reality out of perception. That if we just want something enough, we can create an entirely false uh, reality out of it. We just need people to think of us in a certain way. And that's what Hollywood is. It's a load of people faking things in the media, faking things on mm -hmm. Instagram and everything else. And they make an entirely... You saw it with Will Smith. This is a guy who said that um, his... Uh, what was it? His social media is his bread and butter. Yes. And yet you yeah. saw the reality of his yeah. life and it was horrific. And that's what all of Hollywood is. That's what the writers are. And you... you she-Hulk was the insight, <clears throat> literally, of the writers just being honest with people. And what you saw was a horrific, sad, miserable life where they hate everything about it, but they have no idea how to change it because they just keep doubling down and think they know what they want and they have no idea. This is an entire generation of lost people who, like, literally rejected tradition and any kind of values that would give them meaning and instead just go towards something that they're told they want. They have no idea how else to change and get out of it. And they're just miserable, nihilistic people. And this is why, this is why, wait, 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 this, this is why Disparu is a great YouTuber because he had somebody fucking with him the whole time and he still got his point out. Like, <laughs> <got> out. <laughs> listen, there is no reason this man should be at 100,000 subs. He's yeah, almost there, that? though. Like, like we got to get this man to 100,000 subs. Like, where are you at, Disparu? Oh. Uh, Where are you at? Separated you got to be at like 95 now. If you give me a sec. Um, you got to be close. Well, this we got, man is, is nearly man is 94. Amazing. I'm Nin two of 94. 94. Wow. Okay. All right. So tonight, let's let's, go. tonight we, we want to try to get two channels to 100K. We'll, we'll start with this brew. And we got it for Perry. We got to think about Perry. I mean, too. that is 6K subs. That, that yeah, is, that's a that lot of it. fucking subs. That's, yeah. It doesn't that's mean, oh, oh, so let's it not try. Let's not try. <laughs> Hell no, we're going to try. I'm not underestimating. Uh, uh, I'm not fucking the fucking hey, seven weeks. Yeah, if hey. they haven't subscribed to him yet, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Chat, ignore hey, him. We, well, he was beaten by his mother. Was, hey, I blame his mother, Jeremy, chat. for all his behavior, by the way. That's you, Ryan. That's <laughs> you, baby boy. Hey, hey, just yeah, Rude, this Rude's gonna be—he's gonna be past all of us here by this time next year, anyway. So fuck you in advance, this Rude. Go ahead, chat. Yeah, so. oh, it's I'm, fine. I mean, I'm gonna watch what I said back and make a video of it because I have no—I can't even remember what I just said. <laughs> it was well, well, blacked out. <laughs> it was some good stuff, and I want to echo some because your ending point was that their lives are reflecting the. Sorry, what she hulk is doing <laughs> is reflecting the lives of the riders, and they're so desperate to cope to convince themselves that their lives are great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love this single life. I love being. But yet they can't help but actually have the truth seep out that there is something far more wholesome yeah. and meaningful. Like we're at the wedding scene when she says, oh, do you have a boyfriend? She's like, N -n no. And they can't help but acknowledge that, yeah, there is yeah. a more wholesome life that they could be having, even though they're so desperate to cope and say, no, our lives are so great yeah. and wonderful. You know, this single <laughs> really drinking not. life. They and still the use that no, as a parameter was, of value. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say, like, they think this is an own on all of us. They think it. it's an own on people that are that do live traditional lives. But really, all it is is a shrine, a giant statue of their own failure and how much their life sucks and how much they yeah. want to get out of that life. You know, it's it's, what it, it's telling, it's really the telling on themselves. The telling on themselves. The, yeah. the whole show is is just saying how uh, you, you try to be. You know, I'm an independent. This I'm uh, self reliant, and you just have shown how unindependent you are. You need <clears throat> yep. to rely on your parents. You need to rely on other people. You don't have any. You can't handle responsibility. You can't handle a job. You're just telling on yourself, and you think you're owning. No. You know, I, I I was saying in, in my Rings of Power, this is not about Rings of Power, but I'm just saying, I said in my Rings of Power video, they hate you. You know, you they, they all show, you know, these people really hate you. They called you, uh, was it patently evil and all this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I said, and guess what? I hate, and then I stopped. I was like, no, I don't hate you. You know, I think you're shit. I think you're pathetic. I think you're stupid mm -hmm. and all this. But I don't hate you. You know, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's like with these people, I just want to say, look, look, we're critical of you. You know, I think you're garbage. Your writing's pathetic. You're telling on yourself, but I don't hate you. You're the one who's who's going nuts 
You know, I don't go to bed and think, just kick out, fucking just kick out. I go to bed and I sleep perfectly well. I sleep no, we good know what you think about up. when you go to bed. <laughs> but, but that's, that's what all these, all these, all these weirdos do. Think that's how we all live our lives, where we go to bed at night, going like, I'm never. I'm like, like, no, like we we do roast these people because they deserve to be roasted. We call them out. And uh, we go on about our day. We don't live on social media. It, it, it would, that's not really our existence. But Hollywood people, you know, to uh, to Disperu's point, it's uh, it it bleeds into the culture about how they act, though, because it's like they can't actually they can't actually be connected to someone that disagrees with them because in the Hollywood echo chamber, that would then you're 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 guilty by default by that way. Why? Well, oh, you know, you're friends with this person. You follow this person on social media, <laughs> and so that's why there's this constant thing to just constantly dismiss people that they deem are horrible because they can't do that. They can't have relationships with anyone that's not in the bubble. And, and this show reflects with men. That. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and it's just uh, it's crazy. Go ahead. You might notice what I hated about She Hulk and what most people at She hated about She Hulk is similarly to what I hated about Bros. Like Bros was. Really written uh for like messy kind of coastal elite liberal superficial mm. gaze to, and, and it was like the jokes were were aimed at this very small segment of of those exact type of people the same way with she hulk because i was formerly a messy hoe and i can tell that this is written for other messy hoes mm. so you're just, just not messy anymore. Anymore. <laughs> oh, it's, it's i'm just not a hoe anymore I'm oh sure former hoe yeah, I I uh, I don't know if that's an own or uh, liberation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to be real. I'm keeping it 100 over here. Well, hey, just hey, we own. like, but I'm not <laughs> kind of like you for. They're it. just no, trying I'm to just make kidding. themselves feel better. Like, oh look, yeah. there's another messy person over here. Yeah, and we're all like this, guys, right? Aren't we? <laughs> we're all <laughs> <You're messy. literally laughs> showing how terrible they are and how, how fucked their lives are. Yeah, yeah. Her and, best and, friend. And, you know, you talk about the echo chamber. Do you know the best thing the echo chamber in Hollywood could do is somebody, and I don't care, and I and when I say somebody, male or female, because there's only two genders, uh, so I don't care which. Grow some fucking balls. <laughs> grow some fucking balls. I thought you were going to say grow some tits so I can jerk it at you. That's just a given, Go Ryan. Ahead. Come on now. <laughs> because you are never going to change. You know, never mind like behind the scenes struggle sessions. Uh, this is my story of Hollywood. Good, right, great, great, wonderful, fucking fantastic. Give yourself a fucking, you know, gold star for McDonald's. You're not going to enact any change unless you try to change your industry. Unless you come out and start saying, "Look, this, we're so hands tied with this sort of stuff. We're so it's so manufactured now, and and so um, what's it called? Conveyor belt uh, that we have very little to actually be creative in. Or I'm being told that I'm going to be the director of this, and I and I can't really direct it because I've got to do these presented to me fight scenes which don't fit into the story that I want to tell. You got to grow some fucking balls yourself, and if you don't." People will come along and they'll, they'll fucking do their own stuff and they'll become the new Hollywood. They will become the new entertainment because people gravitate towards um, that. But it's already happening. I've is said it too, for, like, the talented is it too people aren't on there though? anymore. The talented yeah, people like, aren't like, there. They're leaving the people, for other yeah. projects. They're doing their own things. Haven't the mm -hmm. people who've had balls already been fired? And I, like, and exactly. now it, it's because it has yeah. these crazy ideologues in power. And like, even if someone speaks up, they seem to just get yeeted out of that environment really. So really it makes quick. people that do have talent that want to have, they have a vision. They go, okay, I know for a fact, because all the other friends of mine, they got fired from Marvel, Disney Marvel, and they didn't get to make the thing that they wanted to make. So I'm just not even going to try. <clears throat> so they go off and make their own thing or they make some indie project. I mean they are, they're not there anymore. So it's going to slowly crumble the entire infrastructure because that's why we're die. getting She-Hulks. We yeah. have I, nobody else. I agree as pe they do need balls, but I think they need balls to try and address it outside of that bubble because it, people have tried to address it inside and it's fully corrupt. It just needs to die. Oh, no, 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 like, that's what I'm trying to say. They yeah. need to, yeah. they need to speak out. They need to get some mm -hmm. courage. They need to get some balls. They need to actually speak out away from that bubble. And the mm -hmm. more, the more people that actually do that, it, you are reducing the chance of all of you being thrown or cast aside or blacklisted or whatever it may be. Uh, and I know Hollywood's very, very much into that. But uh, look, you have films, you have things like, I know we're going back uh, uh, 20, 25 years, but 
you know, Blumhouse, actually, Blum, no, let's use Blumhouse. Blumhouse recently, you know, within the last 10 years or so, 12 years, let's say a dozen years, showed that you could do a small independent movie on a low budget, make a lot of money. Just like the Blair Witch Project did like 25 years ago. Yeah. If you've mm -hmm. actually got some true creativity to you, if you have a really uh, clever niche idea uh, <clears throat> and you put it out there, you can grab yourself a, a cult following. You could turn that two, three million into, you know, 20, 30, 40. And that is an, an unbelievable turnover. You know, instead of like giving, Ke giving Kevin Smith seven million for Clerk fucking three, <laughs> you literally, you might as well just burn the money up. You might as well just burn that fucking oh. shit up. And then you get Kevin crying. I can't get Star Wars. I can't get Marvel movies because you're all poopy pantsies. Oh, fuck off, you big fucking, yeah, you, you know, that's off, a, a fake, a massive fake who revealed himself. So if you believe in yourself, if you think you actually do have the talent, and I don't mean the talent to direct something that's on the rails that's presented to you by Kevin Feige, where you don't have to do anything apart from go on the red fucking carpet and nod your head like a fucking dog in the back of a car, and you think you've got an idea to bring, you don't need an extraordinary budget to do that. Independent creators, get out there. Get out there making stuff, and who knows what could All of the up. greatest directors that we know started off independent, like George Lucas, yeah. Yeah. Spielberg, J.J. Like Abrams. J.J. Abrams, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like they, they started in a small place. What happens now, it seems that they take these people straight from their film school, Hmm. And then they put them in a because Marvel they have project. the because they have because the right they can agenda to push. manipulate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, like, no, that's have the right agenda. Like, they're, like, they're and they, they can the right be manipulated. Boxes. They can be yeah, controlled. You, they can be did, told what to do. Yes. Did you guys see? Like, I just saw this, but did you guys see Billy Eichner's TikTok? Where he's like harassing no. people about no. going to see his movie, oh, and man. I don't know no, if it's a so, joke. Just to hold on, so uh, Billy Eichner, because I know a lot of people don't know who he is. He got his start doing a thing called Billy on the Street, which is where he just like had a microphone on the street, would walk around, just like, right. Hey, do you know about Nancy Pelosi? Well, why yeah. not? And, and like just move but, on. So but, but, if that's what yeah. he was doing, but then it still that, doesn't help it. But it doesn't but, help. But what I'm get, saying is that that's literally like the show he did that I, got him famous. I, I, so, I, 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 I understand that, but the point is, is that he. He was hurting he, he hurt the promotion of this so bad so then he decided to put the bro shirt on and then i guess play into his joke that backfired so uh. badly and it it's just it's it just shows that these people just don't actually live in the real world no and they're not actually talented being gay is not a talent sorry no, it's no. not sorry <laughs> <laughs> now some people are better gay than others but it's not a talent yeah oh jesus yeah. Uh, like here, let me here. I, I, I'm gonna play this for you guys so you see it. Now again, this is a guy who got massive backlash. Then tried to play up the whole, um, you know, Mario angle. I don't know when this was made, but uh, right here, this is him doing his his Billy on the Street gimmick to try to promote Bros. Oh, I want a New York hot dog. King Bros. Neither. Why? Just taking a walk. Why won't you see Bros? Why don't you go take a walk to the movie theater and see Bros? Oh, this is sad. Oh, this is terror. This is, ter this is yeah. This is embarrassing. Yeah, oh my God. this is fucking oh. terrible. That's like, so oh. cringe. Like, it's not funny. Better than that? It, That's it's, not funny. Oh, There's nothing good about that. I hate that. TikTok. I hate the word <laughs> influencer. Um, yeah, I honestly thought discouraged. he was going to say, "Are you a bigot?" to that guy. Uh, I honestly yeah. thought he was going to say. <laughs> something. That been funny. At least. I, I think he did those before the movie came <laughs> out because I remember biggest. there's a picture of him and Paul Rudd. Like I think Paul Rudd did a, oh, a, a sequence with them as well. So all that shit I think was recorded before. Okay. okay. By the way, I, I don't know if it's because I'm a Brit, uh, Brit or fake, whatever. Fucking whatever one he called me New this Zealander. week. Fucking Papua New, New Guinea. Fucking that's Kiwi. where I live. Um, yeah. and because I'm one of because I'm one of those Papua New Guineans. Uh, I've, never heard, I've never heard of this guy in my life. I haven't either. It, it, he's okay. So I, Billy, I, I, I didn't he know anything about him. Comedian. He did Billy hey. on the street thing. He also was on Parks and Rec, um, like the last two seasons, the last season of Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. um, he played but, Timon in the remake of Lion King. He did, yeah. He, he because Timon well is automatically sure. gay. Not seen Parks and Rec. Not seen oh, Lion King. That, yeah, <laughs> Billy on the street was like a true TV like show yeah. series or something like that. Um, that he so. got because he was gay. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if anybody like. I, I don't know if it was because he was gay, but he would literally Dude. just he would just go and be fucking super like angry and yell at people like that and harass um, the fuck out. I, of people. I love that Some, CD Project Red put out their ESG video, just breaking uh, down everything. Oh, it is. Oh, 
that shit. And, and we went over it. We went over it on Real BBC, and like it just lays out everything, like why everything sucks, why absolutely everything sucks, and they're just like out there going, "Oh, this, yeah, this is what we're doing." So and, I, and I'll tell you why none of these street people fucking work because not a single solitary one of you will ever be able to recapture what Dennis Penis did, ever. Yeah, and the well, bullshit thing about the CE Project Red video is all those things that he listed about cyberpunk, Mike Pondsmith did back in the late 80s. So mm. everything about like oppression and dehumanization of like people already was already it. in the fucking story. But, it's already in the game. But it just shows you again, it kind of goes back to that. they th These yeah. people are so detached from reality because CD Project Red had a massive failure with the launch of cyberpunk. And then when did. the anime came out, it reignited the player base and it started mm. hitting numbers all this time uh cyberpunk 2077 started hitting numbers it hadn't seen since launch and they've seen massive trends and then they come out with the esg video i know and they're like, and they're oh, like, uh, like, uh, like they can't uh, keep themselves from doing they can't it keep they have to sabotage themselves um, yeah. all right so i'm gonna read <sighs> some soups and then uh, we'll talk about rings of power i mean we're done with she hulk she hulk's stupid oh she i got stuff um, to say about she hulk all right okay. i have one or two observations all right so yeah. comics you go and then we'll We'll go to our guest go yeah okay uh first off um now that i'm done with she hulk i officially hate the mcu completely <laughs> i i don't ever want to go watch any of the movies again it is yeah i know you guys already pointed this out it clearly they hate the fan base they hate nerds and it's like well fuck you guys we gave you our money for the last 10 years to make you successful and this is what we get Fuck you, Disney. Fuck off. I'm never buying your shitty product ever again, and I'm never going to go see another one of your goddamn movies. Fuck you. Good. That's all I got. Oh, Hell yeah. Woo. Comics Woo. burn division. Yeah. Oh, God, don't come with me. I'm going to right now. So I, 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 I am so incensed by this goddamn show. It's like all... As I, I point out many times before, if they only depicted negative stereotypes of women, they would get fucking roasted. But it's okay to do that shit it. to men, and it really pisses me and off. They, make it they worse. did it by accident, though, comics. Yes, but yeah, they did the it. They told on themselves. So they, again, no, they, 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 they literally they had absolutely best... did out themselves for sure because they were even criticizing their own formulaic formula that they have. Yep. It, well, it wasn't even that. Her best friend was basically evil. Like, she sabotaged her entire yeah, life. Yeah. And then at one point, when she's like, yeah, but, you know, I slept with this guy who's, like, ignored me. She's like, yeah, but it, it's normal to feel disgusted for 12 hours after you've slept with someone. I'm like, that, that's not normal. Um, like, if, if no, not, that, that is, you, that is, that is not, not normal. normal. And that's she's like, yeah, she just goes, hey, well, it, depends on the, it depends on the person. I, yeah, Chrissy's, uh, Chrissy's awfully quiet over there. Right? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, this hey. is a bad example so for women, though. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's like um, in cell full, full circle. So Ghostbusters 2016. Didn't watch the movie. Chris Gore had to tell me this. So basically the troll's the villain in that movie at the yes. end. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and they did that in The Boy Season 2. Uh, they did that in The Batman. Uh, and they just did it in She-Hulk. And oh. in a way, they did it in Rings of Power. They made the incel fucking Sauron. It's It's... Oh, yeah. You see mm -hmm. the patterns repeating here? Uh, I, I Thankfully, I think we're and at the end. And also in Joker. Not, was it in Joker or the Batman? I, I, jo the I Batman. Don't know. The Batman. Was the Batman. The, the, the Batman. Batman. Yeah. The, Joker. Yeah. the Joker was an incel. Yeah. It's, it's why. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, the Riddler was a, a, I was really, a YouTube. Was a good movie. YouTube the Batman whatever. is. I liked it. I was until, talking about Joker. Well, yeah, the Joker is a great movie. Joker's, Joker's a great, great fucking movie. But he like he's not incel. He's crazy. He's like he's yeah. nuts. But there's uh, an incel community like that they have to create and yeah. And they yeah all oh, no, it's but fans. see, like that's what you so, can, no, you no, can wait, take wait. a story okay. and tell a good. So movie. what did we nerds back in the day have to fucking listen to all the time? We're fucking nerds. We're fucking virgins. Yep. Losers. 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 Virgins. It's yeah. the same fucking shit. These people never liked us. Never fucking will. They're just using it to make their content and their money. Once they're done, they're done. And they'll destroy all our franchises to do it because they don't give a fuck. They're vapid, narcissist pieces of shit. And no, I don't hate them as, but I really don't like them. Like, I'm. Yeah, I know, I know. Really, I, yeah, really I'm not, don't I'm not like them. I like them, but yeah. I don't. Hate is such a, a powerful emotion to have. So, literally, I, to have the showrunners of Lord of the uh, Rings of Power, I don't want to. I, I make, it fucking makes me mad to say Lord of the Rings. Rings of Power to say that people have been critical. Basically, people have dared criticize our casting choices, our intersectionality, our ideology are, are patently evil. 
Yeah. They're scum. Oh, wait, wait. They are scum. No, yeah. patently, e- patently evil, fascist, ad- I, we know that. Fascist uh, adjacent. Fascist adjacent, and uh, it's a threat to our democracy. It's a threat yeah. to our fucking I democracy. Mean, I might not hate them, but I certainly hate a lot of what they do. Their uh, behavior. Like you can hate the behavior and not the person. I I'm sorry. I'm not, no, it's, I, it's I really hate sad. them, but I don't like want them to die or anything. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I hate them too. I don't. I don't that want is the nicest thing Ryan has them. ever said. I think. I, think, I, hate them. Them. I, mean, I don't believe it, but I do. I do <laughs> fucking hate them though. Like, I hate them. I mean, to be fair, I hate the person that cuts me off in traffic too. And I do usually wish. <laughs> <laughs> just the person me. that gives the wrong order, but you know. <laughs> but to me, uh, somebody cuts exactly, me off in traffic. Uh, I really hope to see them cut flipped over. You have to exert some energy towards it. I, I don't exert energy towards these people. The shows are shit. I, you know, the shows are fucking laughable, detestable, and all that kind of stuff. But I don't, I don't exert any energy towards these people. They are their mm. filth, for sure. But that's, that's where that kind of goes. Um, but, you know, they, they have clearly displayed, though, how they hate their audience. Yes. Uh, and, um... people, and, and comics to you, people like Jessica Gao... They believe they're too good to be where they are. Wait, I gotta just say, why, know, why they, is Odin streaming from a strip joint? Oh, so funny. Don't fall in love. <laughs> you know what's not I funny, thought it was though, funny. Chad thought it was funny. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. <laughs> hey, well, since we brought up Joker, I'd just like to remind everyone that uh, Frozen 2 opening weekend had a, a machete attack. A machete uh, attack. So, it was it was yeah, a hate happened. crime. It's a hate film, and yeah. it promotes uh, machetes yeah. killing people. Mm-hmm. After, because, wasn't because, that in, like, the UK or something? The, yeah, I think so. Aren't there always, yeah. like, you know... Uh, yeah, where sorry. guns are illegal. Culture, yeah. cultured people I mean, over there. Uh, I don't know. Well, no, I'm from Papua New Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeremy, so, uh, Frozen 2 had Olaf in it, so I think having a, you know, like, cra- driving someone crazy to violence makes sense. Yeah. So. Hey, uh, Shad. But just, it was so funny because they used that. They built up the Joker as like this movie where there was going to be violence and they made me and Gary go through a fucking metal detector. I know. Police in all the theaters. The police in all the theaters. Because it, it was a Trump supporter movie is what the, that's the narrative. That, that was the, the narrative. The yeah. and it looked, that up. Like, CNN, man. CNN. And, no, Jer- Frozen 2 had a machete attack. I know. Even- <laughs> no, Jeremy, remember what we said to each other too? We're getting patted down in front of a movie theater. And we're like, this is some total police state shit. <laughs> yeah. It was like a, it was yeah. like a month before COVID started. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, like, yeah. 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 It was. Oh. <laughs> so Shad, you wanted to make a point about She-Hulk, my friend. Yeah, I got just a, a couple of points to end this off on it. So yeah, there's going to be consequences for She-Hulk because I've been just paying attention to some of the normie kind of reactions and you know, they, they were dissatisfied with Thor, Love and Fun, Thunder and everything. But this one is like the breaking point where so many people are just like, You're right. I don't care yeah. about the MCU. This is this is dead to me. And I see why. Like, I, I totally agree, Gary. They jumped the shark with this. Where they were, Big time. they were, oh, they, yeah, they, they said, yeah, the writer, someone else mentioned, I forget who it was, that she would burn down Marvel to get the job. And she got the job and she's burning it down anyway, because yeah. this, uh, th- this is like, you could not have tried to assassinate the MCU, Marvel's reputation, if you like more than what She-Hulk did if you tried. <clears throat> this is it almost felt like intentional sabotage for everything. Ryan Johnson. No, Chad, you're absolutely right. And look how they delayed everything that is in, currently in production with the exception of well, Wakanda Forever. Let me let's go over our list of uh because the one thing She-Hulk did that was very consistent with D plus was assassinate previous Marvel characters. Let's go over our list. I wrote it down in my notes that only I can read. Uh, Abomination, ruined. Wong, ruined. Hulk, ruined. Scar, ruined. Daredevil, ruined. Planet Hulk, ruined. She-Hulk, ruined. Fuck this show. And that's on top of Thor getting ruined. One show. Doctor Strange getting ruined. Doctor Strange. Loki being ruined. Yep, so he's like, fucking dead just, at this point. He's fucking dead. And yes. you can you can expect like a lot of these stands out here that just go to watch movie, turn their brain off, whatever. They can excuse a couple of bad movies. They go, look, okay, it's a bad movie. Oh, it's a bad show. Whenever they get down to a, a show like She-Hulk, it's they're blatantly saying, look, we don't give a fuck about the MCU anymore. 
I and that's going to tell the audience, go, okay, well, I guess yep. I'm, I'm out there. And, and not only that, they in the show, they, this last episode even says that they hate the MCU. Like, if you listen yes. to what She-Hulk yes. is saying, yeah. she's, like, trying to say, why does everyone have daddy issues? And she starts just ragging yeah. out the past. Yeah. And, and it's a straw in because I didn't really see Tony Stark necessarily having daddy issues. He actually was no. inspired a bit by his father and led to achieve even greater heights yeah, and stuff. And it, it, actually, a more nuanced, you know, integration into his story just dismiss it as daddy issues and then hulk and uh, sorry then thor and loki and she only gives three examples and then she says everyone has daddy issues it's like that's bullcrap and then she starts to rag out much better marvel films and even if people try and say that marvel endings are a bit generic and every action like that they are still vastly better than what she hulk has done and then she's like we can't end like those ones we're gonna end it differently and her of, like decision for an improvement instead of having a some fight that might have been vaguely interesting or fun to see she hulk or smash be people. heroic no she's gonna talk it out and it's like the most anticlimactic sludge and they're trying to think this is an improvement on marvel it's like no you've destroyed everything you've because they think superheroes they don't even talk it out lame. though they do yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah, talks to the writers true. and then jumps back in and then everything's done nobody and it's like good you. job y'all uh, nobody wants to see she hulk fight abomination that's stupid no. <laughs> but what one of the things fuck? she said if you didn't say it was uh hulk coming in to save the day in my in show, my show? Uh, yeah. not gonna, oh, it's not gonna be her. saved by a man i don't think so don't think so well, it's like the daddy issues. Every single every single person she listed was a man. Oh, was that was single again, telling yep. on themselves. It, telling on yeah. themselves. Just so obviously, yeah. just like stop projecting. It's what so obvious. Yeah. It is projecting. Uh, like, Especially when she has so many the issues ones. herself. Yeah. You yes. know? Gamora. Yes. The, the, the the she had bad. so many issues. Gamora. She created a second fake persona and ending for her of her life. Yeah. Her issues That's had issues. That's how fucking screwed she is. Her luggage had luggage. Oh. But, the, but the thing is, when it comes to normies, like, I've never pretended to be anything else but peak normie. I've not read the comics. Mm -hmm. I don't know Marvel like this. I just know the movies and everything else. The the difference is, I think I try to articulate exactly what I don't like about something, whereas a lot of people will just watch something. This was boring. This was boring. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. like it, and I'm out. Here's and the, they just go, and you'll we'll never hear from them again. Bottom line, Disbaru, uh, you, like, you don't need to read the comics for Marvel anymore. They don't adapt no, them don't. C correctly. We had a bunch of stands out there going, you didn't like the Daredevil comic accurate costume? That was that was not a comic <laughs> accurate costume. That wasn't a comic accurate Daredevil uh, it's like vomit yellow. But it had yellow yeah. like, had, 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 had the color yellow. yellow. Like yellow. Uh, it's very the most recent uh, edition. Um. But, but this is the thing. You don't even need to go that deep. It's the whole thing with like the fourth wall break. I don't care whether she breaks the fourth wall. I care whether when she breaks the fourth wall, it's actually interesting and good. And to quote my dad about Rings of Power, the only thing he said to me is, I'm not watching that shit anymore. He, like, he didn't <laughs> go into any more depth. He didn't explain the story. He just right. knew he was bored. He didn't like it. And he'd yeah. gone. And you'll never hear from those people again. They're not watching nope. season two. They're not coming back. Oh, and that's the biggest thing with the normie. It is like people are like, oh, well, they turn the brain off. Yeah, but it's just because they they don't think about it enough in order to actually make however long a video you want to explain exactly why. But they still know it's awful. They still know they don't like it. And if you don't change, you will lose all of them and they will never come back because mm -hmm. they rely on reputation. And when you destroy... Uh, a superhero's reputation, you hurt all of Marvel, and they do not care about the next one. Mm -hmm. I'm the same thing with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was my favorite Marvel character. Then you've released Doctor Strange 2, completely destroyed mm -hmm. him. I don't want to watch the next movie. Like, I'll watch I have, a YouTube channel, a but apart from that, I'm out. Yep. I don't know if you guys have gotten this question, or it's something you, you've all talked about before in your videos. Like, we're all in agreement, you know, She-Hulk sucks, all these all these new shows suck. Do you? Is there a part of you that feels like uh, us by doing this show, like we bring more attention to these shitty shows, thereby oh, I... all of us, our fans are adding views because I... people no, watch no, the show. No, no, not the worst it. argument in the world. I was yeah. like, the people that watch us say, why are you still watching it? Stop watching it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Because they've already canceled it all the time. You don't think we're helping also, them there's, get there's, views? No. Also, no, I, like, I, could, I feel I could guarantee I have encouraged more people not to watch Rings of Power than my one yeah. watch yeah. of it to review yeah. it. In, in my, orders of Magnitude. Yeah, my yeah. Top I, comment on the my Batwoman videos, the top comment you. got it over and over and over was, as I've never watched a show of this, I've never watched a single show in my life, and never will. But my God, I always tune in for the for the fucking breakdown, even for the piss takes. No, it, you I, know, we are literally 
and also the second now i mean this is becoming probably the most popular comment we're getting on twitter and in the comment section is thank you for watching this so we don't have to yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why do you think hate... so many of these people are desperate for us to shut the fuck up yes that's why, the point of the yes. why do you think mm -hmm. they want us labeled all this shit it's because it hurts them yes the idea so. of all press is good them. press all, the all press mm -hmm. is good press thing like i get it it's not reality it, when it comes to this mm -hmm. if you have fucking hundreds of thousands of views on these videos eviscerating something that's not motivating people to go out and watch it it's motivating them to laugh at it and, and remember, it's even Ryan, bigger than that because... for years we were a vocal minority and where where are we now they're inserting us into their programs in their with, fucking heads it's leveled we up. are the vocal minority we are the vocal minority that is actually correct the problem is it is the non-vocal majority that is watching us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the thing. And they're the ones who are just turning out and tuning so, out in droves. But it's been an evolution, right? Uh, and, you know, yeah. it, we take steps forward. We take steps back. I mean, honestly, I mean, it started with Ghostbusters 2016, but The Last Jedi was the impetus for all of this. All of it. it then there's Game of Thrones. To a certain extent, it wasn't as, like, woke as... It's not the same reason. It it's not intersectionalism. Bad. But this double punch that I wasn't expect. I mean, I thought She Hulk would be bad. I didn't think it would be this bad. I really oh, didn't I think it was going to be this bad. And, and, yeah. and, I, I uh, and Rings of Power, I, I thought it would be really bad. It's really, 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 really fucking bad. Like a disaster mm -hmm. bad. And uh, th th there, this one two punch was beautiful and the it timed with House of the Dragon, which was completely out of left field. Like, I thought I was going to hate the show. I really thought, because I don't like the book. I don't like the book. It's better than the fucking book. <laughs> and I, I, that, like, I like the story, but the book is just, it's not a normal book. It's, I know it's not a normal book. I like Westeros, it, dude. You know? I read the, I've read the Silmarillion. It's better. Like, George's history books are fucking boring, okay? And they have to, they offer no depth and there's no beauty of language like with Tolkien. <clears throat> but the show's absolutely improved on it. it. Like, King Viserys is just a drunk idiot in the book. And Patty Constantine brought, like, uh, humanity to that character. That fucking should win awards. It was epic. It's the best yep. season of television that I've seen episode, this year. That final episode, dude. Holy for him, shit. For him, that final episode. But, like, yeah. but as I said in my oh. video, a little fucking fight between kids in a cave was better yeah. coordinated, mm -hmm. had more uh, effect on the character, progressed the story longer, and it was, like, three minutes. It was three minutes yeah. with kids who were in one episode more than the entirety of Rings of Power. That is, like, taking like, them to school. And on top of that, like, they, they managed to have an old man walk across a room and sit in a chair, be one of the most powerful moving moments, and mm. such a, a great, like, emotional just investment, thrill from it. Orders of magnitude, like, I got nothing out of Rings of Power, just except pain, frustration, annoyance. Oh, God, so, tell me about it. So the bottom yeah. line uh, is, like, the, the access media and the activists, they fucking took a massive L in the culture war with Rings of Power. Mm -hmm. Like a massive L. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Take your victory yeah. lap, please. Uh, they, yeah, how they can the dragon help... do it? Because like one of the things with all news, is, or, like all news is good news, is it's based off the marketing principle that branding is good. And so that your name just getting out there is good. Yeah. But it only actually is reality if there's an alternative opinion. Like everyone knows someone that's been like censored off the internet or whatever, and they've exploded. But that's because people went and checked out their content and actually lied liked what they were doing you like no one's going to watch a show that they despise and don't like mm -hmm. and so yeah. like <clears throat> for rings of power that... ratings streaming ratings have gone down every fucking week in the nielsen mm -hmm. ratings that we know of so yeah. it's bullshit the reason kevin smith was pretending like he didn't care that people were talking about his fucking master universe series even though he's desperately begging people to stop talking about it is because it was having a negative effect on the series mm -hmm. it, it's real it, it's a simple simple situation Where's the next Star Wars movie? Yep. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> all of point. our channels really took off. Ryan all of our strategy. channels, yeah, all of our channels took off all over the Last Jedi in some way, shape, or form. Where's the next Star Wars movie? Nowhere to be found. What happened with Solo? Solo lost money. What happened with Captain Marvel? It made a billion dollars. Where's Captain Marvel two? Nowhere to be fucking found. Uh, they have renamed it. They've diversified. They've diversified. Yeah, they added a bunch they, of they, black they, and brown people so no one can crash yeah, it now. They, they've diversified uh, it. Yeah. And, and now she's on a red carpet. Does anybody yeah. want me? Uh, the only thing that shows uh, positivity is is Game of Thrones at this point. Game of Thrones season eight was one of the worst things we've ever seen, and it wasn't because of wokeness. 
It wasn't. Mm-hmm. It was just really bad in every yeah. single way. It wasn't uh, really Arya flying was... out of nowhere and killing the Night King I mean, with yeah, a knife. But that's not the Pretty overarching bad. theme as to why that show was bad. It was incompetent people, people that hell. didn't have lost that, that, interest. That yep. Built, yeah, they built everything off of George's, you know, kind of storylines, and then when they didn't have that, they just shit the bed. It really because that um, moment, even for people who are not like politicized or, or, or into at all political conversation, even people like that would have looked at that moment and said, "That was stupid. Why the hell did?" she get yeah. to kill him you know yeah. yes and i and called like, this also, time. Like, Bruce said people will see it they know it's bad they don't know exactly yeah. why it's bad they go oh mm-hmm. that doesn't make any sense why is that there i well, don't that like was that me. Yeah. i right? like because it takes a lot of effort to actually think about a subject that much and you just don't care like that's right. what it comes well, down to. Like the opposite of love isn't hate. It is literally apathy. apathy. Right. You see it, yes. you think it's boring, yeah. and hate you go. Is a, like you no longer think. That's about why it, you know that when we went over that uh, lengthy uh, on the real BBC the ESG video, I, I mentioned that you know that little thing you knew was off, but you just couldn't quite put your finger on it. The CG uh, Project Red video explains it all. It's ESG. Yes. It's fucking ESG. But they, it didn't have a name when it started. It didn't have a name, but it, it's de- like the video I just did. They put fucking critical race theory in the tag like in the effing tag uh, yes it, it, right next to far right groups and white yes. supremacy a rings of power look at the tags Gary. Look and this at is the from tags. a website called the conversation <laughs> an entirely academic built platform for academics to talk to other academics and they're writing about rings of power so that's whenever like we're all saying they're targeting pop culture that's what we mean. They are literally targeting pop culture through their academic papers and saying this is racist, misogynist, sexist, and it needs to be done and it needs to be changed. So th- it's it's all there. They're still targeting it. It's not going to stop. Well, that's what you get with these things. Like these ideas, it, when you put them into like a culture in a TV show, they can appear simple. But when you get down to the language of it all, they're very complicated and they actually deal in sort of the concepts behind the words. It's a lot about the framing of things. Which is why, if anyone's watched my stuff, I reword what the articles say. It says the same thing, but I use different language specifically to avoid the concepts that they want to use because they watch carry the weight. And it gets to you at a sort of subconscious level that you're not even aware of, which is why academia focuses on it so much. Because they just spend their entire lives thinking about this stuff, and it takes decades to actually work its way through the system, and then gets passed on through to culture and society when it's kind of ready and done. And then we have adult daycare. And on the the point of, uh, I don't think, I think the audience is smart enough to make up their own minds, regardless as to what we say. Uh, And that goes back to The Last Jedi, where everyone was surrounded by a bunch of, you know, shills that were telling you how great The Last Jedi was. And everyone was going, what the fuck? I I don't like this. I don't like this. And then they started seeing a few people popping up going, oh, that person agrees with me. That person agrees with me because they weren't eating up what the media was feeding them, even though that's all that was out there. And the, the major channels were all telling you The Last Jedi was the greatest film ever made. It was a masterpiece. Rotten Tomatoes mm-hmm. has it at a 90 whatever percent. And everyone was somehow how it was groundbreaking. But the audience rejected that. They just didn't have voices that were representing them. And then a lot of us started getting a following. So we can only tell you what we think, and it will either – resonate with you because you agree or you disagree but ultimately the audience is smart enough to make up their own minds you go back to <sighs> angry video game nerd remember when he made that video on ghostbusters 2016 and why he's not going to watch it and it got millions of views where's ghostbusters 2016 sequel nowhere to be fucking found no because no fucking body cared about it so we have no impact on like we're not going to help shows the shows can help themselves as i said in the beginning the best thing you can do is make a good fucking show House of the Dragon is not successful because Gary and Mahler are making reviews about it. It's successful because it's fucking good. And we're mm-hmm. giving it, you know, everybody here that's watching is giving their feedback on it. Mm-hmm. And all you got to do is make a good show. And all the, the incels, guess what? You're going to make more money. The incels aren't going to complain, as you say. And everybody's happy. But they don't want that. No, you know? it's because it's so ego driven now because of insecurity. Because of yes. insecurity and the way that town mm-hmm. is built, like it was built, like this was all going to come crashing to an end. They're, they're, like nothing lasts forever. Scripted entertainment is is already on its way out. We have now a generation uh, that's really the only scripted entertainment they like is in their game, is in their game. They're not really watching a lot of TV. Like kids don't watch streaming services. Uh, teenagers mm-hmm. don't watch fucking streaming services. They like watch YouTube. Yep. All right. Or so TikTok. we're going to read some soups. 
and then talk about Rings of Power. Just real quick, Gary, you forgot one thing about She-Hulk. They also ruined Mr. Immortal. So, all right, oh, yeah. Great Lake Avengers. Mm-hmm. I, they, oh, God, you're right. You're right. My bad. He was a pre-established Marvel I, character. I now though, have to so. re-record my entire video for Monday. <laughs> No, I can By just the way, they that. also they also uh, again told on themselves with Mr. Moore because what they did is they said this guy's straight, uh, but we just once in his lifetime decided to marry him. Fuck a dude. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. It no, doesn't, it doesn't. It, well, well, basically, now, it, it goes in, crazy talk. It goes into the message that crazy. if you're not at least, if every man is not a little gay, you're a bigot. Well, that that's that's that's, that's, ho- that's Hollywood. <laughs> that's Hollywood. Well, I guess I'm a bigot. And the reason well, it's like, ho- no, it, and the, the reason it's ho- thing. Well, well, like holy crap! <laughs> it, if you say, if you're telling me that a straight person could go and watch that and not have any repulsive reaction, I would say. I got news for you. I got news. Yeah. For you. <laughs> I got news. Well, the, the I got news for them. I'm not going to watch that fucking movie. The thing, the thing is, <laughs> Gal- look at Galadriel though in Rings of Power. Right at the end, when she's like, "These rings are for elvish kind and elves only." I'm like, "Well, I don't know. It sounds pretty yeah, big as it's to me." Yeah, yeah. yeah. xenophobic. Yeah. Yeah. Right at Elrond, so half elf. Well, again, it's you know, reflecting. El- it's el- reflecting mm. the world of LA today. Because everybody is a little gay in Los Angeles. They are, for, especially in Hollywood, if they want to get jobs. You know what I'm saying? But why mm. are you gay? Why? Well, that's, why? that's why? all right. So, okay, I think that's okay. Called uh, like sex it. slave, but okay. Why have we uh, not? Why have we never reacted to that? Why are you gay? Clip. Holy why? fuck. Why are you it's gay? So good. Why are you gay? Um, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, you. maybe. Why later. are you gay? Uh, we start with <laughs> waffle for three hundred shekels. Oh, I said, hey. <laughs> wow. Uh, Tell us how you really feel. Time. Really yeah. like Israel. Uh, today is my birthday. I got my ISOM cover A and B signed, still unpacked, saving them for a couple of years for the price to skyrocket that it already is. Uh, then sell them. Got a grift the grifter. Uh, he would be proud of you, by the way. And I got two great uh, BD presents. Uh, BD. Birthday. 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 Okay. Oh. I've had so many, I should know that. Uh, FNT stream <laughs> and Rings of Power is finally over. Hail FNT and hail to the fellowship. And hail to you. All I got to say is thank God. You don't have to worry about this for another two oh, years. Oh, it was so much no. fun watching you all suffer in the chat today, too. I don't I know. <laughs> like... Rings of Power might be over, but I'm in it for the long haul. I'm going to listen to the reactions. I'm going to make follow-up videos. I'm oh, gonna, dude, we got know. another month out of this easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the gonna... idea that right after the finale came out, all of these mainstream publications had interviews ready to go with the showrunners telling him about how they're going to change season two and yeah. how it's, well, Sauron's going to be Walter White in what? season two. <laughs> oh, what is that? Where, where I mean, is I'm, that I'm totally an advocate of a lot of people involved with this show getting cancer, but I, I you know, I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, 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 Ryan. Wait, wait, can, can wait, 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 no, no, no wait, 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 we need a meme of Sauron in his tidy whities outside of a trailer. I saw one already. <laughs> can, can, you, can you share that? Can you share that, please? Right. This is, uh, that is what they, this person has just said. Hollywood reporter, uh, showrunners will say, what White, uh, what? Sauron will be like Walter White in season two. I put, what the fuck does Walter White have to do with Tolkien, you fucking morons? <laughs> and then this is, this is the level of fucking retardation you have to deal with. Because like Sauron is, by the way, I'm reading this verbatim. Because like Sauron is actually a really good guy, oh, and like no, he's not. He's oh, like oh forces. No, I really dude, I, I hope this him. is parody. I, I really fucking hope this is satire. Because I just can't right. tell anymore. I know. I Wait, is, uh, it's is it because he's it's, it's it's got a population parody. control or something? Like what's the world? He follows me. I'm hoping it's satire. It's please, dude, it's gotta be parody. No, no, life, life is parody. So that's why we can't figure it out. If it is, I know we can't tell now. I know. We can't, we can't tell when you write it down. WG. The Hellbrand actor himself said that his character is literally a story of what happens to a man who has never been loved. What yes. happens to the void? Power fills that oh, void. It was literally yeah. Hellbrand is the incel story. As Absolutely. Well. He also uh, didn't know that he was playing Sauron when they filmed like the first three episodes. So to get Lundrell, she, she didn't know either. She didn't know second she one. Well, she didn't know until she got there. Yeah. Like what? Her, no, he didn't. They were filming the first several episodes had filmed, and he didn't know that his character was supposed to be Sauron, despite his second line being. Appearances can be deceiving. Yes, <laughs> oh, man. He's an act. He's an actor. He's an now, adult pretender. To be, f- 
He got yeah, paid. to be fair, they don't always film the episodes in like that exact order. So they could have filmed that at a certain point when he would have known or not known. No, he that, said that no. that's the order no. that they filmed. So the in first two. Wait, 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 wait. God damn it! Uh, the first two episodes were filmed first. Absolutely first, because that J uh, A Boyona was there to do the pilot, which was essentially the first two episodes. So he had no. God. idea. And wasn't the the water scene with ha uh, Hal Brandon Gladro was one of the first things that they actually Correct. filmed? Yeah. yeah, I have the uh, the meme. Can you show this, Gary? Because did Hal Brand know that he was fucking <laughs> stood behind <laughs> oh, the world's man. worst green say... screen that you could <laughs> change <laughs> anything you want? <laughs> I busted out laughing when it switched to his face. Oh my god, that was so funny. It was the so bad. bad. It's like <laughs> the green screen work on that dude. This movie, uh, this show, billions of dollars. <laughs> it was yeah. tagged, billions of dollars. It was episode. tagged on at the end. What is it was this? tagged on it at like the he end. He was wearing like he went to a, a party. Uh, share share what cloak. Ryan share what Ryan has. <laughs> Quarter black. How did he get yes. to fucking mom? Oh, man. Oh, no. That is awesome. Oh, that is God. brilliant. Uh, well done. Uh, WG has gifted. WG has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. WG's the man. Sandy Q has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50 more. All right, Garrett. You want, you want to get Rings of Power up? Or is he off having a wink? What's he doing? What are you doing, Garrett? So uh, I'll... That, uh, picture, the picture of Sauron or Halbrand uh, in the end, it reminds me of that meme that people put up about Kylo Ren where it like, listens to Linkin Park once. <laughs> and, and, you know, he just goes full, like, dark, brooding emo man, you know? Like, what the fuck, man? This show's such a parody. Holy shit. It is. Ugh. So... As we're about to dive into Rings of Power, is it worth bringing up the odd shenanigans Amazon was playing when uh, you're trying to watch it? Yes. Kick you, uh, out? you know, it's, I forgot to bring that up. I had it in my notes. It happened right mm -hmm. during the girl Sildur scene. You got the pop-up ad for that freaking uh, like Matrix-like, whatever the fuck it is, uh, mm -hmm. show. And it's a full two-minute trailer that you had to click on click off and restart the show so they yeah. didn't it, it, took, it took you out of your watch session mm -hmm. it auto played and automatically took you out of your watch session forcing you to need to click on it again to re start a new watch session that's weird and that didn't happen to me it happened it to, to me and my wife like so on my stream i asked my audience how many people it happened to it happened to a lot of people yep and uh, if you're looking at certain analytics that's actually a way to Fudge the numbers and double yeah. perceived views oh, on a given thing. Yeah. How many impressions? Oh, well, just double the user yeah. base. Yeah, and this is the big <laughs> finale. Finale, and and they can say yeah. they, that could double oh. to triple the views or impressions. Wow. Or so what a way to gain the system. Well, you know, what? like I, so somebody, uh, somebody from Marvel. That's the ballot of views. It yeah. really, yeah. oh, it it's really is. Well done. done. The whole time. Um, <laughs> so somebody from Marvel. I mean, again, I mentioned this last night. And you probably know it already, but the reason there's 14 minute fucking credits at the end is the pad, the minutes watched. So, wow. so you get up after the show, yeah. you go well, take a piss, <laughs> you go get your you get your drink. Yeah. A lot of people don't, and they let the credits just run, and that pads the minutes watched. Damn. Or when they fall asleep, yeah. you know, because a lot of people fall asleep <laughs> exactly. watching that. Yeah, that's <laughs> still there. It's most likely. Jesus. Uh, I'm watching the chat. Why are you only seeing 38 Garrett, seconds of Lord of Garrett, Lord. did you pull up uh, Rings of Power? I got it. Okay. He was jerking. He was I can jerking. Respect it. Not, enough, not enough dwarves this not week. Not to this show. Dude. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Tried to put it off as long as I could. <laughs> By the way, that is the nicest fucking image in the whole fucking it's show. Beautiful. The, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Na it's nature. I want to go yeah, to New Zealand. Non green screen. I am definitely going to go to New Zealand. I will brave the 17 hour freaking flight. Ugh. Hope there's no homeless wizards there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be me. You mean a star? Oh my god! I thought this was the guy from Home Alone, the guy who was salting the sidewalk. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my shit! <laughs> old, old man, man Marley. Yeah. Old man Marley. It's meth. Old man Marley. It's, it's meth, Dolph. <laughs> no, I had a daughter. I had a daughter. Gary, Gary, do you know Fire how this 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 bit made me 
fucking furious. I know, too. He's just looking at the apple, and you know he's thinking of fucking Nori Brandy Snatch. Forever. And then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, you mean by. Yeah. The voiceover comes on of Brandy going, K Gandalf, remember me. You're looking at the apple because you're remembering <laughs> I know. me. Because we think the studio audience are fucking stupid. And it's like, ah! Yeah, and, we and know not only what he that, was doing. The voiceover contradicts what the show had previously set up because he says, you're not a peril when the last interaction she had with, he had with <laughs> yeah, these people yeah. is that you're so dangerous and evil that, yeah. that we're casting you out. And it's like, so he wouldn't even be thinking that. would be thinking, everyone hates me. I'm so evil, but no. And I'm even so, going to send the uh, fucking Nazgals after Nazgals. you. <laughs> I'm going to send the Nazgals the after girls. you. And yeah. I'm going to be uh, indirectly first. responsible for the death of Lenny Henry. What, this entire thing is like, what are they doing? Well, they're ambushing a guy who's alone. You know, one of the things about being on your own, you can get ambushed literally anywhere. Yeah, uh -huh. they ambush him on a road to take him to up on him like this. Yeah, they ambush him on a road to take him to another road, and the entire this oh, like this entire scene that, is literally so you know that she can shape change. No, That's no, the only yeah. reason this scene Honestly, exists. I'm happy to see Frost Garrett, getting another game. Go back game. to the other shot. That was just <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, forward. she's got some new oh, work. Garrett, go yeah. forward. The one I the said, feminine, hold it right there, right no there. Feminine. As. Feminine. As. Feminine. As. Yeah. That dude's got this a nice is... rack. Gary, I agree. I absolutely agree. That... <laughs> we have not, we have not given this show Why? enough credit for showing us what actually happened to Eminem after he went after Trump. Yeah, <laughs> Eminem, right Eminem mid transition. <laughs> that's that's what happened to Eminem <laughs> after he went after Trump that. right there. So these characters, right? It's revealed that they know that the Astari might be in there because they reveal, oh, it's the Astari. Mm -hmm. And so they're so stupid because the context of the show should be that it's really obvious this guy's not Sauron because Sauron was with Morgoth. And so the context that Sauron was already on Middle Earth, this guy fell from the sky. Yeah. Sauron already yes. on Earth. And, but the Astari, how would they come to Earth? Well, they might fall. Oh, they, this guy. And so the fact that they realize that is in the story later on is so retarded because the show is pretty obvious by context but no they want the mystery the literal they last want... second they're like yeah. oh wait <laughs> He's not Sauron. He's not Sauron. It's yeah. so dumb. And so they force it, something it must so be blatantly brand. I mean, obvious uh, and stupid <laughs> to try and misdirect the audience. And, but it's so bloody obvious this guy isn't Sauron and is a wizard. And, but the show unironically thinks, well, uh, we'll trick you because these people think it's Sauron, so that'll make you think it's Sauron, right? No, we're not that friggin' dumb. It's because just, most of the people this watching this was are, are going to be people that have episodes. some knowledge of the material. And so anyone who was going to watch this would have yeah. said, no, I'm not falling for that. That's stupid. Uh, I think anybody Dude, with no knowledge would, would Walter pick that fucking shit white, so what <laughs> the, go, the, uh, the yeah, continuity. Sauron. The continuity of this character was so great that she hasn't even washed her, washed her hands since she went to the meteorite. Like yeah. she, she <laughs> dug her hand into the soot and she still has the same filth on her hands that she did all those miles uh, ago. She's dirty. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see? Uh, I, can I switch this? Do you want to see what Amazon are now delivering uh, items in? And this ain't. This isn't <laughs> even. A, this isn't even a joke. There you go. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get those all That's the time. Right. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. 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 The boxes too. I saw. So I, I was driving back from Nashville yesterday to here, and I saw on the road an entire Amazon Prime van that had Galadriel's face on the side of it. Oh. I, I, I never oh. wanted to drive right into a fucking ditch as bad as it did. <laughs> <laughs> but like they, they are going all out with the promotion for this shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's on the boxes and shit. And it's too. not it's working. Funny. It's like it's Star not, it's Wars not in the all UK, over again. In the UK, we're just getting the regular Amazon boxes. Or I am at least. So. Oh, good for you. Thank yeah, God. I yeah, lucky. Well. I, if you guys in this time, I'm not going to make that one. Like, they're this. so desperate for this to succeed, like, oh, and the fudging yeah. the numbers and everything. And mm. it, so I actually do get the impression the failure of this is going to have serious impacts on Amazon. I hope so. Wait, 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 Gary, Gary, go back to that. Go, can you go back to that God. shop, please? Right. This is... Um, I've got Iridium. control This as... is Rigion, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Look at the vast mountains and forests area, mm. and they fucking walked to Kazadun. Yeah, <laughs> but they rode six days to get here from yeah. Yeah. six yeah, without nice rest, days. Just without rest, with a mortal wound. Die. Yeah, with the seven yeah. wound. Yeah. We, we rode day and night. Well, you see, they recognize in previous episodes that 
they had the fast travel thing going, and so they wanted to establish, oh no, it takes time, but by doing so, the mortal wound problem. Be- and they yeah, yeah, and they and they re- and this, they, the and shot they, is in slow mo like re- everything yeah, else. In they re- this show. Sorry, they I was re- hoping that Halbrand was just a corpse on the other horse, and he died like <laughs> five days <laughs> right, away. Right. And she gets there, and she's like. Oh, 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 he's dead? Because she wouldn't have checked oh. on him once. She doesn't care. They repurposed the scene, to... too. The, I, this is a repurposed scene from yep. Fellowship. So, one of the but first there's, of many. There's, there's, a, there's a quote from episode one. I think Chad brought it up last week. Of Arinder going, yeah, but we don't have medics. We only have artists that just make yes. statues and stuff for the soul. <laughs> so, there's, there's, there's no such thing as elvish medicine. So, why are we even going there in the first place? And you go over there. She's like, well, you know, I can, I can give him a damp cloth on his head. That's about all I can do there. <laughs> Well, it's I mean, he seems to be doing the pretty creators, well. So. The writers, they, they honestly are not paying attention to just the law, what they establish in their own show, and they directly contradict it. And this episode was full of that. So many times we point out in the review, it's like, oh, they, they set this up and they contradict it because they're just bloody idiots and they're not paying well, attention be, to what We they kind do. of forgot about, you know, time and how all that works. <laughs> and we needed to get him to kill a Brimbor anyway. So this was the best thing we could think of. They forget entire characters' personalities that just mm-hmm. change from episode to episode. It's like they literally haven't read the script or watched the previous episodes in any way. People will just change. I, I don't think we've seen enough of Keller Brimbor to actually quantify what his personality is he yeah. always wears the same clothes that's what yeah. i literally, yeah, literally, literally looks like a grandma yeah and if i didn't know there was a granny script, maternity were. if i didn't know he had a script i would have assumed he says the same thing in every episode because of the way every single line it seems is said the same exact way with the same hand motions so it's like wait he basically saying is saying the things? same thing every scene well, is this, well this is an endurance during scene those are literally the exact same fucking conversations for like five episodes <laughs> well, yeah. n- like none of these characters have development they just want you to know their names from previous iterations and then just expect you to know who they are mm-hmm. they don't develop none of these characters have any development whatsoever none of them like, even galadriel no development N- none they're just trying yeah. to build off of the name recognition of lord of the rings so, mm-hmm. She doesn't and have orgasms on absolutely. horses anymore. Like, That's development. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're absolutely on right. fire go, yeah. so yeah. And I, I believe absolutely- that Gladrow could suck the joy out of anything, never mind. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead, Chad. Jeremy, you're absolutely oh. right. She doesn't have uh, character development, but the show make, wants to fool you to make you think that she mm-hmm. does. Yes. Like when yes. last yes. episode when she's like, it's all my fault. She doesn't think it's her fault. She, no. doesn't, she hasn't gone on any arc, and, and it's confirmed by this episode. This whole kind of thing like if her revenge quest was bad and wrong all right then what would have happened is that she wouldn't have tried to kill sauron when he revealed himself that's exactly what she does confirming that she hasn't done any growth at all she wants to kill him no matter any cost even if he might redeem himself and be good she's like no i'll kill you anyway i I get unbelievable learn nothing what they did to galadriel in this episode this is why this episode is the worst one for me she they unironically made her the reason for the Dark Lord's rise in existence yep. yes. and the and creation, the creation. <laughs> of yes. the Rings of Power. Yes. So he yes. could be an insect. Amazing. So he yes. could be essentially what? a rejected lover. Yes. So he could be a rejected lover and a freaking incel no, so no, they could yes, ship them. They, they turned Sauron into a simp. The entire yes. time, he's <laughs> to her pants. And yep. so now it's Simpron and Gotriel, <laughs> because guess what Galadriel does? She led him on, made him think that she was interested in him, to use him and abuse him, get what he wants. And as soon as he reveals his heart to her, instant rejection. She's a friggin' thought. Galadriel <laughs> is a thought. And Sauron is a simp. We have Gotriel wow. and Simpron. I can't believe it. <laughs> and and it's like the big where she tried to stab him with the dagger, though, and she's like two foot short of that. And he's no, that's stupid. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, well, no, you see, the dagger was plus four, and his parry was plus eight. So uh... <laughs> yeah, his AC was too high. Sixteen, she rolled a ten. But she got, she got. The only time she got big mad, though, um, Shad. Is when she saw him walk with Keller Brimbor because she's totally fucking jealous. She's, she's like, so why, is jelly. He, why is he <laughs> simping on me? Why is I, he I simping say, on him now? That last shot where uh, you can see Sauron when they're pulling him in. I will say, at least with this, uh, they've established that if you get a wound in like the side of your chest, something like that, there's blood on your shirt. Um, 
they didn't really have that for Lenny Henry, you know, right after he got fucking I know, I know. <laughs> to the chest later on in the episode. Suddenly he decides comes back to and he's die. perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with him. There's no blood anywhere until yeah. like five minutes later. Then he yeah. was like, his first appearance like, oh, back, my time to he's leave. fine. And then at the very end, they're like, oh, we, oh yeah, we, we forgot that, th that he has a wound. Let's. Well, uh, there's another thing too, that one of, one of the Naz gals got stabbed in the foot and she wasn't limping at all at, no. in, with the later season. <laughs> it was, was so thing. fucking funny. When Lenny Henry did that, he, like he had the surprise, and he decides to blow his whistle from a supplier's place. So she turns around and looks at him, and then he goes. For, the, the, this show has something to do with like hitting the foot. Bronwyn did the same thing. She had the jump on yeah. an orc and decides to go for their foot instead. They just hate feet for some reason in this show. Like no, it's the, the most critical area to take out. It's Sorry, bizarre. don't you mean Bronwyn, no. commander of the Southern Armies? <laughs> <laughs> we know, Queen Bronwyn, founder of Gondor. Yeah, she's going to be. Oh. Be. Good lord. Oh, Are you fucking serious? Oh. Don't you guys think so? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, knowing this, right. knowing this show. Me. She's you know, gonna be the reason. You can just imagine, like, <laughs> Lindsay... She's gonna kill, stay I'm in the sealed door. Lindsay Weber's whole contribution to this show is... Oh, just make that person a girl. Well, we have, a, we have like, this cult of Sauron. Make them all women. I think they should <laughs> be all women. So we That's have... You know the Nazgul? Can you make them, like, do it first, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Nazgul. I haven't read Girls the books. I've only, I've, only read, I've only watched the movies, but my understanding was the Nazgul were created because they're corrupted by the rings. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's why but they, they, they still. So how do we have the Nazgul? We, it's it's not technically I, Nazgul, it, but it was it, supposed to be the imagery to remind you of that. It's, it's a just a repurposed. Yeah, oh, it's a member band. That's all. Dude, you remember that, Nazgul? That was, that was what they were going for. Let's not fucking beat around the bush. They were like, these are like the Nazgals. Uh -huh. Because it course. was the nine kings who were all men. And that's why I put the it up on Twitter. Things. And of course, the bots, largely because bots can't understand nuance, didn't understand <laughs> that, like, no, it's not technically the Nazgul. It's the Nazgirls. Yeah. The Nazgul. And for, and for a... On, it's, it's made me buy the fucking book, you know, fucking all of them. So There you go. There you go. That's you get that. on Amazon? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying it worked. Uh, she got to a used store ass. That was their plan all along. <laughs> Dang it, we're going to make something so bad that people go out and buy the original, original books. Original on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. That's Please greedy chess the right there. Right. Well played, Bezos. Well played. Yeah. And then guess what? It gets delivered to you how? By a Rings of Power <laughs> box or bag. <laughs> they but, own you as. But it, what, what's no! funny about, especially no! in this episode, it's been so on point all all season. But especially this episode, they do so much to try to fucking remind you about oh. the Peter Jackson trilogy. So <laughs> yeah. much imagery, like even lines plucked straight from the movies. Yet they've oh, we're not connected to that. We're, we're not connected to that at all. We're not connected to that. But at every sure. point, they're trying to make you remember that. Well, yeah, they're yeah, going for the they, member they, berries. This scene here, you've never seen Galadriel so happy, and she's only happy mm. because Femrond is saying, You were right. Karen, you were right. You were right. You were right. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> she's, whole, she's, her uh, heart uh, is uh, bursting uh, with joy. Uh, being Elrond's saying, You were right. We should have talked to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Gary, Gary uh, Chrissy, she's got to bounce. Uh, so. I have to go. I don't want to. I don't want to break the flow. But um, yeah, I got to scram. Crimson Tide. I have an. <laughs> um, if anybody's in the Connecticut area, I'll be at the Bridgeport Stress Factory uh, next Thursday. Other than that, I'll see you guys in Orlando or next Friday, whatever comes. Yep. Through. Yep. What day is it? Yep, yep. Right. I think next Love Friday comes before Orlando. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Bingo I'm power. Right. Bye, Chrissy. Love you guys. Bye. 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 All right. So what I found really interesting when they were having this conversation was that this massive catastrophic event, which should be world shattering, the rise of darkness in the you know south, you know, the boards are birth and everything like that. Everyone's forgotten about it. Like, the guy <laughs> yep. still comes in, yeah. you know, the thing of the past. there's a guy that who yeah. had a wound, and and no one's like, oh, you were in a battle? Okay, what? Well, rise of rise of evil? Burger? No, everyone's forgotten about it. And Volcano? Galadriel <laughs> and, and Halbrand left with, like, strength to the king, we'll come back and help you. And now they're like, ah, oh, screw them, they don't matter. The show no. literally forgets about them. It's like, yeah. yeah. It it's like, onto Sildor, the rings. It, the, the show thinks that you're, you think a Sildor is dead. A seal door, the guy that cut the ring from Sauron's hand. <laughs> it's a mystery. The king, he loses the ring in the river. They think he's. They think you think he's dead. Yeah, these people are stupid. Yep. Yes. 
These that, people are stupid. Oh, and it's it's a mystery that carries mysteries. it's a mystery that carries over to the second season in two and a <laughs> yeah. half years. They got two. They got two. Can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. And they've also got Kellerborn as well. Yeah. Who's been? Who's dead? And no, they, they dead. said missing. They said no, missing. No, do we think that they're actually no, going to be? She said she's she dead. Elijah said dead. I, I never saw him dead. again. Uh, yeah. yeah, she. she I have lost she's, somebody. She's, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when lost, you know, she's she, she talking dead. He went to war. He he never came back. He's dead. Of no, they're going to find him in, just, in true soap opera fashion. It will be he was in a coma somewhere. <laughs> no, <laughs> if, if you want, if you want real soap opera, season evil twin. two. If you want maximum soap opera, she's got to get with Sauron first, and then he will come uh, back when they're together. Uh, or yes. he oh, will walk in, find the bed. Or he shifts into him. And then Sauron, because he's so mad that Galadriel wouldn't fuck him before, he shapeshifts <laughs> into her husband to fuck her. Oh, my God. There you go. Don't give now, him any ideas. Now, when he says shapeshifts into a husband, are we talking literally or... Uh, he seems Actually. pretty desperate at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's willing to let this bitch rule with him, so he's, he's got to be you know, Every generation, he's just got to try a bit of cock, apparently, you know. Daddy, chill. <laughs> so, at, like, for all these fucking people that want to be like, they never did anything against the Lord. They've done so much shit. And mm -hmm. where, where the fuck was a mention of Anatar? Like, yeah. yep. at all in this. Oh, there, oh you see, it was the point reference. whenever he said, one, think of it as, as a, a gift. gift. Yeah. Oh, think of it <laughs> yeah. as a oh, gift. I got it. But, but, that's, that, but he wasn't that's Hallbrand. The character. There's no person named fucking Hallbrand. Yep. It was mm -hmm. Anatar, Lord of the Gifts. Like, how are you doing this without that? And how can anyone justify it and say, it doesn't go contrary to anything? How can these stupid, autistic, retarded fucks who are the showrunners claim that, well, we're not doing anything that goes oh, contrary to what Tolkien didn't explicitly say that they were stupid and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He, he didn't explicitly no, say that. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it has to be a rights thing or they're just retarded. Like, either one. I, I'm not sure it's a I'm rights going thing. I'm going with both point. options. I'm I think I think it's just. Do you think it's got something to do with copyright? Do you think it's copyright in no, the No, no. I think so I think they were very arrogant that Anders? they thought they could do a better job than the Second Age, and they're like, "Well, to mm. they, and they copy, you know, the Jackson trilogy. We got to have a story about little people. We got to have wizards in there. We got to make it a girl power story." They actually thought that they were improving upon the material of the Second Age, and yeah. they were making something mm -hmm. better. They were that arrogant and. <laughs> This is the result. All they do is take a big old steaming <laughs> dump on top of yes. Tolkien. That's a well, bad thing. I, I think it does have to do with copyright because Anatar is, is he mentioned in the appendix of Lord of the Rings? The appendices? I don't, so. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Because they so. don't have the rights to Silmarillion. Though. Yeah, they don't okay, have the rights. They, they do not have the rights. That's the fucking problem. That's why they can't so use it. So even if it is, yeah, yeah it, 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 it depends on what it contradicts and not just the Silmarillion in the history of Middle Earth. There's a bunch of other books that they mm -hmm. don't have the rights to. Yeah, they they keep referring have. to them that, you know, especially with Guy Ladriel, they keep referring to them to justify uh warrior Galadriel, but they don't have the rights outside of that. the text of this show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They use this as, as reasoning for like the, the Tolkien scholars out there that are full of bullshit use that, but not inside this show inside this show. They don't have the rights to any of those things and they can't reference them. That's why they have to replace Anatar, the Lord of Gifts, with fucking adrift Halbran. I still can't believe she randomly <clears throat> found Sauron in the ocean. Now, what is revealed? Only hint that was planned. Uh, like, yeah, that's that's Sauron. Sure that was chance. It could. No, no, this is the thing. This is why it's bullcrap. They're trying to say that all of this was Sauron's master plan. Exactly. But if you go no. back. It's impossible. No, I think they think it's gone. because the only way it could like, play out by plan is if. I, it's, it, he actually works against his it, what he wants to achieve yeah. if it was his plan. He didn't want to go to Numenor, so therefore all the things – sorry, he didn't want to go to the Southlands and help in the war, and so therefore all the things there in the Southlands, he was actively working against. So how could that be his plan that he wanted to achieve it? Like meeting Galadriel, right? He couldn't have intuited and knew that she would have jumped off the boat and committed suicide in the middle of the ocean to meet her in the ocean. He would have had to have known the future – to be able to meet her there, and that they're trying to make it seem like this was all part of his master plan, which is friggin' bullcrap. He would have well, had Tolkien to. Have... Well, he's magical. <laughs> yeah, he's magical. So maybe him, he does man. know. 
No, no, no. He, he can't bend and warp reality to his yeah. very will. But that's what the showrunners want us to believe, that it was all according to his plan. But as soon as you take the, the slightest bit of reasoning and analysis to the events that have played out, it's impossible. Bullcrap, this is his plan. Because if it was, he's retarded because he was trying to stop his own plan multiple times. You know, because if Glad you just said, okay, you're right, uh, Hal Brand, you can yeah. stay here in Numenor, that screwed his entire plan. What is he going to yes. say? Oh, oh no, no, I will go now. There's he a says line where that he found the pouch that she all of a sudden sees a crest and goes, oh, that must mean that he, the person holding this little pouch, is the king. He said, I found it on a dead body. He said he it. Denied you know, that's it probably in true. He probably killed him. Yeah, yeah, but he's yeah, but the that was a thousand said, oh, okay. years ago. Like, yeah. The people in the Southlands, when they go, hey, here's your king, he has returned. The people in the Southlands didn't turn around and go, hey, we haven't had a king for about a thousand, a thousand years. years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, they're he was fucking legend. dumb. Like, no, that's I remember how dumb that. the yeah. show is because they, they have to have all the, act, like, all the characters around <laughs> Halbrand act in the most retarded way, mm -hmm. Galadriel yes. sees it and goes, yeah. you're the king. She convinces him to go back to the Southlands. Then the <sighs> Southlanders automatically, unquestionably, believe mm -hmm. he's the king. Yeah, it's, you it, see what I mean? Everybody it's about so warping stupid. reality. And in he, order for it he to denied work. being the king the whole time. And you're trying to say yep. it was his master plan That's to fool Galadriel, Galadriel to be a king when he actively worked against it the whole time? And what if Galadriel actually found a scroll that had the lineage of the kings in the Numenorian like, you know, uh, records that she checked? Right. Uh, and Which is bizarre because it would make more sense they would have the records than flipping elves. And so what, if she just came across that... Sauron's plan is screwed. It requires it re his plan. If this is his plan, requires warping reality, knowing the future, and relying on such arbitrary astronomical luck. It's like no show. You're trying to get me to believe that this is his plan. All it's friggin' bullcrap. I think if yeah. they roll, no, I, I think it's the retcon because that is clearly not he's Trump plan. and playing no, forty chess. All right, I'm just there's saying. A, yeah, there's a there's a line in in the thing. Uh, the wizard even says it himself. That the uh, sometimes uh, essentially a Louvatar, he makes your feet go somewhere and you, like your heart doesn't want to, and you have to make your feet go there because you look there. Uh, the whole thing, the, like the line where he says, uh, where she says, "You saved me on that boat," which is just a fact, and he's like, "No, you saved, you saved me. me on the raft." The only way that can make sense is if there is uh, one of the Valar actually tried to save her, and he just happened to be there and got him to the other thing. That's the literally the only thing that makes sense. Like, hit otherwise, it's just like they literally wrote that, and it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So. Like all the time, they've been hinting that the Valor are helping them in some way. And the thing that really, really annoys me about the entire show is that she jumped off the boat and could swim across the ocean, and that makes the entire kin slaying entirely pointless. They committed <laughs> horrific mm -hmm. acts to get those boats in the first place because they couldn't get to Middle Earth, and they literally made it so they could. Oh, they could have all just swum. It would have been entirely fine, and the fellow would have helped. <laughs> just in the take first a place. dip. <laughs> so the, some of the most horrific acts the elves have ever done in this series were made redundant by this show. So anyone that goes, oh no, it doesn't break the law at all. It's like no, one of the most major events that has ever happened happened was absolutely destroyed by the show and there's no excuse for it and they didn't even well, mention okay. it specifically like they alluded <clears throat> to it because yeah, i don't the, think they have going the right back to the south <laughs> no, though, they don't there hasn't been a king in the Southlands for a thousand years salbron let's just say killed the king took the thing off him a thousand years ago according wasn't it according to the beginning the gladriel has been searching for sauron for about oh, 300 right. years yeah yeah Right, 300 is shorter than a thousand years. So yes. the people, so the fight, the Morgoth fight and the Sauron fight was approximately 300 years ago when the Southlands were united with well. Morgoth. <laughs> so why is there no, is there a fucking king? Or they're pretending there's a king when it's fucking Morgoth in the Southlands. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the uh, weird thing is with the show and time scale, because the, the time scales in this show, there is like the part where they're actually getting attacked by the the sort of the cult. There is a time where those Harfoots would have died to the actual cult, but because they're moving in slow motion in the show, it allows Brandyfoot to convince the wizard who's moving at oh, normal time that they didn't die. So <laughs> like, they actually had localized time scales in this thing around the world. Yeah, as part of their it's time scale per she shot. Has, like she has a whole show. entire conversation <laughs> with with uh, not Gandalf, while uh, the rest of the Harfoots are standing in front of a tree, and the uh, the Sauron simp cult just nicely just starts walking slowly and putting their weapons yeah. down and not frying them, which I 
I wish they would have, by the way. I was really rude. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> as on your point about, you know, he must have killed the guy and grabbed the crest thing. Now it raises the question, this is Sauron. You know, Sauron is all we knew ages ago. Why was he wearing the crest? And the only explanation is actually to try that he was doing it to fool people yeah. that he was a king. So he Correct. ironically believed if he just wore this thing, people would just assume he's king. That's like me going to England wearing the <laughs> Union Jack on my shirt and people assuming I'm the king of England when I get there. But that was his plan. <laughs> they think that's oh, Shad has a turn. <laughs> let's, Shad, let's run with that. So he's wearing it for 700 years. And then in Morgoth's like, hey, do you want to come out and we fight these guys? Sure thing. Let's take it off. Put me fucking armor on. Fight, have a fight. Oh, fuck, we got fucked over. Take the armor off. Let's put the fucking thing back on and play king again. Hey, it's Az, you're, you're using math, and math is racist. Yeah. <laughs> math and logic. It, it, it didn't work so like that. No, I, I've, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard we're anywhere between, I think we're, th th I've heard 500 to 1,000 years into the second age, by the way. So it's it's uh, not just 300 years. So th their time is completely fucked up. So, like, can we get Scott Steiner yeah. to, to sort like, this, this is math out? Think, math right well, I think what, though, girl. to be fair, like going back the 300 year thing, I think that's us putting that on there because we were, they say she's been hunting for centuries. They say centuries. that. So we were like, that has to be minimum 300 years. That was kind of our logic that we used. Uh, to be like, how long have they just been fucking around? But it's got to be less around? than a thousand because then you you would be. Right. I have searched for over a thousand okay. years. Correct. So it's got to be. It's got to be. Let's say between three hundred to a thousand. So it still doesn't really million. make sense. I would. Mm -hmm. You know. You could say let's let's compromise on five six hundred even, and even then the guy's been dead for three four hundred years. <laughs> the, the... Once again, we just have to point out that House of the Dragon has had significant time skips every yep. single fucking episode, and everyone is super clear exactly what's going on, how much time has passed, and all the events that transpired that were important between those events. Well, to be clear, it's because one character every episode has to say, oh... I haven't seen you in six years. Oh, I haven't seen you in two months. No, th there's like one or two episodes like where that happens. The rest of it is is pretty like yeah, they, they they're a bit subtle. They like the age of the child or exactly. someone's no longer pregnant and things. But going back yeah. on just to finish off the whole Sauron um, Southland thing, it's uh, just hilarious <laughs> that he that's his plan. He relied on people recognizing a trinket just assuming he's king, which is so stupid because the obvious reality logical answer would be no one would assume you're king if you're just wearing this trinket and like. He wears it like, and is waiting for people to assume me they're king. He's like, no, you're clearly not king. He's like, damn, my plan is foiled. What shall I do? But that's that's the logic of the show. But no, story. In, in reality of the show, they see the pouch and they go, you must be king. And he goes, oh, well. No, um, I just found it on a dead body. And breaking, she goes, no, 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 no. Breaking no, news. The breaking, he just wants wait, it to wait, grill. Wait, wait, wait. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Shad's campaign has passed $300,000. Woo! That is awesome. I, I, I swear to God, I'm not even joking. I have literally just made a pay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you took it over the line. Thank you, thank you. No, no, no I don't, I'm not, the no, Because when, no, when I you, went you. on to Indiegogo to, to support it, it was on $304,000. So... Uh, I am not it, taking credit. So, <laughs> Greg, we actually crossed the three hundred thousand last night on the stream. Well, it was last night for me. Uh, the, the support has been awesome. We're up to three hundred four thousand now, which is amazing. You guys, are legends, love but you it, all. It, yeah, he wants. To, well, we're going to take all the credit for it passing three hundred thousand dollars. I give all credit. <laughs> I give all credit to Az and that purchase. That was clearly a thing. Uh, that did. <laughs> Thank you, no, Az. Don't give it to Az. Give it to all, it's all of us. All of you. Okay, all we all told Az, Az purchased Az five thousand dollars worth of books for my. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I went for the leather. I went for the leather bundle. Yeah. So. Uh, no, see, Az, you you were using uh, Amazon brings a power logic. So, so you yeah. your purchase in the future? He was Absolutely. moving in slow motion. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. there you go. Yeah. Thank you, Odin. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. There you go. Appreciate Jeremy, I think you're muted. Are you were talking? Yeah. I couldn't hear you before. <laughs> oh, I, I was saying I we saved Rakata's channel. Yeah, we, sa we saved Rakata's channel, <laughs> yeah, we did. and we single handedly got the Shad to 300k. And look, we're realists here, okay? I mean, we're we made this book. <laughs> listen, no, that's the way we wrote that. Not, we drew listen, it. We wrote that. I drew it. I drew we're it. not it here. Says Eric July on it. But. We're we're not here to take full credit for things that we we only raised 300 or 
six million of the three point sevens. We only had three point six for Eric, yeah. of, of, of <laughs> yeah, Ripper. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. He, he did a, the blaze was worth at least a hundred grand. Yeah. You know what I mean? So hey, I mean, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to take all the money if we don't deserve it. So ninety percent, ninety five percent. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, you're you know. welcome, Nick, Nick Ricada. You're you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I brokered his deal for Rumble too. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> heavy oh, discussions. Man. All right, yeah, heavy, a lot of a lot of meetings. Went through the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just so you get the kind of the lay of the land for the shills out there, still trying to defend this show. Cope. Uh, a little bit of cope here. A little bit of the cope. This dude. Oh, oh God. no. <laughs> Top three things I hope are not <laughs> true in the rings of power. One, Duran's Bane emerges during the show. Two, Hallbrand is Sauron. Three, <laughs> the stranger is Gandalf. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and then he, then he caveats it at the end so he could still be a shill. Uh, none will be a deal breaker for me, oh, but I'll be disappointed. <laughs> Cow JF Recode. Yeah. Did, did you see the Twitter said, space? Uh, and then the follow up. Yeah, the follow up. Have you seen the follow up to that? Yeah. He, he did a Twitter it. spaces with somebody who was using Lord of the Rings on Prime verified account. Um, like I don't know, five or six hours ago, to talk about how much they love the show. No shit, of course. Uh, and he, no. he, I heard he was trying to. Well, the people, uh, the chat, which who never lies, by the way, was telling me last night he was uh, maximum cope on his what? Twitch. I'm gonna go back and <laughs> I, I, I'm actually gonna watch something on Twitch later. I'm gonna I'm gonna wow. enjoy that a little bit. All turned out to be true, just like Nerdrotic and Hot Toys told you. Disagree. Disagree. What is denying <laughs> reality? This is what is that? Oh, did like, you watch the show? The, yeah. The, dis so, the disagree would be, well, there's just a ball on down there, right? But it did, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, the, that would be one. And then two would be like you could, if you really wanted to, justify and say that it's not Gandalf. That, that maybe it's just more fucking deception and them trying they to throw you off and all your nose. Name. But it's like he's saying yeah. all he's using a fucking moth, all the same fucking name or yeah, you know, yeah. phrases that Gandalf uh, has said. Yeah, talk compressor is he's not he's being a disingenuous he, fucking shill, a self labeled yeah. professor, disin like uh -huh. a big surprise. I mean that when the show said like uh, it smells sweeter down there, always follow your nose, it's like all right. You cannot deny that this guy is scared. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's in, so it's denying reality. It's amazing. <laughs> now I don't know if they're ever going to use that name. Pronouns, but, pronouns. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. I mean, I'm surprised. I don't know. Seems like a pronoun tape. Oh well. Seems like a pronoun. Oh well. Tape. Oh well. I, I, I just a little cope in the morning. It was just your integrity. Red carpet appearance at, yep. uh, at Lord of the Rings on Prime. I hope he uh, hope he enjoys losing his entire reputation by being a little cocksucking bitch for Amazon. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. I hope that but, goodie bag for, for everybody goods, that called yeah. themselves Tolkien scholars that bent over backwards to take dick up the ass from Amazon. Like <laughs> you get what you fucking deserve. Like you, yeah, well, they, those are the people pups. that should be out there. Those are the people that should be out there yeah, defending the Tolkien lore, defending Lord of the Rings. Instead, they're the ones trying to do everything they can to justify this existence so that they can continue to get their access. Well, it's the uh, same. It's Wheel of it's, Time 2.0. Hey, just brew. Yeah, we saw it, it all. Well, yeah. I was going to say it's like, it's gonna like Star all Wars. Over again. It's like Star it's Wars like, all over like, again. Yeah, because yeah. all of these big Star Wars channels, like they didn't call any of this shit out. And and they've lost so much credibility. I've seen the same things with these big Lord of the Rings channels, which uh, – Tough news for you, but there's a there's a new king in town. His name's Gary from Nerdrotic. So you can all go get fucked. All these Lord of the Ring channels that are doing all their lore things, and then all they did is shield for Amazon. Holy shit, man! It's like they can't be taken seriously. There. They there's can't be taken so seriously. Good, like, yeah, most Oof. of them just shield. They shield, shield, uh, shield, and they're still coping. I'm just yeah. showing what Drinker Drinker put out a tweet saying. Oh. To the guys, saying, at this point, you have to wonder what it would take for this dude to dislike Lord of Rings. Uh, <laughs> Rings of <the> money. money. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that is your answer, Drinker. That's uh, that's yeah. what it would take. So, uh, but it is a case. We had this with Rings of Power, and all through. No, not sorry, Wheel of Time. All through Wheel of Time, there were people going, "This is amazing. This is great." At one point, someone criticised it, and then the next. Literally, the next review apologized for criticizing it as much as the, next, the week before. So, you know, I watched it back. It was actually a lot better than I thought it was. Then when the series was over, started criticizing it all over again. Mm. And uh -huh. I can't help but thinking when season two comes out, are we just, are we going to like it? Because there's already been comments that, you know, mm. I, I like to look for the good in things. And even if something is bad, I, you know, I like to try and enjoy things and 
look for the good parts of things. And yeah, so even if it's bad, I'll, I'll probably say I enjoy it because I, I always just look for the positives and things like that. And it's like, absolutely. Mm, oh, we, well, we saw like, what, what, what reeks, do we see with the, what Jeremy was mentioning earlier? Collider, you know, what, they were on an upward swing until they started shilling. Then they weren't. Then they broke up and uh, all that shit just fell apart. The shills just fell apart because they were all getting fucking paid off and not by money. Okay. If they did that, I would actually agree. But these little shits. Yeah, I agree with These little shits need. Uh, yeah. oh, like, there's not a punishment. Oh, comics, why don't you I follow, what I want to say because YouTube will, will, will. Yeah. Comics, why don't you follow Gary or Shad? Yeah, what I do. I follow both of them. <laughs> <laughs> No, you and, do and, not. And why? And why are you? Why aren't you using dark theme, you psychopath? Yeah, you follow yeah. Him, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> so you just click oh, follow. Yeah. I just thought you just clicked it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you just it. Wow. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Listen, he's already proven that he hates black people. He's not using dark theme, so uh, he's been exposed in multiple White ways now. <laughs> so White supremacy. Uh, I just want to burn your eyes out. That's all. No big deal. Uh, just just means he's not sunk into the Twitter rabbit hole. Like... You're worse than I'm yeah. fucking heard, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, a little bit. <laughs> I bet Amber Heard uses dark theme, he's Gary. De he's definitely short. He's definitely redeeming about her. He's definitely shorter than Amber Heard, so. Cope. <laughs> I'd be more interested in Trump. Okay, her. because you guys are whining so much, I'll go find Dark Moon and turn it on. For <laughs> oh my God! Oh, yes. oh, 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 wow. And now he caves oh, into the impression. Oh, 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 I on YouTube. I just haven't been able to on Twitter yet. We have we have diversity here now. We're good. Okay, Hi, thank girl. God. I feel I feel One's better. And she's a little too back. she's a little too Whoa. high. And she's a little too high in the. Garrett, put her put her back in her place. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, uh, Gorlimar for forty nine ninety nine. I just want to give a special shout out to my wife after delivering our second child and first daughter. She is a great mother and a wife and all hail FNT. Great. Uh, thinking of us. That is That's awesome. great. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. That is you know, were, were you the guy? Happen. Were you the guy? Has there been anyone through. that has named their kid Gary yet after after you, Gary? <laughs> I, ho I hope not. Gary's not the best name in the world, okay? It's like it's Hollywood. There was, there was a long time where all the gay characters were named Gary after like <laughs> Ace and Gary. Like, yeah. I got a got a my dick. Uh, suck my dick, yeah, Gary. This was true. In the UK, yeah. in the UK <laughs> Gary, Gary is actually going to be going extinct, as there was no like person called Gary since like the eighties. It's, it's literally the name is not going to exist in our country anymore. Wow. Wow. Gary's Good. just fun to say. It's like Gary, it's, Gary. There's one. Yeah, Gary. There's more. So now there's more Gary. Mohammeds Gary. in the UK than Gary's. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Uh, most most yeah. common name actually. Uh, yeah. Well, that's Probably, it. Actually, well, yes. it's, but that's but that's why it's good to have Disru on here to have some British representation. Maybe we can get them exposed to the name Gary. I'm fucking here with this shit. I am fucking here, Jeremy. I didn't say ours and not mine. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, As. It's because Mahler has been on a few times too. We need to make sure we keep him in yeah. Hey, New Zealand yeah, yeah, is important too, As. Okay. Where, where are you from? South Africa, As? Or... <laughs> Why don't you follow me on Twitter, Shad? <laughs> <laughs> I try and avoid Twitter at all costs. I usually, but you're right. That's a good it answer. That's a good answer. As I mean, he's no, Chad, don't do it. Chad, don't do it. You, you, you don't, regret you're it. You will regret more. it. The you more will people regret it. Don't you know, do it. I follow. <laughs> I'm not sure I do follow you. What are you even talking uh, about? Listen, he doesn't follow me either, but if he follows Ryan, we got a big me? fucking problem because he's clearly... <laughs> he oh, oh, me, <laughs> all right, all right. I've got oh, two man. Twitter accounts. Is it... Because I do follow you, Jeremy, and I'm pretty sure it's my Night's Watch account that follows you. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. okay. Stop me. gaslighting me, people! I love you all! I follow you all! <laughs> yeah, Shad follows me. He fucking tags me on Twitter when he shits on me in a video. So. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm being if I'm being real, I don't know if I follow Shad. So. <laughs> Did you ever on I, Twitter? Jack, I think Scott, Twitter unfollowed me from Shad. Um, I had followed Shad a long time ago, and then I checked, and I was unfollowed. So. Um, bat <laughs> bashy, washy. Followed me from reality. Uh, bashy, washy. <laughs> 
has gifted 50 Nerdrotic Whoa, memberships. Whoa, $250. Wow. Nice. nice. Bashy, maniac. Thank you. All right, uh, that's enough of the break. Let's get back to this fucking show. Oh. <laughs> uh, Suffer. We, we all must. This is basically <laughs> like Paul Brand being like, wow, you've got a nice warehouse here. That's basically like buying She Hulk French fries. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very private. Kella Brimbor like is so effing be here, but you and I. stupid in this show. They make Gil Galad and Kella Brimbor freaking morons. I hate this show. Yeah, Gil Galad is such a bitch sure. in this. Like, how? Yeah. I, I, I don't understand how they're going to change him from, from who he is now to. Like a warrior, we should expect the on the warrior. fucking battlefield. Oh, that, that's like, easy, Ryan. You need to sack the showrunners and the writers and actually get some people no. that want to create something Tolkien esque. Yeah, I'm gonna put the subtitles on. What they they'll probably just kill him, like poison him or something, and have warrior Galadriel go and fight <laughs> in the War of the Last Alliance with Elrond. Oh, no. she'll be in it. Jeez, yeah. she they will just... create the Last Alliance. She she absolutely you know. will. You are one thousand percent correct. But 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 the good news is that won't be created until two thousand thirty four. So yes, yeah, we can wait. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> is going to be dead by then. We'll all be crispy from the nukes after that. Yeah, yeah. At that time <laughs> you beat me to it. The cockroaches will be watching. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, wow. look, it's a giant Johnson. Yeah, they were so lazy with that jewelry scene and the fact that they were like, I've never seen jewels like this. It's like these, they were just uncut stones. They didn't even look good. And then when you make jewelry out, they still look like gaudy crap. Like the least you could have done is cut the stones properly. Yeah, I also love how they they melt the gold and silver together and then somehow make different colored rings. They, like they made a they big like deal candy. that they need the most purest gold and silver, silver. that's only from Valinor for some reason, and they melt the dagger with the steel blade, <laughs> yeah, making it all <laughs> pure. The show no, is no, retarded. Every yeah, single level. It's like, why didn't you take the damn dagger apart? Oh, Maybe it was a silver blade. They actually blade. made Mithril okay. sentient in this because they were like, no, it knows that the other material it won't merge with, and it, it was yeah, it had a personality of its own. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't force it. You, can't, you had yeah, to like can't lure it in, like by <laughs> that's everybody watching. Stuff. You have to coax it. That's the word they use. Yeah. You have to coax yeah. it together. Mm-hmm. Mithril woman, is self woman, You have to foreplay with it to get it to come out. They have to go on a date. It's more picky than she hold. True. This whole, like, this whole scene. Oh my god! This whole scene. <laughs> oh, I know. It's that's like terrible. Top? This whole scene was <laughs> meant to set up something the audience, if they do have it, they don't know the lore, will n- will not understand. Well, like at all. D- did you guys get that the reason that there are no more faithful on Numenor is that they're jealous of the elves' immortality? Out of this scene. No. No. Nope. <laughs> Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I don't even remember that scene. This character's arc, the girl's arc, is pointless in this season. Yes. She, yes, it goes she's got nowhere. Breasts. She's got a wreck, she though. Look at, at her like, eyebrows. Come on. Well, as, 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 did you Google her before as, uh, the stream to make sure you were good to say that? Or? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 not, not again. Not again. Adam's apple. Not again. Adam, not again. Not again. Yes. Have you seen the interview, like, a Discord oh, yeah. video has an interview of her and that guy, and let's just say he is very intent on maintaining eye contact. In that <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. It's looks really straight, funny. Looks forward. And there's one point where she leans forward, and that dress is like, maintain eye contact. Man, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> She's got, an, oh, she's, she's, got, she's you know. got a nice rack and crazy eyes. Those are like crazy yeah. eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's the eyebrows. It's very unnatural. Have, I mean, color. No, she, she yeah. can't blink. DSG she doesn't know how to down. blink. No, no. Like, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm not going to apologize to X-Ray Girl and Chrissy's gone. Sorry, ladies, but um, <laughs> you, look, you look into those eyes and you just fast forward it 20, 25 years and you go, mm. that's all. Like You're just like your father. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I don't know. Uh, I don't mind her eyes. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not going to be hanging. Like, I'm not looking at her eyes. I haven't seen her eyes. I'm just yet. thinking about like. You're thinking about tonight. Yeah. I got you. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's a dude. That's a dude. 
Just, I'm just thinking about dick sucking eyes. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> uh, see, that's where I, that's where I draw the line because like those eyes, there's teeth right under those eyes. So I need to like. Yep. Know, oh my god! Safe place to be. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I don't give a shit. I would not maintain eye contact. <laughs> yeah, I, <know>. I, <laughs> I would just. I would just be As with okay. motorboat. Staring, going oh, hello. Wow. Would you like to come out and play? <laughs> <laughs> Just Would to be clear, like this is another fucking made up character. This is another made up yes. character that's going to have some very important fucking role to play in like the downfall of Numenor or something. In two years. Milk She's truck got a nice rack. Do you, uh, yeah, I said to you that. Uh, she does. Maybe the <laughs> no, we know why she got the job. Okay, we yeah. all know why she got. <laughs> and it wasn't these her, gowns it the wasn't her acting too. ability or feeling Tolkienian. Uh, Can we it, share that QB or not? She, she literally she just goes around tank. staring at things. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, 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 man. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I, 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 I have not, changed sir. my mind. I hope she has a Sildor's role <laughs> to... The reason why he has to maintain eye contact, because if he doesn't, he'll get canceled. Okay, that guy... Okay, wait, 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 wait. That guy on the right is gay. That's character. <laughs> That's proper character development right there. There's no way. There's no oh, way yeah, in there. God's green so. earth a straight man keeps his eyes on her eyes. Like that. <laughs> no <laughs> way. No, you see, you that take a glance. He's going to die with a away. rock hard bone. Wait a minute. Wait, hey, wait. What are you. Are you saying. I don't even see anyone else in the photo. I don't oh, see. I, 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 I honestly I don't see you anymore. Even fucking Elmo was trying to. To crawl into a cleavage. <laughs> it's like, they're trying to put a shroud over the king, and he's just fucking pitched up like a fucking tent. <laughs> oh my goodness! He's clearly still alive. I see blood's flowing. Oh. Oh my Best God. Best till the end. But this entire story is we're going to get an architect to draw our king that we don't have guards on for some reason, so she can make a statue like. She's an architect. She makes buildings. Do you not know and what an architect yet. does? <laughs> yeah. She's all an apprentice. All this she's, going on in this chat is fucking milk. Glasses <laughs> <laughs> of milk. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to recast her with the AT&T girl next year. <laughs> God, I hope so. Hey, she's in Silicon uh, Valley. Yeah, she is. She's in Silicon she's Valley. She looks Silicon good. Valley. She looks good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, mm -hmm. So what you're saying, Disbury, she's she's an apprentice. She just went into university. There's no justification for her being there at all, but it's just to force in, and the actor said this, more feminine energy. Yes, in feminine, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and as, don't, and, but, yeah, does she so have one of those crests? As, does don't, you love, those don't you love how they didn't fucking pay off the scene at all? Yes. They set this oh, whole yeah, scene yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to wait to season two Stay for that, Gary. Tuned. Oh, boy. Stay tuned. I am so intrigued. Also. I mean, like, I want to see if, like, her boobs are okay in two years. I hope that's okay. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. honestly, everything else I'm going to completely forget about. Um, but, she... but, Gary, right? She she goes, the, the king's alive. Right. He grabs her. He thinks that he's, it, it, she, you know, it's uh, Muriel. Uh, meanwhile, it only takes a day to go from the Southlands back to Numenor. Yep. So in less than a day, he dies and they put all the black flags up. So, yes. And, and the only reason they're doing this is, is, is what Shad alluded to earlier is she's going to be the impetus of when a Sildur comes back. Because I'm, I'm sorry to shock everybody. Spoilers. He's not dead because he cuts really? the ring what? from Sauron. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm sorry. sorry. What? The next sorry. thing that we tell him no, is Spoilers, Sauron. Gary. I know. Spoilers. I know. Uh, <laughs> She's going to be the impetus behind the faithful gathering and escaping Numenor, mm -hmm. not Elendil and Isildur. Yeah. They're going to make another girl boss because they, they need. I see more. why they can gather around yeah. her though. I, I would, honestly, I would, I would too. Around her. Well, she's I a take flotation back everything device. Ever said if, about Numenor, if Numenor costuming. sinks, if Numenor sinks, she would be a flotation device. <laughs> or two or two or two yeah. she can save half the island hang on for dear life i am i am <laughs> way ahead of you at, at, the, at the end when when they're like oh my gosh what's happened here like i thought the whole thing is going to be on fire or flooded or something but it was just like it was like five black flags i know right it's like, it, it was like oh, not a big deal at all ryan like last week remember like we we thought their entire the the harp what's entire destination was torched and it was like 
four trees. Four and a half trees were on fire. So what? And they're like, yeah. we give up. We're going to die. And, and we all said, yes, I hope so. No. <laughs> oh. Also, little detail which I felt was pretty funny is uh, Galadriel leaves after she sees the queen sail off. We get a timestamp. It takes her six days to return there. Then it goes to that scene in Numenor, and the queen isn't arrived yet. I'm like, hang on. It only really took him like two days to reach Middle Earth from Numenor in the first place. Now it's taking him way longer because they cut the show can't keep track of Shut time. It took, a, it took him less than a day. It took him less than a day to get there and exactly. travel across to the to the village. Well, how long? Yep, now, I mean, serious question because I don't know because I was kicked out of three high schools and I did a lot of drugs when I was there. How long did it take uh, Columbus to cross the Atlantic? Months. Everybody, months. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how long it would take to get to. And he didn't even arrive at the right place. Yeah. Uh, here's hey oh Gilgalad's back. He's a fucking moron, by the way. Like, yes, back. and I mentioned this last night. Like Gilgalad. any Tolkien fan who read the work, that, like this is the one guy you would be excited about seeing, like in the Second Age. Yeah. You figured like he would be the star of the show, uh, but no, no, he's a bit player. He's barely in it, and he's stupid. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And evil. He's, he's, he seems Here's to be actively one. working mm -hmm. towards the death of the elves here. It's like. <laughs> He's like cowardly. He's yeah. a liar. He's he's just a piece of shit. He's fucking dumb yep. as shit. He's the he male. Got tricked by Durin. It's because yeah. he's male, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say we all know why. And Gary just answered the question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, barely. With that haircut. <laughs> question: Did the show ever explain what the rot actually was? It oh, or where it came from? That was that actually in any of the books at all? The rot? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Absolutely. It not. was a completely made up thing just to get us here. Sauron oh, was already in Mor Mordor at this point Mordor. for a long time, ruling and destroying things and killing people. So the mouse trap that set off the volcano had already happened? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. But it wasn't a mouse trap. I thought <laughs> Mordor. So I, I've been working with a law expert, and he's saying the theory about Mordor's birth was actually when the world was broken after the battle with Morgoth, and it just was there. There was no. Mystery mouse uh, man to make I it. have uh, a, Shad, a bone that, to pick with him because that, that, he is the mystery mouse that all was the fucking. Well, Tolkien did the explicitly hilt. say. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't say anybody. there was a mouse trap <laughs> <laughs> machine that opened up a water. You love playing mouse trap. Okay? Mouse trap. There was some <laughs> white <laughs> horse that dug a Don't hole. Don't shit on mouse trap. Mouse trap's an awesome game. Okay. I, I love mouse trap. I, I love would it. set Legendary. up the trap and not play the game. I just set the trap off constantly. I don't, I don't think action. I've ever played the game. Crazy <laughs> contraption. The game you heard awesome it first, game. folks. Odin said he set the trap off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well as, and as, as red white trap. No, Shad, no, Shad. This is my time to shine. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, as I trust you because you are the expert on tracks. Oh, he tried, he tried, he tried, he tried. You can't stop it. What the hell is even that? I had to fucking block somebody this week on Twitter. Something I don't do. <laughs> because they were getting so fucking crazy about this fucking tranny shit going on <laughs> that they were just sending pictures of fucking chicks with dicks okay. everywhere <laughs> bent okay. over and all this other stuff. I, like, I, I can't have this on my fucking okay, timeline. I just I have to block them. No, so you can't they, they just muted him. Oh, they did a fucking fake yeah. account and came back with like, oh, why are you fucking people and fucking following your fears? Because you're putting transsexuals <laughs> on the fucking timeline! <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I thought they were everywhere. your type, Ad. And, and think of your search history. Come on. Think of yourself. <laughs> Look, I, I, my search history's just got think fucking gay websites because I had to do the fucking... I was doing the Tim Drake video in the in the Batman video. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, likely story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like it? That's the story. evidence I'm taking More? to go. Uh, <laughs> Ministry of Wrong Think for. Oh, I almost hit the wrong button there. Forty nine ninety nine. If an elf dies, their spirit goes to the halls of Mandos in Amon, uh, Mandos in Amon, where they can be reincarnated in episode one guy guy ladriel not galadriel was sailing to valinor which is part of amon so she literally could have seen him again her brother finrod if she slay if she stayed on the boat i, th I just saw slade because yeah. i saw guy ladriel uh credit uh renfail yeah 
Yeah, there's Slay. actually a reference that her brother was walking in Valinor. I and so the fact because not everyone gets kind of reborn at the same time, to my understanding, but there is a reference that her brother that did happen, and that is just walking around happy, you know, in Valinor. Uh, so yeah, that seems to be confirmed. Yeah. Baron and Luthien are... That's uh, a straight and gay check right there. (laughs) (laughs) Gay. Below straight. (laughs) I want to... Can somebody do the the bottom two and then put the headline, which just came out today, is Black Panther could be the great... Black Panther 2 could be the greatest movie of all time. Wait a minute. Was there a headline that said yes. that today? Yes. Oh, it's going to be bad then. Oh, yes. It's going to be really bad. Oh, <laughs> it's no. Gonna be shite. Um, uh, no, I, no, it cool. wasn't no, the all no, Clifton, cast Clifton Duncan's uh, tweet on that was perfect. Uh, waiting to exhale, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I saw that. That's great. It's so good. Love I, Clifton. I used it in my yeah. video. Uh, Trucker Rob for $50. Wow, wow. It says Jeremy. Wow. I loved you in Hot Diaz, Matt Damon Dirt Turgurin. <laughs> With incest being a theme, they couldn't have cast a better actor. Hey, uh, Lady Grave Master started that on Twitter about the whole look-alike deal, so I'm I'm good with it, I guess. So haven't seen the show, but no, nope. I saw the first like the first two episodes, but I haven't seen seen it uh, where it's at now. But yeah, I take that as a compliment. So it's it's at simply it. the best show on television now. I know that's not saying easily, a lot this yep. year, but easily, easily the best show on television. What do you get when you cross Rings of Power with She Hulk? Um. <laughs> oh no! Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> I was going to say alcoholism. <laughs> well, Gladrio is still a twat, so you know, self harm. Yeah. Self harm. Yeah. I hurt myself to feel. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want She Hulk and Rings of Power. Um, uh, you can put the show back up. I'm sorry, audience. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. I forgot we were just a meme break. Just a meme break there, you know. I could, <laughs> just, just a little bit of levity in this. Uh, uh, okay, so th- this whole part is. We should totally make something round uh, a crown. <laughs> so it are small. Not a ring. Something How about a crown? Smaller. But we'll get to the rings later. So so well, the have, meat throw have... can reverberate in a circular direction. It's so so at, cool. it's so they're, they're making it's a, a mirror. They're, they're gonna make a Retarded. Tony Stark fucking uh, t- a Tony a Stark fucking reactor for this. <laughs> <guy. laughs> <laughs> I, I, I promise you, so none of the writers understand what's wrong with this scene. Like they're literally going. Going, yeah, but you know, you'll be the one who's powerful. You'll be able to be the tyrant. And he's like, no, do, do you not understand what's going on? And all the rest of the people in that room are evil except Gilgamesh. <laughs> no, there, there's yeah, I there, don't, there, right, there's, like, yeah, I don't see there's a, a thing. There's plan. a thing about writing. Uh, I don't know much because again, th- kicked out of three high schools. But this one I know, and you're never supposed to say this line. I know it sounds strange, but. <laughs> that's what Elrond says to Gilgalad. That's how they start the scene, and uh, that that's uh, a so Tolkienian, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. super it Tolkienian. But every, everyone in this room is like, well, it's okay to have like complete complete control across an entire like nation of people. As long as you're the one in power, it's only wrong if you don't have control. And Gilgamesh yeah. is like, "Are you all insane?" Yeah. <laughs> Every th- all, all I can think it about is- with these fill frames is, is another thumbnail for Gary. Like that that go back to that previous picture. That's a perfect thumbnail. That's driving right? it home. Perfect <laughs> thumbnail picture. He, he's got quite a few in this. Yeah, this <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> driving you want it home. The perfect one coming up, dude. We all know yeah. the perfect one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The, but the logic is really baffling here because. Keller Brimbor, what what is his plan? He did say he wanted to make something of true power before, but then now it's like, no, they're trying to make something to save the elves. But in this scene, it's like we don't care about the elves. And he starts spouting the evil dialogue where he says, we'll craft a new kind of power, not of strength, but of spirit, not of the flesh, but over flesh. This is a power of the unseen world, which is 
one, almost word for word for what Adar said when describing mm-hmm. what Sauron was making, and the Unseen World was what Galadriel said, but Galadriel automatically assumes that he's yes. been speaking to Halbred when Halbred has never said that to her. Well, <laughs> yep. uh, no, well, no, she was very specific in the fact that it, what, it was um, of the flesh and not, <clears throat> like, of the fle- over the flesh, not of the flesh, rather than mm. the Unseen World, because she did actually quote the text. But the re- the only reason they get away with that is because later on they do the whole, well, I can just go into your mind and make you think whatever you want kind of thing. Rather than being able to script a show which made sense and they kind of, they had a clever guy who dissembled all parts across multiple people so that no one knew what he was up to. They just he's, he's magic. He can just make you forget yeah. that he's told you in the first place. It was the most cheap get out of jail free card they come have come up with. It's like, yeah, I think it was my words. May have been of someone else's. You know, I, I can't quite remember. <laughs> It, it was and I just don't lazy. buy this. I don't buy Galadriel yeah. all of a sudden after one phrase said by Celebrimbor, also heard by Adar, that's not anywhere close to Halbrand. She all of a sudden, oh, he must be, there's something up. Yeah. After she yeah. found him in the middle of it, nowhere, it, it, figured out that they... he was a king. Convinced him to go to the fucking Southlands. Yeah. It, went it's to because the they Southlands. backed themselves into like, bullshit. Come on. It's all called a contrivance. Now, she has never heard it. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I was just saying she's never heard Halbrand say those words. And so the mm-hmm. assumption that was Halbrand is bullcrap. But sorry, go right. Yeah. Yeah. They backed themselves in this bullshit we were talking about earlier. They don't have Anatar. They have Halbrand. So the, the way that they're trying to be like true to the lore in their mind is to have Galadriel here and then yep. Elrond a little bit later when he discovers what's going on. Doubt, doubt Anatar, but in this case, Halbrand. So, so they, they've bastardized the lore in such a way that they felt they had to do that here because for all intents and purposes, this is Anatar. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. I think anyway. But she and still doesn't tell anybody yeah. when she yeah. knows for a fact that it's Sauron. Yeah. She goes, let's make the rings anyways. I, let's I, make him be in fact. So does Who Elrond. tells her his <clears throat> plan. He says, he tells you her. will bind the light to me and he I monologues. will bind power to you uh, he's telling her that the fucking rings are gonna bind power and they're gonna be evil because we are gonna conjoin and then the stupid fucking bent goes off and goes let's make some rings bruh no no not even that not he's, he's like let's not make what? more rings. more rings let's make more rings yes. it's like, it, what a it's dumb like bitch. finding out that oh we've been getting tricked into making these horrible doomsday weapons that could destroy everyone i know what'll fix that we'll make more yeah more of them they are stupid yes this is like Gilgalad's fucked off he's gone fuck this for a sausage sandwich mate yeah. I'm out of here. I, don't, I don't know if anyone else was but i think uh, i i assumed most people were on the, the kind of the idea that uh, Ka- her husband will be coming back in future series, but now I'm like, no, they're definitely hooking up. In the- it's season two will still be about her and Halbrand, oh, even yeah, though she sure. knows he's Sauron. It will still be, oh, will they? Won't they get the ship oh, involved? Yeah. Yeah. And they will double down them. on it until she eventually falls, and it'll be sort of eventually come back because it realized that he's evil. You already have people on Twitter that are shipping them, like oh, even yeah. knowing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was designed. They, they, they were shipping them from last night. Oh yeah. I can fix him. Oh. But I think they're just going to double down on that, even though she knows he's. Sauron, she's still gonna go with it. That's why they all this thing was her falling for evil. And this time he's wearing well, black. The thing is, though, <laughs> when you really break down the conversation he has with her when he's trying to seduce her to evil, he's actually, he doesn't come off, come off that evil. Like, like if you break no. down what the logic, no, he there, there is many signs of true, sincere repentance in what yeah. he's saying. Yes. The only thing that throws her is when she says, do you want to heal or to rule? And then he says, from my perspective, that's the same thing. And it's like, oh, you're evil. And it's like, hang on. That's not inherently evil either. If you think the world is so screwed and the leaders are so bad that you need a be the new leader to help guide people into a, a, you know, a better world to heal the world, that's not inherently evil, but she acts like it is. And if there was even one hint that this evil, dark, Sauron, dark lord guy could be prevented from going down this evil path and enslaving and destroying the world, there's even the slightest chance that you could stop that and turn him into a good guy, you would take that! But she's like, no, you're evil, I'll kill you anyway. And she is the one that forces him to, and she's going to be the reason that he is the Dark Lord. It's, I guess, yeah, but are you yeah. saying well, that she should have fucked him, Chad? <laughs> she she could have said, 
I need some time to think about it. So I think give it up for Middle Earth. Come on. Be because the showrunners have said that they know, well, they, they say they understand that Tolkien is good and evil. There is like no gray morality. It is light and dark and that is it. And they say that's what this show is. And the fact that all these characters are like gray at best, yep. evil at worst, mm -hmm. means that they think that these people are good. They have yep. no concept of what good and dark is. And so when you're like, no, well, she doesn't go there yeah but they think that she's the correct person and he is ultimately evil and even though when Ada's like you know actually I, I just kind of I just wanted a place to live I didn't really care about anything else they're like no that's purely evil and then everyone else must wipe them out of the face of the earth and when Galadriel's like no we must wipe you off the face of the planet she was the correct one in that scenario like it is just the perfect example of how morality is not only sort of um it's an individual idea which differs across people but there are some people who have just have no concept of it and they just well, have their own ideas problem when you start saying good and evil is subjective well they um, say that because they can't like disprove said in hollywood they can't recognize it they have no yeah, idea yeah, what yeah. good yeah. and evil well, is mm -hmm. but but like i said earlier with they're just taking the name sauron and he's bad he's known as being bad they don't have mm -hmm. to show him being because they're just they're just leaning on what what the story and what the the Lord of the Rings lore has has given. They're not working to actually develop these characters in any way, shape, or form. When it's and so, for them, yeah, yeah, uh, and so. And it seems like it's so weird because yeah you're right their their view of morality is so skewed and everything like that sauron is meant to represent the embodiment of evil and corruption and and temptation where it'll give people power <laughs> and all these things and it's a, that's a very important narrative and thematic thing to do and they've ruined that they destroyed it because they feel like it's this you know woke mentality that oh you know he's just misunderstood he, like it's 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 so they think it's bad to have definitively evil things they can't be definitively evil they're all misunderstood Except, of course, if you're Numenorians that are against uh, immigration, then they're definitely evil. Those yes. ones are evil. Oh, yeah. But, they, uh, Sauron, uh, he can't be evil. He's just misunderstood. The guy that leads the Numenorians said, uh, he, I'm, I'm getting all these comments all the time about how the Numenorians is actually just an allegory for Brexit. I'm like, you have no idea what you're even talking oh, about. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, no, I'm not, I'm not about Brexit. Actually, I'm a global, I'm a good globalist, is what he described himself as in one of the interviews. The right one. Ooh, nice. Who would do that? No such thing. They don't exist. <clears throat> like a good communist. Oh, what exist. about the Spice Ghouls? <laughs> That's good. Almost. Yeah. The Spice uh, Ghouls. Uh, Brand <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Uh, uh, oh, God. It looks like somebody just stuck their finger stuck in it. Yeah. <laughs> she just stuck a finger up his ass, and that's what oh, he looks like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> if you do what I say, then you get oh. more of this. <laughs> oh, wait. You're a woman. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> I just, oh, just, well, <laughs> someone seems to be wearing a ring already. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out he's wearing like a, a sort of medical gown that opens at the back. <laughs> <laughs> He's all. I just won't turn around and look at you. Like everybody else was like, "Yeah, let's do a crown. Yeah, let's do rings." And he was like, just trying to convince everybody to do anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, but really the, good the light chest. can arc across the beads." <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't tell you. It is a cock rings. It must be worn at all times. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Now they're being rejected. He's like, "Nope, everybody, come home." This is no, Gilgamesh was like, like fuck away from me, you fucking bunch of freaks. Yeah, but this scene was so weird because he's like, look, the tree is dying, it's bleeding leaves, and we can't control it. And he's like, well, can you give me three months? No, the tree is on its own. When the tree dies, we all die. Yeah, but what if I okay. get three months? Like, he doesn't have the power to even yeah, give him what he's you asking already. for in this scene. It's true. But why then he does like, give them their three months. Yep. The yeah. fucking meat thrill. But the the thing because is, because we've already it, seen it, we've already seen it purge the corruption from the leaf. Yeah, just take the mineral there to one tree. leaf at a time. Put it but right on the soul. Yeah, you got little twink like, elves around here. They could do it. I guess the way I understood the way they first described <sighs> it was, if, if if that tree were to die, then their immortality would be gone. Then they just start aging like normal people. So it's not like they would die, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what my that was, that's yeah. what I get. The show by. doesn't really. So they, they got like yeah, fifty fucking years it. to figure it out. <laughs> they got loads of time. Right. So from fandom, this is a quote from a Deadline article, probably the Walter White one, right, or something associated with it. <laughs> um, Rings of Power uh, executive producer. 
That would be Lindsay Weber, says, uh, Season 2 will be fundamentally different after the reveal of hashtag Sauron. Uh, it's going to be oh. grittier, more intense, and maybe a little scarier oh. in oh two and God. a half years. That's Tolkien right it's there. Tolkien is scary enough as it is all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, it, it just shows you they have learned nothing from the failure of this. They nothing, think, oh, no. we'll, we'll just make it faster. It's like, no, it's the writing and characters. That's the fundamental failure of the show. But they're thinking, oh, we'll just increase the pacing and make it more action. There's going to be a battle that lasts two episodes now. It's the like, bad logic the will just be quicker. Battle episode was one of the most retarded things I saw in that entire show. Yep. <laughs> Your battle episode was one of the worst. And they're like, oh, we'll do two now. Why do you hate <laughs> women? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So season two is going to be as bad, if not worse. They haven't uh, yeah. learned a thing. It's two years away, and I am okay with that. Uh, <laughs> yes. The thing is, I have a hard about- time believing it could be worse, uh, just because this was this was so next level. This season oh, was. Can two sorry, be worse? I mean, I guess it can. I, I guess it can. Is so fucking plain. It's ridiculous. There's, she's got nothing about her. I'm sorry, Morford. You got nothing about you, which says Galadriel, Lady of the fucking Light. The, nothing. The elves look like the elves look like Jennifer Salt. The elves look like Vulcans, and you're right. Yes. She, you're right. she yes. does look like Jennifer Salt. Look, at, he's a Vulcan. That's a no, Vulcan. Like yeah. That haircut, yeah. Yeah. That's a Vulcan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not an elf. They're not and very she says, logical, she, though. She says no. my boyfriend is uh, <laughs> like talking to someone Vulcan. else. Uh, I want you to cancel him. Can you go to the archives and try and find on Twitter? Uh, everything that he said that we can use to cancel him. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck as you were not wrong. I know it is it is just like like advanced Twitter search (laughs) 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 N-word. Oh no fury like a woman. (laughs) Oh looky what we got here. It this looks is like Romulan. in 2011, a, a... you made a homophobic joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got the guy kicked off the flash or whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you said I something like women are women are fucking there to be used or something in 2015. Oh, yeah, it's, like, it's like a woman rape joke. joke or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't this the scene where Sauron walks down the corner and goes, you don't need to be scared of me? I'm like, yeah, the yeah. subtle hinting that they thought they could get away with in this show. It's I know. It's literally... Announcing Subtly, it air him. quotes around subtle. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like thing. a hammer to sure. the side of the head. I'm not always what, you know, people aren't always what they seem to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Sauron. No. Fucking hell, yeah. this guy's so <laughs> so I'm going to make the, sure the no one ever forgets he says that he helps me. Were there, yeah. was, was it, anyone actually surprised by this? I mean, uh, there has to be like some like uh, yes, there were. I had lots there. of comments going. You should stop calling Halbrand Sauron. You're making yourself look ridiculous. Wow, really? <laughs> wow, really? Wow. I had wow. that in live streams and everything. Yeah, Eat that's hilarious. Yep. Is it like the guy that didn't realize that check is when he's referring to money spelled C H E Q U E, and then he uh, he tweeted at uh, uh, what's her name uh, J K Rowling. Because uh, she put that for, I read my checks and I feel a lot happier when somebody was trying to have a go at her. And he said, uh, You spelled check, C H E C K wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. like, you spelled color with the U. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, admittedly, I do that all Which the time. Which is offensively bad. It is yeah. offensively bad. <laughs> Just to be clear. Listen, listen to Hal Brand's line he says in this scene I all but given up. But you believed in me, so strengthened me. You pushed me to heights that no one else could have. <laughs> you <laughs> lift raise me up. All the atrocities Sauron does in all of Lord of the Rings, it's thanks to Galadriel. Raise thanks, yes. Galadriel. You cross the thanks sun drain sea. I don't yeah. think they even realize that, though, that if you cause something, it's on your hands and you're responsible for it. I think yeah. it goes back to S.H.I.E.L.D. They have no idea about accountability and responsibility. No. And they think that, oh, no, someone else did it, so I'm fine. doesn't matter if I literally caused it all. Mm-hmm. They did it. It's all on them. Mm. And, and think about that. She, like, her, she has manipulated and used this guy so much, telling him, you're a king, you're going to do what I say because it serves my ends and purposes. Oh, what, you're going to be peaceful here in Numenor being a blacksmith? No, you'll never find peace unless you do what I say. I, she's been mm-hmm. such a manipulable cow. And, yeah, she is. The, mm-hmm. it's all to have, Push Sauron to do what she wants, resulting in him falling back into his evil ways. And gosh, <laughs> I'm still speechless about that. I, I, because Gladjul, think about who Gladjul was. This 
wise, right, like good, righteous, you know, leader, uh, this beacon of morality and hope, and they have made her the cause for Sauron and the Rings of Power. Like, you mm. could not assassinate that character anymore. It's obliterated. It's reduced to atoms. It's cast into the sun. That's what Rings of Power has done to mm -hmm. Galadriel, yep. the character. Yep. It belongs in the void, and it will go. It will go into the void. The only thing that will be remembered from the show is the memes and people roasting it. That's all. Yeah, nobody's that discuss, is true. Nobody's discussing the plot points. Nobody's get like you, you could see the difference in memes are usually are, are clowning the show, but if you see the memes of House of the Dragon, House of Dragon, yeah. I know that'd be great. <laughs> Call an ambulance. But not for me. Well, well yeah. uh, the the people that are the, the people that are trying to praise this are only doing it in spite of like the haters. Yeah, you know yep. that's all it is. Just that's all it is. So, when I woke up this yeah. morning, so I, I check trending every single morning when we wake up after like any of these releases. House of the Dragon always number one, even at like eight nine o'clock in the morning after the pr premiere the night before. She Hulk usually at like two three four right around there. Rings of Power after the season finale, when I woke up, same about the same time, was 13th trending. 13th. That's bad. Whoa, That's really? Terrible. That's bad. Mm -hmm. That is wow. really bad. I and mean, it is amazing. And it was a promoted hashtag today, too, from Amazon. <laughs> During the premiere, it was nowhere on the top 30 of the U.S. I was checking it, and nothing. It was nowhere. Oh, well. Oh. You got a cake. Oh, well. Dollar franchise. <laughs> We're Down millions of dollars an episode. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You deserve this. You fucking deserve this. Uh, the you delay and fuck you was, was the best part of it. Mm. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> It's what I was thinking about with the Harfoots and this. If you remove the Harfoots from this entire show, literally nothing, nothing changes change about the story yeah, at all. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. These are people yeah. that are only inserted because, like, well, we need hobbits, mm. so we're going to have to write a like, story for them. Like, it's well, we, we need a red they, herring. That's what we need. We need a red a herring massive... to go away from Halbron. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut anyone off, but they're carrying a massive plate around because it's a map. It's like, there's a lot more convenient ways to have map and a star sign, but <laughs> just lugging this big metal thing with them. Anyway, <laughs> show stupid. Just <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be slightly less annoying if there were no Harfoots in it. I'll give it that. So yeah. that's the only thing that would be added. It's it would improve it. The Harfoots are vile if they're cut completely. Better show. Yeah, like, I, honestly, yeah. it, without that fucking song we had to hear in what episode four or whatever that was, <laughs> uh, that that would have that would have improved my enjoyment of this a lot. That was a oh, fuck this show. No, I mean you're right. Hey, you, uh, you can get the Harfoots. You can cut the wizard. You can cut the the um. Spice schools, nothing would have changed with well, the show. How much and, and, how much actually happened in the show? Nothing. Not nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing happens right? in the show. I mean, like oh, he, 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 stuck a finger up Kel <laughs> Kel <Brimble's> arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that that reminds, at me. the end of the day, they got one little fucking piece of mithril. They got one little piece of mithril. They argued about whether to mine for more for seemingly five episodes until, you know, old ass Durin just threw a leaf down there and woke up the ball rag. Uh, then you have uh, Galadriel fucking jumps off a ship, swims to Numenor, convinces a bunch of people that somebody's supposed to be the king of the Southlands, brings him back there to fight orcs. And uh, he was actually Sauron the whole time. And Mount Doom was created. That's go. the last I'm, I'm time we see the dwarves. Is that scene? Whenever he yep. throws the leaf in there, they oh, come completely drop an entire storyline and characters, and don't give a shit. No, like this this episode, they get back, they fix Halbrand, and it's just a big lead up to the reveal of Sauron. <gasps> we get the reveal of a wizard. Then there's oh. like a 15 minute goodbye to two characters. Oh. It's re yes. it's nothing. Nothing happens. This no. thing is going to drop off the charts in a couple of weeks. And when Which it comes right. to the Harfoots, Lenny Henry literally crapped on the entire country <laughs> and everyone that had ever oh. liked him for years started calling them racist, how we all take up yeah. space, and how the country's never giving me anything, and you did it for exactly one series of a show where you died at the end of it, so you're never coming back. Mm -hmm. I oh, hope yeah. the money was worth it because you've destroyed your entire career, and the only people you can now work for are the BBC. So yeah. congratulations. Uh, I, I hope that literally ruining your <laughs> reputation with everyone that's liked you for decades was worth this show, right? As a great man once said, 
Fuckity bye. <laughs> Fuckity yes. bye. I got no I, I, I just want to also talk about the whole concept that nothing happened because I look, I, I think we all know stuff does happen, but what we're saying here when we uh, what I consequence feel, it's like nothing nothing moved us, nothing it, like happened that we were interested in that progress the characters in any truly meaningful way uh so much of what actually did happen would have happened anyway without the character's involvement like adar was still would have put the thing in the thing made mordor if gladwell didn't go there or anything like that and so so little was achieved with the length of time they had to work on this that you could effectively say it's just a completely pointless show and that's what I think we mean when we say nothing happened because yeah. it's pointless. It's useless. Nothing of consequence. Nothing out of yeah, it. Nothing, nothing, of nothing consequence. consequence happened. No character mm-hmm. development. It was just reveals. You know, yes. that, that, that's all it was. Just, so, characters doing pointless stuff that we yeah. don't care about you, the show. You want an origin story of Mordor? No. 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 <laughs> you want an origin story of Mount Doom? No. No. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. So real quick. Real quick. I got to. I got to. So, Garrett like decides me, to leave again. Like yeah, I know. Hang on. There. Friday night tight little coffee packets from uh, oh Geek my Grind. God. Look at this. Nice. And, nice, and, nice. and mugs. So this is going to be part of the Instagram giveaway, right? Am I getting this yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, swag <laughs> Sunday. So follow my Instagram and you get this. You can win this stuff. And it says fake geek tears. We are drowning in them right now. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, yes, we are. Oh. So there send, you go. Me the, uh, send me the send me the milk truck from uh, Numenor, <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, at, oh, look at Odin. Odin. Wow, oh, dude, Odin. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, not exactly. uh, Apparently, I'm sorry, but yes. this is pineapple of a pizza. Big fun coffee maker. So. Follow Instagram. Pineapple oh, pizza is so good. Oh, better don't bring together. pineapple pizza into this bullshit. Mm. You're having a great fun <laughs> discussion, roasting the fuck out of things. <laughs> All well. unified. Tastes like you victory. have to bring some bullshit bring... into it. Tastes like victory. Fan tears. Look, so Meth Dolph is uh, taking on the <laughs> Sauron <laughs> simps. Uh, here with uh, the guy, the guys with the nice racks, right? As you know, talking yeah. About, yeah, 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 and uh, yeah, the spice girls, yeah, the Nas spice girls, girls, the Nas gals. Uh, then he attacks them with a bunch of moths because Gandalf like held a moth one time in Fellowship <laughs> of the Ring. Remember, remember, remember the moth. Oh my the conclusion God. of the magic battle was done so bad. Everything in between is pointless. Like, who cares about the half foots? Yay, one dies, but then he doesn't die until the point where they're ready for him to die. It's all crap. <laughs> the magic you is crap. <clears throat> and then it gets so dumb because G- Gandalf, he has shown no ability to u- control his magic, really, at any point. Every time he tries to do something intentional, like backfire and everything. And now he can use his magic because <laughs> reasons. He gets given a staff, which I thought of being an evil thing because an evil person had it. But now he can use his thing of light. And he decides to disintegrate them into moths because reasons. Just because he, he decided. It's like, it's so unsatisfying where it's just like they're doing magic crap because magic there's no payoff. There's no indication. There's no build-up. No there's rules. no rules. It's no just, rules. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had no idea no how point. to visualize it, though. Like, the fight with him was literally, oh, I'm tilted horizontally left. What am I going to do? Well, I'll, I'll make you I'm, tilt I'm horizontally right. Other, yeah. And she just <laughs> twisted was him for no reason whatsoever no, in mid air. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, it was a member berry. The movies. It was well, a member berry to the... when it was yeah. Sar- yeah, Saruman. Yeah, when it was Saruman versus him, and mm. he was in that weird positioning. That was totally the only reason why. So, in... In the movie where he's just like spinning on the ground yeah. slow. I, I used to lose my shit every fucking time that Slayer came that on. Is hilarious. And he skids across the floor Wait, like he's at a Knicks game. I think it's fucking I think it's awesome, by the way, but I think this is terrible because this is another reason they made it a prequel and put these member berries in there. Like I said last night, it's so a girl mm-hmm. could do it first. That's it. That's that's oh. that's Lindsay Weber's contribution. She probably walks in after like doing a bunch of coke or smoking crack, whatever that bitch does. And she goes, just make girls do it, okay? I'm from Bad Re- Hey, I, Gary, I, girls I produced, get things done. I produced Cloverfield, okay, 
So listen to okay. me. <laughs> is, hold on. I don't know if I put, hold on. I don't know if I put sound on. Hold on. I'll do it again. <laughs> I didn't put I didn't put sound on. So I did, I did it. This is Perry Chan at his best, man. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I clicked the. Give her a fresh one. Coming in. The Elrond. Wow. Why does this look like Adam Krigler, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Adam Krigler, Sauron, run! Run away! I had no clue. Oh my god. <laughs> look, you in trouble! Oh, oh man. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, uh, Kangarooster on the Streamlab side for $50. It's a She-Hulk end credit scene. In a hospital room, pan over to the bed with Hulk sitting beside her, slowly closing in on Hulk's face. We see it's Jen in the bed, clearly on life support. Once it closes on Hulk's face, he says, pull the plug, cut to black. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I would love if that was the ending. Yeah, She's brain nice. dead. <laughs> that's, that's a, I, I love the Pokemon theory that that's actually would be like the last episode of Pokemon. Is Ash after he got in that fucking bike accident like ten minutes in the first episode? He actually like has not been in a coma for years, and his mom's just <laughs> sitting there weeping at his bedside, and he's having all these crazy dreams that as he loses his mind, they just get crazier and crazier. That's Gotta catch him. That's, yeah, that's the real. That's the truth that's about terrible. Poker. <laughs> what are you talking about? They, they, uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. I, what are you no, talking about? I love it. They did. That's a my childhood. That's terrible. They did a Buffy episode like that too. Where they never answered the question. She's in an asylum. Mm. She's just crazy. Oh, That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Joker. Just like the Joker. Just like Joker. Oh, all right. Here's a guy Speaking with a nice up. rack. Pick up a slim lady. <laughs> chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka. Is this after Shady. Lenny Henry Please came back and dead? Or? So, so after, she yeah. lost her staff yeah, at after. this point, and then yeah. she can still do crazy magic. And I'm like, so is the staff important at all? Like, does it do anything? Because the implication, it doesn't do anything. No. But when they give the yep. staff to Gandalf, he can use it to do crazy she's, magic. Well, but the she's staff 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 Yo, my palms are oily. It. Put the them in fire. The your left, I, then you swing it, and then it takes you to the right if you're having a good time. Because the so, spice goes. She's I would in a say fight in, to the so in, in a lot of in a lot of magical worlds, a, a, a staff can help you channel your magic in a more efficient way. Even though you can still like use it. Think or of like like Harry Potter, right? Yep. So they can do things like in moments of fear, like little things that aren't quite as powerful. But a wand like really challenge or channels your yep. magic. You know, you know what I mean? Wouldn't that be but that's great a hard magic it, system. Like this Ryan, is a very, very that would soft. be great if they had any of that type of context I, in the show. I, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what I'm, just, I'm just saying that's kind of how I imagined it while I watched. It's actually, that, a in that very of... scene, she stops fighting a wizard, which is a fight to the death and starts going after people in trees lobbing fruit at her. Like she has yeah. no concept of who's the most dangerous did, person in that scenario. Did you see? Did you see how painful the like rock was? That like, oh, 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 like, oh. like, it was like, like holy fuck, man. Hey, to be fair, those Harfoots are, are vicious. Face. It, it, wasn't, it was, wasn't it this stupid? Not that bitch, but the the gender queer one. Like that one at one point. <laughs> but, hey, there's no injury to Lenny Henry, nothing. by the way. He's He's nothing wrong with it. Nope. But. She, like she like looks down after she got hit and then she does this like super dramatic like look up with her face that's like oh rabid, yeah like a I laughed music. so hard <laughs> yes it's yeah. so cringe man this yeah. is I, I put it's Made a fucking a CW show this is a billion dollar CW show oh this is the this is the part where she, where where Everything Nori tells Gandalf <laughs> he's good yeah she's she's yeah. the one hey, Gandalf that you made can Gandalf do it. Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lying on the floor going to have copy You need to believe in the heart of the cards. 
It's the I believe in you, Peter moment. I believe in you, Peter. Yeah, oh, I God. No, I fuck is so, the is so bad. <laughs> so he gets up and starts yes, looking the pan. Really injured. I'm <laughs> oh, now. Save that oh. Perry. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That... Now you just need Gilgalite. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Gandalf, you're wearing gray sweatpants. Somebody put a dick shadow on her face. Hey, don't make fun of gray sweatpants. Sweatpants season, I love it. Wick, wick, wick. She just also, every, everything just gets on fire. Like yeah. she, there's like one fucking blow of that of that fire, like towards one person, and all of a sudden the entire fucking place. I know. Is there's up. legitimately one direction that isn't on fire. There's no half what's in it. She just sets it on fire like randomly. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, oh, I might as well go over here. You know, he gets really eloquent all of a sudden. Before, he could barely talk, and yeah, now it's, yeah. from shadow you Stop. came, to shadow I bid you return. And then that's followed up with, I'm good. I'm good. Four <laughs> <laughs> days ago, he could well, yeah, the it's, it's been a couple days. He's mastered the English language at this point. The I'm good part was so fucking It was gay. so it bad. Was so so and it was oh right after, God. it was right after, um, chicka chicka slim lady and her, uh, Mom, boyfriends said, uh, oh, you know, he's a starry. Uh, he must be. And then, uh, not Gandalf says, I'm good. I like <laughs> apples. Hey, you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm good. That, I'm good. That's the, that's the intellectual dribbling idiot that they had portrayed him to be. And I thought, okay, maybe that would be consistent. But right after he says, from shadow, you can't. I'm like, well, what are they doing? I know. And what is this a throwback to, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my oh, goodness. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it, beyond what could it be? Hey, Weathertop, maybe? Yep. Uh, exactly. Uh... <laughs> Ah! <laughs> we were joking about yeah, female sure. Nazgul last week, by the way. We talked about it. <laughs> but we were, were we really joking? A girl did it <laughs> yeah, first. But, yeah. <laughs> but really, though? <laughs> really? Really? So, you know, it just makes me wonder, where did they come from? How are they made? The show, they don't care. They just want the Nazgul in for Reference. the member berries. Yeah. And they won't... Reference. Not they didn't care about any of the implications or whatever, because before it took a really dark power to make the Nazgul include it actually took rings of power, corrupting people and all that stuff. These are humans from the east. They are the Easterlings. There there is well, two of them were white as the driven snow. Really? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have powers and then. I guess so. They're sorcerers. They're... I thought the Easterlings were dark skinned. Yeah, they didn't uh, want to make them are. black because they were evil. Yeah, yeah. They're bad. yeah exactly. You can't make black people bad yep so they had an oh opportunity oh my god they're pathetic where, where tolkien did uh uh bring in like specifically race and uh <laughs> they they don't do it they 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 make it an all-female hmm. order of evil uh white girls i might one of them might not be white i'm i'm not sure and i don't really care to be honest with you all females. they're white here, we just though. know they're not men and that's all that all matters. i know mm -hmm. is if the well, are you sure, female, Jeremy? I'm, happy. I'm still not well, sure, Jeremy. Yeah. What is a woman? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're not all biologists here. We don't me. know. <laughs> don't ask me. I have no. <laughs> it's, oh, a no. it's a moth. It's a moth. I thought this just... was a Silence of the Lambs reference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Gandalf was gonna oh. unveil and go, "Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> I'm good." I'm good. <laughs> it puts the beeswax on its At, skin. Why does the staff disintegrate? Well, I, get, the I, I, I get his... Uh, for some bullcrap reason, he can turn them into spirit moths or whatever, but then the staff decides to disintegrate as well? It's, mm -hmm. Well, if you can't like figure it out, game. Chad, that's on you. Yeah. You're like the dark yeah. power up too early, so let's take it off. You're too smart to figure something. it out. Mm, I can't wait to hear that this show just might be too smart for you guys. Okay? You yeah, know, no, no, I know that. <laughs> no one's fucking you this shit with. No, it's garbage, and you're fucking retarded if you think it's if it's smart. Well, God, they'll defend it with stupid. their own head. They'll make up bull crap like the staffing. They'll say, "Oh, it was linked to their life force." It's like that wasn't said in the show, mm -hmm. right? No. I you mean, that's not it. It's the show for them. Don't set it. anything up. They don't put down any rules. Mm -hmm. There's no structure to any of this. <clears throat> they're in Numenor one minute. They're in fucking the Southlands for this minute. Lenny Henry's as, alive. As, he as, decides as, to die the next as minute. As they, uh, yeah. they, they set up that Methdolf could heal trees, could heal, <laughs> could heal people. 
um, and was magic, but he couldn't heal the brother right here. He couldn't heal yeah. the brother. <laughs> <laughs> the brother who was fine for five minutes. They they did establish, I think, early on that black Harfoots have self-clotting blood, but only for five minutes. And then they just completely bleed out and die. Until the sun comes up. Then he dies immediately the moment he hits sunlight. <laughs> he just gets like, like, oh, 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 yeah. goes like, hey, buddy, magic man, could you do something? No. Yeah. No. Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, like, nah. Nah. See, uh, yeah. gives him a Never nod. Mind. He's like, "Peace out." I guess I'll uh, maybe Lenny so Henry's think... just being based, and it's just like, uh, "Dude, <laughs> that, can that you just uh, like get these fucking women away from me?" Dude, no. The look on uh, Meth Doll's face is uh, the script says there's too many men in this scene. <laughs> 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 you gotta go, buddy. It, it, it One is. of us has got to go, dude, and it's not it's me. A goal not me. At this point, every male has to have at least three women surrounding him. Mm -hmm. Then when he, he dies, every single character. This might be the first ever recorded case of a Harfoot dying to someone else which isn't from their own tribe. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. But when he sat there and he's waiting for the sun to come up, he's like, you know, oh, no, it's time for me to go off on a different trail. I'll be the, I'll, I'll meet up with the missus. I'm like, holy <laughs> yeah. fuck, yeah, you what? left your wife he's behind. killed his wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, wait, I was, so, I was so confused about that because he says the missus will be waiting. So I'm like, wait, yeah. does that mean... She's still alive and she's waiting. No, she's for you already like dead. You were waiting she's dead. Her. She's dead because no, he's dead. like, yeah, but they're phrased. They're phrased. We will wait, we will for, wait you. for you. We and that's said by you. people that are alive when they leave people behind. So I'm like, was that lady that was telling them to take the wheels and let him die? Is that his wife? That's his second I guess wife. Not. Obviously. Yeah, that was the. Yeah. I thought she was the wife of the fucking other stupid dude with the same my, my big fucking feet are as big as me. No, that's her. No, that's her. That's her. I know it's I tough, know, it's I tough don't to care. keep all the Are you saying they look alike? Yeah, you say they all look alike as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. That's exactly what I all am All Harfoots <laughs> look the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's actually Nori's mom there. <laughs> I have a Thanks, fucking Nori, clue. Nori, quarter black, <laughs> yeah. these people yeah, she's a quarter black. <laughs> Nori's a quarter black. Representation. Yep. Uh, <laughs> There's as is off the chains again. Man. I just confirm it in this episode. She does say much. The half so was like, do. Don't oh, have okay. any sympathy. Now you, now the fat one. <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bleeding from my titty. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead at this point, and they just carry on like sitting next to him as if he's like been there. stuffed or something. It's really crazy. Nobody, nobody walks alone, just proof. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, what happened to the other? Did you, did you realize they lost two thirds of their entire army in this tiny battle in a town? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they only came back with one, one ship. ship. One ship? Where are the horses? Uh, uh, the Where volcano, the guys. They the volcano. Them. They just left the, the horses. I, th there. I thought they everyone left except behind, the main though. characters. No, they said we're going home. That, that was the thing. Miriam's like, we're going Wait, back they and say then we're they getting were more. leaving a garrison. They, they did. Yeah, we're only going to leave a garrison. Yeah, where are the other two ships? You're right. They left a Mr. Garrison. This, <laughs> this, this intro, is, you're this doing well. I, I, and she's like, fuck you. I'll take your Yeah, screw you. I'll throw you overboard if you speak to me. He's an Don't entire different person again, in this scene than he was in the Like, in the last episode, he was like, we're going to leave the elf in the sea. It was all wrong. And now he's like, oh, you know, I'm an elf friend. Oh, my all for the elves. We're going to do anything. And she gives him the worst advice I've ever heard anyone give, which is literally just like, you know, whatever the price is for anything you ever do in life, just pay it. Don't even worry about it. You know, just yeah, if it's a contract, yeah. just sign. Don't even bother reading it. It'll work out eventually. Is essentially. <laughs> I, her argument. I thought they were gonna fuck in this scene. I did too. I think they're setting up. Yeah. I think they're setting up Muriel and Ellen. Too. Oh my god. I think so too. And then it's gonna be their mixed race baby that actually kills. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 another quarterback representation. Oh, they'll name him a Sildor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, god. a Sildor oh, too. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> your name, don't your put him past this show. This show will turn into an electric boogaloo. <laughs> I go to name you after my son, which died after this Saving bitch dropped the fucking building on top of him. 
Uh, or no, it won't just, be him. Maybe just She'll to be fuck the one with saying Az, it. Maybe just oh. to fuck with Az, the girl is still there with nice tits will transition. You never know. <laughs> dude, I still, I, still, I still have a wank. <laughs> that that Az, good. You, when you say what? stuff like that, you do it to yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a woman. It's a woman. <laughs> He it's a woman, Chad. She has a reconstructed <laughs> penis. That doesn't matter. <laughs> She's a woman. It's a biological woman, Chad. Come on. I'm going to go. With oh, the man. No, it's your to <laughs> revealed the reasoning in that scene why he truly did it. It wasn't because, you know, the sea told everything like that. And get this, it was because of his name. He actually says it. He's like, I did it because Lindell does not mean just the one who follows the stars. It's like, I, I, okay, and you also, did it because you, your, your name was Elfred. And, oh, I better help an elf. I'm, my name means Elfred. <laughs> my name's my last Garrett. Name doesn't is mean Smith. that I'm an addict. So I had okay. to be a blacksmith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> must mean I must. It also has a third addict. meaning. My name I, is Garrett. After it has all. a third meaning. I bang queens. <laughs> the queen banger, banger of queen, queen banger, banger, banger of queen. queens, power of queen banger, <laughs> queen fucker. <laughs> it's just and my it's name. Been... <laughs> I can't he help has it. To do what he says. <laughs> it's not the rising of queens. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The patterns. Oh, oh my god, that's wow. awful. Wow. That's so no, awful. You know what that means? That this chainmail prince yeah, I'm wearing yeah, is better yeah, quality yeah, because it's yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It does mean that. Yes. I can't believe it. By the way, uh, it's actually just a pit. Stole. It's just a pit stain from his deodorant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, this actually uh, is elastic by the looks of it. That hey, looks like elastic. Hey Ryan, he also looks like like the crack guy from David Chappelle a little bit, a little wider on the lips there. <laughs> <laughs> Something going on. I tell you what, his tits are great. God, he needs more than me. Yeah, he does. As, 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 is he a, is he a biological woman? As, <laughs> as are you gonna wink to that? Jeez. <laughs> 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 oh come on. <laughs> Look, what is this new fucking armor, man? Jesus. Oh Christ. man. Good Sorry. lord. God, we, uh, how far do we got to go, Garrett? Uh, we, oh, oh, we're oh, we're oh, oh, oh my god. god. How is it? How? 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 Right, to be fair, the credits are like a long time, was, so okay, let's we're skip this. about 10 minutes to say goodbye to a home. Hey, line. I, I was supposed to leave 20 minutes ago and I can't because I'm laughing too much. So <laughs> I'm, 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 I can't. Here, here's the thing I, I know you mentioned the, the black flags, but when I initially watched this, it's like I, I had no idea what the hell was going on. They did not make it very. <laughs> You know, plain to see that they're flying the black flags. I guess it's on well, the ships, but oh, guys, guys, yeah. or, or look how many ships! Look at how many ships, ships there are! I know. Yeah. <laughs> there is tons of that, was, two, that was more three, of what I took away from the seas. They had more fucking five, ships six, there. Seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, eleven. Because they did 11 in the shot alone. They did establish that like whole thing with the black flag is like uh, a few scenes Ferrazon, earlier. Ferrazon did that like yeah. you, hey, but it's, it's very, it's very forgivable so if you were if but. it's very forgivable well you're small too uh it's very <laughs> forgivable. Say, the, way, the way they set it up though does not make Gary. you think that that's what's gonna happen <laughs> it's, it's very forgivable wow. if you were like oh, a say, hey, make it, Gary. <laughs> thank you <laughs> 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 he just knocked the poor guy off his fucking feet. Come on. <laughs> stool. I on, love stool. comics. <laughs> it's um, it's forgivable. Put him on his stool for fuck's sake. Put him only... back on the high chair. <laughs> <laughs> put his bib back on for crap. The only <laughs> people who are staying awake for this episode mostly are the reviewers. Now, it's forgivable if you fell asleep during that scene. I'm just saying. It's understandable. Yeah. Or if you weren't tall enough to change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't reach the clicker. Oh, I, I'm sorry that the show is so fucking boring I could barely pay attention to it. You don't have to apologize. That's a fair comment. That is a fair comment. Hey, if she, did, she, did she say, oh, by the way, he knows how he like led her onto the deck. And then he's like, oh, my God, all the black flags. So he, he leaves her arm, moves forward. And she's going, Alindio, what's what, what's going on, Alindio? What's going on? And then she just fucking walks right by yep. him. 
And she's like, what is wrong? She should have walked over the ship. Like, just yes. got over the edge. Right <laughs> <on> the <side. laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> hey, honestly, though, that's how we all want to watch the show. It's oh, yeah. Overboard. <laughs> blindfolded. Blindfolded. <laughs> um, and there's the dead king and... Uh, uh, El Ferrazon. I, 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 I thought it was that room exploding. Yes. Dude, yeah, I thought so, I thought he was a suicide bomber or something. The transition was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it like zooms into his face and he's like, Duh, and it goes, building explodes. Every single person inside that room was fine. Like, yeah, not a single person. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody pick out where Casadun is. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, okay, if you go to the, um, behind the screen, no, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, what, well, I don't know what direction we're looking, what direction uh, yeah, we're looking. Well, actually, you don't need food, you don't need water. Oh, it's, it's over that, <laughs> oh, dude, it's right next door, it's just over that little you hill. You can walk? Yeah. So oh, okay, okay, Thanks, Could dude. we go back Appreciate to that it. shot of the, app because something really, like, important that we can notice from when, this, this shot right here, it's like, do you, does anyone notice that, that massive forge that was so crucial that they spent a couple of episodes setting up they needed to the, build? The one that looks Over like here. a giant Johnson. That's the other side of this That's not using it all in the creation of the Rings of Power. Oh, yeah. Yes, because remember, you can't force them together. They, they don't even bother using you it. Can they, in they, Hollywood, this mate. big setup, and then they just make it with, in Keller Brimbor's workshop. I, I, You're so right. A completely useless what? arc. Oh, oh. There's they so many dead threads in this show. I know. It, it's insane. It's, it, dude, it's bad reboot. They do that shit all the time. It and, just goes and to Odin's the end right. and stops. You, yeah, to, to get the, the ore to, to you know get together, they actually have to take him out to dinner, give him some, maybe yeah. a couple of spa days, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Play some music. Play some Wait, music. The entire, dwarven the, line, the, the entire Dwarven storyline just went nowhere because they only needed that first bit, which they'd already dug out. So all that trying to convince them with Mithril, how they're going to get the Mithril, uh, Deezer turning into a Sith Lord to rule the entire Dwarven Empire. <laughs> That's right. All yeah. of that, that was their last entirely scene. pointless for the scene. That also, was their is, final is scene. that the same building that they were building mm-hmm. together? No. No. That's what we're saying. So nothing like, ever happened they, with that. They're not yeah. using it. Not, they yeah. did nothing that's with just, it. That's, they, Kel- that's Keller Brimbor's it. workshop that he refers to himself in the third person when help Bran <laughs> sees him. That's right. Did you like how he blew up his entire forge and they went, yeah, we'll just do it again, folks, and we're just put, under the future. Put it together. To yeah, they're like, put it together and do it smaller or some shit like that. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah may, maybe you're thinking it, maybe it's got too oh, much power. By the Have way, you noticed yeah. how Galadriel has by completely the way, taken over the fucking... Forging and smithing. Now. Look at that look yeah, on her face. That, look at that. Oh what do you think God. about those? Hey, Az, what do you think about those tits? <laughs> Flat as a pancake. Yeah, it's not great. All right, I, I just like to point it's out. At least what, Numenor, I just like to point what, out. Hey, Ryan, I just like to point out. Tits. Right. I just Man. like to point out where Thank are you. the Elven Smiths of Region? Because that's who's supposed Fucking to be working. Fucking each other. Because they're all gay. Yeah. That like, <laughs> there's no Elven Smiths. It's just Celebrimbor. It's, but it's, it's supposed to be this, Elvin it's so Smith. underwhelming the whole Smith. making the, of the ring. Yeah. They I, only had that was a good they shot. only had Gary, 60 million dollars an episode, okay? <laughs> he got it. That, that's scene, a good meme image right In the right scene there. Gladriel is meant to suspect Sauron, but she's trying to do it discreetly cuz she's researching him in the background and she's standing on the sidelines just giving him dagger eyes the entire way. What is Keller Brimbor looking suspicious. at right now? I thought he's just like, oh, she's got off. Oh, he's looking at Brimbor. He's looking at his say, Femron, your penis is huge. <laughs> I can see the outline of your head. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like, there we go. Oh, like, great. Yeah. That yeah. ring could be like, Keller Brimbor's like, cock ring. Then we'll do wow, cock rings you, instead. You've got quite a large dick. Hellbrand's just looking at it. And Hellbrand's just like, and it's circumcised. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I did, no, I'm gonna okay. say that we'll get triple that. Yeah, yeah, okay. don't say that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, well, well, you already no, said something. Hold on, there, Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, my, my god. stomach's messy. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love this show. I fucking yeah. love this show. <laughs> this show that we're doing. More than okay. racism. It's more than racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I like how they're like, it'll take us a really long time to find all the information. By the way, there happens to be this one scroll. I know. <laughs> the, yeah. the entire, yeah. entire family the entire of this um, Live long and prosper, uh, Galadriel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that scroll is a thousand years old. deliver in but front of the guy that you're investigating, by the way. We don't, we don't <laughs> want to move the... past. We don't want to move past the revelation how they figure out, oh, the way to do it is to just not force it. And it's like, what does that mean in smelting? It's just, um, like, yeah. No, it it's means not, they really self aware. As, as, yeah. as, as that's more applicable to like prison sex than smelting. You just gotta oh. force it. Oh like, my god! Hey, you know, like, hey, clean, clean this fucking thing up. Let's get this reset. And the whole just undoes a chain. I know. Like, it's yeah. so cheap and lazy. It's like their their logic is to, and, and that actually came after where um, Keller Brimbor says we've tried everything and it's not working. Oh, why don't we try this? We haven't tried. You just said you tried everything, and then it's. Uh, yeah, why don't we try just did... putting it in the pot? That's literally oh, go, all go, they go, do. Go, go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back to the uh, the look. Go go back to the looking one. Oh, the next one. Okay. Uh, can somebody put Campia's head onto Keller Brimble? <laughs> if you look close, <laughs> no, look close. <laughs> El- El- Toby McGuire's <laughs> Toby McGuire's <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, you know Renee will do that. Give it like oh, a It's minute. probably already done. Yeah. <laughs> I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. Dude, I had my <laughs> finger on hunted. the button and I saw you do it. <laughs> <laughs> hunted. <laughs> It's like Sauron found it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is there is there any male in the show that looks masculine? For fuck's sake! No, no. Yeah. I have information. There for was you one, that. and they had him crying last episode. Yeah. Just to be right. clear, the difference the difference in just to be I mean, clear the difference in us and John Campy is that we actually say his name when we're talking about him, yeah. unlike him who yeah. he can't actually say yeah, our fucking doing, name. By the way, oh he's, he's oh he's, he will not say he's our names. A meltdown? He'll fucking talk about us, but he won't say our names. So shout out to John. Say my Campion. name. Say my name. <laughs> uh, Rob will though. Be, I mean, like Rob. Rob's sh- fucking awesome. Rob's oh, awesome. Great. I love that, that one video clip of him excitingly reading the <laughs> super chat ooh. mentioning, and he goes, "Ooh." <laughs> 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 Geeks and gamers. Oh, just move on, Rob. I'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, R and B. Rob was just like, "I'm excited to read this." R and B. Sla- like he slaughtered this episode on Twitter. Oh, yes, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's so everywhere brooding guy. I, I, she's. Who I can't believe trickle, that she's please. surprised about this because she was the one who made the assumption. You stupid idiot, Galadriel. All we had to do was do check that when you're in Numenor, but no, he is the king, and she's, ah. Uh, she was in the what south. What happens from wait, wait, here to the end wait. is so She was stupid. in the fucking south with Southerners and the elves that were watching <laughs> over them in the watchtower, and she never bothered to go, when was the last time you had a king? <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a thousand years. No, I'm just going to go ahead Mom. and make it a giant yeah. assumption. No, it's about a thousand be years fair, ago. All, based on the re- sack. All those retarded Southlanders were all in on it. They were completely yeah. they, like they saw that they one saw the sigil. Of they can't read. <laughs> like... They're like yeah. they're like Jeremy. They can't read, so like they're not gonna understand. <laughs> Night, T. Louis too. <laughs> her, story, her story is entirely projection. I can't speak. She keeps telling him, "You're wait, 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 wait. But he's like, oh, I no, can read. Story. I just story. can't story. speak story. because of the multiple strokes, Jeremy. All right, <laughs> because of the what? The multiple, multiple strokes. strokes. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> drugs. Yeah, <laughs> like, <so. laughs> Gary, for Multiple fuck's strokes. Jeez, that man. sounds like as any time there's a gender oh, questionable no! person. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just you get Damn a pair true. of tits wrong, what and this is what happens. What the hell is even two, that? Two pairs. Oh, two pairs. <laughs> you, two. No, yeah, no. Two no. You're about to make it a fucking royal flush if you keep going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Actually, the joke would have been a full house, but I guess just wait until the Leslie the Leslie Headland show comes out. I'm sure oh. that they'll be. One oh my God! Yeah. Wait, wait! I got a sound effect for that one. 
<laughs> and that's Leslie for us, Hedlund, not you, Leslie. Meaning, no offense you to mean, Leslie Hedlund. You mean Har Le Harvey Weinstein's former personal yes. assistant. Yes. Just want to yes. make that clear. Still wonder what and, all those tweets were about that she deleted. Mm, me too. How many of them? No there were thousands, right? There was 220 she, she, she wrote. Okay. She has told us that her show is going to be shit. So, you know. <laughs> well, I, I knew that when it was announced there was a woman's show running it, so... <laughs> Uh, Leslie, how, how many times did you leave uh, a young actress with your uh, boss? Uh, Answer. A lot. Oh my god! It was, it was Renee did it. <laughs> See, that's oh. where you should have put the cha-ching, cha-ching button, because that would have mm. been the answer. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> wow! Oh, you didn't find the fucking dark theme, did oh, you, the comics? Yeah, no dark theme. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Damn, I'm, I'm blinded. I'm blinded. I'm blinded. I'll get right on that. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what you said last time. <laughs> and, and that's and that's why Shad isn't following you. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I'll, I'll go find that setting right now. <laughs> sure, we'll find out. I swear I'll meme. change it while I while I follow. <laughs> Surprised oh you guys god. didn't bring that up last time I shared something. <laughs> Quite frankly, we didn't notice it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. I thought was Shad was following him and unfollow 25 <laughs> Yeah. I did follow uh, him, but then I saw he had no dark thing. I, I don't follow him. <laughs> I can't be associated with somebody like that. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't use dark theme. Are you mad? <laughs> He's a mad lad. You He's are not a rock lad. His retinas must be fucked. Oh, All right, please. Man. There's a lot of this, this show to go. We need this to... is it. The big reveal that the oh, thing. No one saw this like, coming. No. All no. the obvious signs. <laughs> Yeah. Let us hear. But, like, for every person that said Gary and As were wrong uh, about this yeah. for months and months, it's literally word for word. I've gone by many names. Yeah. Like the same shit you guys said from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I remember As saying that. Yeah. It's crazy how real sources work. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Yep. <laughs> like, you actually Stressing talk, the real. You talk to that. like verified people who work <laughs> with the show. Taking you know a great risk. Uh, taking he, great, yeah, take, he, I, taking the, great I, risk. I have been by awake the since before the breaking of the first silence. In that time, I have been, I have had many names. Sorry. That's, That's exactly a, word for word. Yeah. what he said. Also, like millions of dollars and that wig. <laughs> I know. Her, wow. I, I, I yeah. said this on the show before, <laughs> Odin. It's like, wig, it's, I, I, have, I said this. That wig, yeah. her wig looks fucking terrible. Yeah. And this looks awful. That that looks. Oh my god! That wig looks. And terrible, why does guys. brother want to fuck her? I know. <laughs> With this, really this sexual oh, tension man. between her and her. Oh, so no. funny. Sauron, Sauron, it. it is it's it is choice to try and seduce Galadriel. Listen, doesn't appear to Listen. her as her oh, husband. Oh no! Appears to her oh, wow. as her brother. No. Now I know. No, I should. No, 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 no. You guys are being disingenuous right now. They kept saying we need. It needs to be more like Game of Thrones. So yeah. that's what they like. Hey, not a Targaryen. Just, yeah. uh, go back. Oh, Garrett, Garrett, go back. Go back, yeah. go back to go back to go back to frames. House of the Dragon go energy back, right now. Go back to Morph. <laughs> go back to Morphic Clark smiling. Yeah, that's that impossible, uh, Gary. It's even it it's been no, erased was, from history. Look, it's been erased a, from history. There was, a, there was a good smile. There's a good smile. It's the first time she's smiled without getting an orgasm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I thought I was gonna stab her. I'm grabbing. Like I'm taking my this phallic angle. object back. Oh, I missed it. So, oh, what well. I love here. Never mind. What the brother says, which makes her realize it's oh no, Sauron is actually morally equivalent to what the brother really did say back in the thing. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. says, touch the darkness one more time. And the brother said, sometimes you have to touch the darkness to know the light, which is saying, touch the darkness so you'll be good. And he's just saying, touch the darkness again. It's the same. But this time she's like, oh, it's evil. I was waiting for him to bring. I was waiting for him to bring the, the stone and the boat thing back. Yes, I thought it was true. The second time he said it, though, Shad, he did say, "And the darkness is my dick." <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Country, like a scary country? movie type remake of this, where we just shit on it, and it'd be like, that you know, face. just oh like the God. rock looks down, Galadriel. It's time for you to look down. 
<laughs> and, then he, and then he makes that face. All right. yeah. And then touch the darkness. Uh, I'm known as the only thing that goes down, Oh, oh that's my it. god! That's it! <laughs> he's, he's got serial killer eyes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, no, she is wow. going down. Oh, wow. Okay. Oof. Whoa. Oh, oh, he's going in for it! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is weird. The imagery is not good. It's not good imagery. It's not oh, good imagery. So creepy. Oh my goodness. Also, by the way, Sarah must be out of his read. Her do mind. Do you bleed? You will. <laughs> oh, standing up at the same height as him, sitting. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Eddie trying to do like a she's still a child kind of thing, but no, I think she's, she's a just like foot. six foot seven. <laughs> six foot seven. <laughs> oh. Six four, so right? Oh, my goodness. So that was a conversation that Sauron would not have been out of here, so he must have just read her mind to be able to know that that's what the bottom was. Gosh. There's a tempest in her. <laughs> well, that's what Back she gets for going to Taco Bell. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm what I love here, what he says, he actually throws her words right back in her face and she has no comeback because it's complete checkmate. And instead, she's like, you lied to me, meaning you're a sour and I can't forgive you because you're, you're Is he you're fucking like, crying? Is he crying? Uh, I, I no, think I think so. he's, he's just cockeyed. I think he's stoned. <laughs> oh, got a teardrop right there. But her words are literally whatever you have done in your past let it go so she didn't give caveats or go oh well, yes. you know, only the things you've told me about or anything like that she literally gives away a, yeah and doesn't matter how yeah. evil you were that would have given sauron poor sauron actual hope that maybe somebody could forgive him and then she's like screw you in this scene she crushes him underfoot it's a complete thought what? move it's, it's, you killed that, my that... retarded brother who talked about stones and ships <laughs> uh, i knows what he was trying to say <laughs> That's why I think they're going to bring it back because she has the opportunity to slash his neck in this, and she doesn't even go for it. Oh so wow! So she's for for centuries she's been hunting him, and then when she actually gets her opportunity, she's like, I can't actually do it. So the kill kill her uh, brother dies in war. Galadriel most affected. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh there it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, 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 this oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Take my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Symbol of my power. Oh my god. Oh, get him. Get him. Uh, there is so much to break down in the dialogue in the scene. It'll just take us too long. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's, it's all a disaster. Everything, the implications of redemption, her quest for vengeance, what she actually wants, the fact that she probably really clearly has the hots for him and uh, and he's bleeding his heart to her and she just crushed uh, it, it. There's layers of crap in this whole thing. And oh. then... It's her fault. She's the one that pushes it's not a tear. over There's the edge. No! Oh, you had a good one oh, there. No, no, no. Oh, Garrett. Oh. Garrett, you, there you go. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> that, My tempest is leaking. That is a thumbnail, Perry. That is a thumbnail right there. That is beautiful. Boom. <laughs> Saved. That's wow! A good one too. A, <laughs> his O face. This is O face. Face. <laughs> like eyes or something there? Yeah, his eyes are oh, yeah. That's just Sauron eyes. The eyes, it's like the eyes, the eyes of Sauron. Oh. Yeah. Where, where's the Galad? Oh, you gotta go yeah, find the Galadriel face yeah. in there. Where's the glad hole? It's like right oh, in between. Wow. <laughs> just, just play it. Oh! Oh! Let it just play for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like like one, it's Grace Randolph. <laughs> oh my god. So... There's a more scrunched up nose, is there? <laughs> oh, no. that, right here, that face is like just play that's it. revealing there her true go. evil. That's what like that's her true wait, self. Wait, wait, right keep going, there. keep going right there. Oh, you're yeah, 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 Grace yeah. Randolph. Yeah. Take me to the manager that's now! The my video. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Morphid Clark even said like my face looks evil. My latte so usually, is missing get... two shots, and my name is not Guy Ladriel. <laughs> I get cast as evil characters because my face looks evil. She said this. She's smarter than the, the showrunners. They're like, no, 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 Galadriel, the the graceful, beautiful elf, emits like, light uh, and beauty. Who looks a lot like Galadriel. Jennifer Salky. Yeah, <laughs> just curiously close. The narcissistic egomaniac head of 
Amazon Studios. The curious case of Jennifer Sokin. <laughs> that appears to make enemies wherever she goes. Uh, it's, weird, it's weird that crazy. Kathleen Kennedy has so many protagonists that look like bland brunettes and right. Jennifer Salky cast bland blondes. Bland blondes, uh, bland brunettes. Dude. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> yeah. At least Harvey Weinstein didn't cast people that look like him. No. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. No. And again, congratulations to him and Jennifer he Lawrence. He just raped women. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, him and Jennifer Lawrence, have, they have a baby together, so congrats ooh. to them. So. Yeah. I'm saying, I mean, there's nothing wrong with congratulating a beautiful baby that they created. It's not like well, she's congratulating the baby. <laughs> congratulating a Great beautiful job, kid, uh, for being a yeah. product of rape. Well, yeah. look, Jennifer yeah. Lawrence worked Oof. very, very hard. You got an on Oscar Harvey Weinstein to, to elevate her career, and I'm just congratulating them. Yeah, she, she worked. That. She it's worked. Beautiful. She worked it. Sorry, worked hard. Yeah, she worked oh, really oh, hard. Oh, fucking, oh, like, stick it in. She just fucking slit Elrond's throat right here. <laughs> oh my God. It's still a dream. Like, oopsies. The thing is though, right? Like with what she does, it it makes more sense. But the writers are dumb. It makes more sense. This is Sauron in disguise. Like like he's taken on the form of Galadriel to ensure that his plans go into fruition. But that, it's obviously not because it Sauron makes way more sense. Often Mordor and everything. But she's so evil from here on, ensuring all this crap happens. That yeah, it's like it, this is just Sauron in disguise. Every scene with Keller Brimbor looks like he either wants to get fucked or he just got fucked. <laughs> every, <laughs> look, look, like, every scene. It's creepy. It is. It's Elrond flirting with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're my boy toy. There the goes woman. my dinner plans. Oh my <laughs> god. It's so the elves look so stupid. They look so <laughs> really freaking do. stupid. Uh, because they don't bit, look special at right. all. So, like uh, they're there's nothing uh, so elegant worn. about them. No, nope. other than no. they're fucking like those are nice pajamas, I guess. Cool. Yeah. And just <laughs> to let everyone know, she now definitively knows how Brand is Sauron, knows yes. what his plan is, and decides to make to more rings instead of just stopping it. And is the shortest person in the world. She doesn't tell them. She doesn't tell everybody because she knows that she would be the one in the wrong. She brought fucking yeah. Sauron back to power. It would, That's why look, she can't tell anybody. Fuck your ego, woman. No, you she got wants a ring. Sauron. You got like, Sauron, Sauron right there. there. Fucked up. Oops. She wants jewelry. That's what it is. She well, wants the ring. Power. She makes wants the same decision. Power. She's like I'll that person at the end. that dates someone, uh, decides that they actually like her, um, that they like her, but they don't actually. And um, she decides their whole story and then finds out, oh, I was wrong. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to tell people about this. And then yes. don't acknowledge it. And yeah, don't, don't acknowledge it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. Let's make <sighs> three rings. Because, like, because seriously. It balances or some shit. <laughs> if if you're right right show, one, one ring would, would corrupt, two oh, would cause God. division, three, three would bring balance. How? 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 What? How? Yeah, how? <laughs> It's well, so stupid. if, it, it, if Kel, they had, Kel if Kel they had, like, yes, it brings balance. Like he fucking if, knows what she's talking about. If this was actual Tolkien, then they could have easily made some type of allegory to the Trinity, right? Of God, like that would have been something that could have been cool. Yeah. But since this is clearly not based upon that, it's a well, stupid line that makes no something. sense. Oh, yeah, but there again, sorry, not the Cimmerils, because this show put a fourth fucking Cimmerillo for some fucking reason. Yep. <laughs> oh, and this contrived bullcrap with the dagger. I need the cure as still I'm going to melt the whole oh, thing. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on <laughs> no guys. Hold on. Right, right. brought any from Velno. I said in my review video, this, this bit here proves that Amazon was telling the influencers what to say yes. in oh, their interviews yeah, 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 yeah. because uh -huh. one of the talking points was one of them just randomly says, I want to know about that dagger. Yeah. And when yeah. all you saw was Gladriel just losing it as a as a uh, Climbing device tool. to climb up the mountain. So why would you be interested? That makes no sense. No. So Amazon clearly told them. Well, that clearly the, told I them fix mention it, the dagger because that's going to play. Uh, you know, they knew that it was going to play an right. important part. Fucking bought and paid yep. for. Yep. I can fix him. They made him say twice. Yes. Yeah. They're going to have a shipping moment. Going over different ears because they mm -hmm. he fucked oh. up the wrong ear to do the thing with. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oops. Oops. Multiple Oopsie. takes, told them what to say, and they were fucking surprised when people saw through them. <clears throat> and they still haven't seen the show. 
Remember, re- <laughs> yeah, they see, so none of them yeah. the show. I, uh, my oh. single favorite moment is the guy oh. pissing off in the oh. corner at the at the event. Yeah, take it, just take, take it. it and like, but also, if you ever want proof that uh, people can have an effect when they come to their opinions, they never went back. They never went to another influencer meeting. They never went to the st- the later premieres mm-hmm. or anything. And they were supposed they to. They made s- that was such a PR disaster. They just vanished. Yep. So they haven't like. Uh, I did that video a couple weeks ago where one of the people, the the woman who mm-hmm. was that might have been the I can fix some woman. I, I don't remember, but no, no, she got that was the guy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, it was a it my, was, girl Galadriel. my girl Galadriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was asked on an Instagram live because her whole Instagram is just like Harry Potter stuff. Mm-hmm. She was asked on an Instagram live if she'd watched Rings of Power yet, what she thought about it. She's like, "Have I watched Rings of Power? And what do I think about it?" Well, I'll be honest, I haven't watched it. I'm watching House of the Dragon, and I don't really have time in my life for two fantasy shows. So I'll probably just binge it when it's over, but House of Dragon is pretty good. It's going to have to do a lot to compete with that. So the person That's a great that, puppy wow, in New was, Guinea accent, by the way. But this fucking, the chick who was what, there talking talk about what a big Tolkien fan she was, hadn't even watched it. It'd been like, it was like four episodes in at that yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. It's so super fake, fan. Man. Super fan. Guys. Super fan. Super yeah. fan. All they cared that, about was that they had a diverse it. person to say that they were excited about it. That's all they cared about. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I wonder how this TikToker enough. who covers Harry Potter doesn't have time to watch a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> what the that fuck is she doing? <laughs> also, you saw from Amazon's marketing for that that the whole I can fix him and everything thing was very specific to the English speaking PR. In the foreign nations, they, they never did that. It wasn't yeah. as produced as anything else. The talking points weren't there about the dagger and everything. That was a very targeted thing from whoever handles the PR over here. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, Oopsies. Nose, it disappeared. Mm-hmm. Oopsies. Well, uh, I need to head out for uh, the evening because I have family over. So y'all have a great night. Take care, everybody. dude. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Not eating pizza again. Yeah. getting boring. I, I was eating pizza Eat earlier, pizza. sir. I was eating pizza. Well, we didn't see, did we? You gotta, you gotta show us the oh, pizza. We didn't see. Damn. We didn't see. I need that full frontal pizza. Yes. Oh wow. Whoa. Wow. Go back. I, I, as as I got one. Th- as I got one thing to say. I got yeah. one thing to say, as go back oh, to New bye. Zealand. Do it. Go back do to it. New Zealand, please. Do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna say. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he actually said words. I just go. I thought he was. Gonna I leave. thought he was gonna say go back to the tenderloin in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he'd be. I'll take that. I'll no, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Uh, uh, hey, it's Gandalf. Everybody, it's Gandalf. No, this is follow your nose. It's not Gandalf. Oh. It's Gandalf. Uh, Cope. he's the Fruit Loops Cope's guy. Not Gandalf is hey, Gandalf. Hey, Tolkien professor, Cope. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Cope, yeah. Oh, eat, eat shit. Maybe he's two can spam. Yeah. That's who this guy is. Yeah. Follow your nose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Gary, self professed Tolkien professor. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Self labeled. No, he's not a professor. He just likes to. You know, he needs an ego he, rub because he's he run, stolen he, valor. He, he runs, yeah. Uh, yeah, he runs, an, he runs an incre- stolen, stolen Valinor. He runs. A- <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he runs, a, he runs an online accredited university. Uh, the token, oh, a university oh, he true. created. The university he's a professor. The University of Maryland University College. Hey guys, let's start a university. (laughs) We could all be professors. The City College University of State University. Yeah. I thought I was in university for the nerds. Yeah, uh, you you're in you're in you're in nerd rotic you you're right in. now you're in you're in university you're in you're in you're in everywhere you're in this is this my uh, uniform I'm professor comics over at the yeah. nerd rotic oh, university i'm a token scholar <laughs> and oh, professor okay. go fuck yourself of now we're talking very specifically says, now we're talking have butt sex <laughs> where, with elves. where was that at the beginning of the show x-ray girl well okay. I, I had a ponytail and i wanted to use my ponytail hat yours doesn't have adjustable ponytail oh. slot. Well, yeah, yeah. But, well, because oh, aren't you aren't you like uh that's a female with those hat. hats aren't you partner with those people? yeah yeah okay. I love oh, well then them. i'm sorry i shit all over your no effort hair i didn't realize you were wearing your partnered hat <laughs> yeah I my did. hair is actually really nice right now i, I just i didn't know there was a gash at the back of your head yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow 
<laughs> Listen, we're, we're, we're losing oh, Ryan. Oh, he just apologized to a woman. He just apologized <gasps> oh, stop! to a woman. We're losing wow. Ryan. It's over. I might it's time over. you out for that. It was, yeah. it was kind of it's kind of backhanded, to be off, honest. Off brand. <laughs> okay. We just wanted another effort to say no effort hair. Or um, <laughs> another effort. Are we are we I mean can, are we done with the show? Or like I oh, hope so. Oh, so no. for two years, oh. for two fucking oh, years. No, no, we got the creation of the rings, the most low effort oh. creation of I the rings. Oh. All right, yeah. So hobbits, that. they decide to do some fucking shit, and then he's <laughs> that, leaving. That, that hobbit doesn't leave. know which way to hold the fucking map. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it so is. Dumb. It's it's a woman, Ryan. So well, uh, but a, a white woman had to correct her. So I don't really know what they're going with here. The, the map. Was I love that the family is like. You really belong out there because we want to get rid of this crazy girl. Yep. Oh, yeah, you yeah, belong. Yeah, you're causing us all kinds of problems. <laughs> what are this the three things I've taught you in you. life? Uh, be nice to people. Don't piss in the river if I might oh, drink yeah, from yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't squat down. Is it don't squat? Don't squat. Don't squat. Don't squat. You never know when That's you might need a drink. That's good advice. <laughs> Uh, Not enough out, out, out of the ring. Out of lifelong important <laughs> advice. That's no, what he saw there. Yeah, don't don't piss yeah. by the river because it's good advice if you get your fucking advice. campsite director tells oh you. Oh my yeah, god! Can, I can you can imagine can, being in a hug? I like can that? smell like, that god. from here. Oh god! Oh, it's like I. It can, knock you out. Look at that underarm, like it's <laughs> right in there. There's something <laughs> smothering them it's to right death. There. <laughs> the, the little sister's deep in there. Look at that. Wow. Girl. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, what a dive. Oh, 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 poor girl. They, oh my they, God. By the way, they all fucking stink, by the way. Yeah. Just, just remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, they all look like they use jizz as deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's their hair gel. That's how they get their hair to Little behind the ears. Little behind the ears. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Okay, like just make it go away. They, 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 she goes. So sad. She so goes with oh, the oh, cry, cry, oh, cry. Oh, this cry, goes at fucking I, Star I, Trek Discovery. I'm watching it. Just crying, don't crying, care. Crying. Crying. Like they by the wanted way, the, um, this painful. Like the Frodo together. and Sam moment that, like, yes, yes. yeah. Yep. That nobody cared about in this. Yeah, nobody oh, fucking cares. Well, yeah. I don't know. I've got and now the halfwits are a matriarchy because Lenny Henry's dead. Yep. Yep. So another they girl boss, so another women, girl boss. Women now control <laughs> everything. Gladriel the elves, Muriel Numenor, uh, fucking flower picker, commander of the Southern Armies, <laughs> and fucking the the psychopathic, murderous women of the Harfoots. Yeah, and Muriel. There you go. God, I said Muriel. I said Muriel. And and uh, literally tried to murder a family and then got told to she's always right. And she <laughs> <That's Yeah. awful. laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This is this the is final so scene. Oh my, my god, this scene good. takes forever. Oh, what am I without? We need, we need to see how Brand's terrible um green screen as well. We do. Yeah. Don't you get it, guys? Oh, you realize that was meant to be deep. Like the, the yeah. whole thing closing on it was like her it closing oh, on her previous all, life. It was in, oh, this is all practical. Exact... They probably really melt a fucking knife right there and like who cares? I think so, yeah. But uh, Kilatrail, I don't care. In Rings yeah. of Power Faction, this is all in I don't mode. care. You've done nothing to make me care about the dagger, your brother, or you, or the forging of your fucking psycho rings. They they pour nothing. the they pour oh, the man. slag in. Sorry, they pour the metal in with slag on top, so it's really hey, look at that. Oh wow, look, it's a Sauron and it's, yeah, again. It's Sauron. Oh, and the God. secret, again. remember Hello. the secret to just gently merge the mithril was to just drop it in molten metal. <laughs> yeah, that's the secret that they couldn't figure out. <laughs> they coaxed it, and, and then and then yeah. right. It's so bizarre and stupid. Like I was expecting something big and grand where they start chanting a song of creation and they draw down power from heaven or something like that. No, they make jewelry. That that's how the the power rings are made. And it's like, where's the magic? It just comes from Mithril because Mithril's magic. It's such crap. Were, were you yeah, shocked but, when uh, they uh, had that? Like when they pulled it out, it was just like that little thing, which like does ended. make sense if you're gonna make a ring or whatever. But I was a little surprised that that's like what they decided to do, and then just to extend it another two minutes. No, they, but, yeah, they want five they more minutes of slow motion shots. Good God, they, they've yeah. said that the rings are gonna give them power and all. But they haven't explained what and how it's going to get rid of the corruption mm -hmm. or any Fuck of that business. Matter. Because they're relying it, it, upon the name. They don't care about telling yeah, any story. It, they don't care just, about developing. Well, no, it's mithril magic. Mithril is the thing that does everything now. Like, holy crap, Frodo could have done some crazy things with his mithril and, shirt. Oh, it's like yeah. vibranium. Yep. It's, it's, it's like... Shirt. Yeah, it's, little it's, balls that you fucking put in some dude's spine and all of a sudden you can walk again. Uh-huh. Yep. What? Uh, a so, on forever. L... L <laughs> 
That's the first. That's the first time, by the way, that uh, Elrond's dipped his wick uh, in his. Oh <laughs> All I thought of the was the uh, Harfoot scene where they were like, "Don't pee upstream." I was like, oh, "Was this going to happen?" <laughs> yes, yeah. parallel. We could see Br Nori Brandy snatch like squatted oh, over, fucking pissing <laughs> in the river. <laughs> next I didn't, I'm taking a shit, taking a big old dump. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had some bad snails. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. Let's put some me. uncut gems. Let's put some uncut gems into here as well. Yeah. <laughs> These are the most horrible rings you could have actually made. The elves are supposed to be elves. masters of their craft, and this is what they call. And them. he is supposed oh, to be the fucking ring the... pops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. They do. It's like our like vending machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You go to it the looks... seaside, and that's where you get. Yeah. I want the raspberry. I want they the raspberry crease flavor. in it. Like the prop has a crease in it where they molded it. Oh wow! Oh, that it's not an actual geez. hammer. It's like cheap plastic. I also cheap want to know how they ended up with one that's just like fucking silver, silver? Or like white gold, yeah. or whatever. Like when they mixed everything together. That's Galadriel's. That's the water one. Yeah. Right, right, but but like it doesn't make any yeah. sense to me. Yeah, it was like, made no. from the same metal mixture. It shouldn't be a different color. They put, yeah. they put, they put gold, food okay. coloring in. Purest gold. Uh, and then they got a shot of then, they, then shot we have of more shots that's it. of them. That's, that's your rings of power. That's that's that was what it. you get for eight fucking episodes. That's you so get. deflating. And at this point, so I'll run million million dollars. Dollars. I'll run one on one. I just want to say anything. So Galadriel got wet earlier and decided not <clears throat> to change. And oh yeah, she she probably has a yeast infection. I think at this point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is why we have a woman <laughs> on healthy. Friday Night Tights. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's had a yeast infection this entire fucking time. <laughs> that would that explain so a lot. So the attitude. <laughs> but now, well, all, to be bitch. fair, all Elrond knows is that there is no like Southlands King. That's yep. all he knows. He doesn't know that he's fucking Sauron. Yeah, I'm not like, like, thinking that he's like, what is this? Oh, here, we go. Here, here we go. go. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. God. It's Krigler. <laughs> Adam Krigler on a hike. <laughs> Let's find Krigler day. coffee here in the green screen. He put glasses on him. It actually looked like <laughs> Well, yeah, they made sure to get a fan in this to like blow his hair back to make yeah, him look it, like this and everything. Yeah. But the God. thing is, like, oh God, making, so hot. I making Mordor so. wasn't even his plan. He was actively fighting against the formation of Mordor. But now it's like, aha, this is this is my domain that the I you know, showed me the way. To make. And, uh, by the yeah, way, did you the, get that uh, bit the with volcano seems to have done a good number since they left. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's a bit with Calibrimbor where he's talking about Halbrand and he says something like, oh no, he was just the key that unlocked the dam, which was a reference to him creating Mordor in the first place. They were so proud of that line and just slipped it in. Oh, no. <laughs> my fucking brain hurts, man. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't pay attention. <laughs> same here as same here i just look at the pictures and arms wide out. open south hands look out a little more rocky than they probably up. should right now yeah yeah this changed a bit it's yeah it has bit. yeah it's uh it looks like la <laughs> You're right. You're right. You 100% right, Gary. That's going to be yeah. Washington in three weeks. But you guys are right. Like, there were still trees standing after the volcano mm -hmm. eruption yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. on the, the mountains, it was, was on a green. And, and we're on the green fucking. Oh. Oh. Thank goodness. Uh, I only yeah, have to. Buddy, we only buddy. have to watch it one more time to fucking review it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never Sucker. again. Never again. Watched it once, oh. and I. Hopefully, never have. To, I'll probably have to get clips now and then for future videos, but I'll never watch that thing again. Oh, if no, it's in my power. Oh, and that they're dude, awful. I legitimately have a headache. I, I yes, I'm I not even too. gonna right, watch I, any of it to catch up. I'm you know, two oh, years I, time. I found something. I'm gonna get at least two videos out over the next two days. I can't tell you what it's the worst. It's actually worse than watching the episode again. <laughs> it's bad. It is, it is the most retarded thing I've found. This off my screen. Uh, concerning the rings of power one, since 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 February since the the rollout started, I found the dumbest thing, the dumbest argument against fans, and it's it's not just an article. It's it's a whole thing that I didn't know existed. So much more. Oh my oh, god! So it's a gold mine of retardation. I can't wait for to share it <laughs> with you if I survive. Uh, let's read some super chat. Jeremy, do you got to go? 
Yeah, I'm going to bounce. I got to go live in an hour. So, uh, but I did tell uh, Eric. So, for everybody that's coming to Orlando, Jay did a stream on park hopping yesterday and he kind of broke down what we're doing throughout the week. <clears> so, you can kind of have an understanding for what a lot of us are doing. And it's all obviously not, you know, cemented, but there's a lot of moving parts. But that's kind of the idea. I don't so even if you know guys what we're watch doing. That, Do you know what we're doing? Um, I have no idea well, what we're doing other than the Well, you're up. not, well, you're not getting there until like the day you, or two. You know, before, on Thursday, right? what we're doing, Gary, because we talked yeah. about that. You so, Thursday, I know. All that yeah. good shit for yep. Halloween. I'll be there nights. Thursday. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so that's, he's mapping out a few things because uh, Jay and Krista are going to be doing some, you know, universal stuff. And we just kind of want to let everybody know what the plan is there. Um, and then he talks about what's happening Sunday night after the meetup and what we're trying to do and, and everybody meeting there. So you guys can at least get an understanding of it. And obviously we'll be on social media talking about it. So if you want to check that out, I'll drop that here. Just uh, save that for after FNT ends. And uh, I'll see you guys on fall guys. You joining me Disparu? If I'm awake, yep. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was well, I personally would rather you not because you're too fucking good. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, I got knocked but, out of that ring four times last wow. week. Yeah, yeah, you were. Magically survived. Listen, hearing this be like, get out of the way. It's so funny because he just says that all during Fall Guys. Uh, I would invite Tabletop Asma. Move. He's always asleep. As they want you on tabletop, by the way. So, oh. everybody's asking for you on GNG tabletop. So, yeah. If you're interested, let me know. I'll put yeah. you. I'll put you in contact with the rude eye. Because uh, by the way, everybody, yeah, is that tabletop? I mean, is that PG thirteen or any oh, Nick Ricada? Well, Nick Ricada's no. on there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's, oh, he's racist. Okay. <laughs> got you. <laughs> I mean, he, he plays a fairy that has magic tentacles, uh, so you can yes. put the rest wow. together. That is wow. Nick. Yeah. 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 He has Nick, a widow that's Nick in a nutshell. Her husband's body. So and that, and wow. Yeah. Wow. That goes for any of you yes. guys. If any of you guys are interested, let me know. I know. I know. Quarter Black, you're on there already, and uh, Shad, you'd probably be awesome. So, hey, we'll yeah, see. Man. But uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, and Ryan, I'd love to do stuff like and, that. And, and Ryan was on there, so it, it's very racist. So it's not just racist; it's very <laughs> uh, racist. <what>? So. <laughs> well, tabletop. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, if man, if people who if people are mad at like things I said before at theme parks, you should have tuned in to one of those freaking D and D streams. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so true. Just let it let's a rip. Uh yeah. but yeah, uh awesome F and T. Uh, I trust me. It, it being on here oh. with all of you and laughing about this. It makes up for the pain of watching this bullshit because uh yep. it is fun to just listen to Jeremy, the, before you go. So. Mm -hmm. There is a breaking woke on woke crime that has Ooh. been committed. Oh, 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 you know I like woke on woke crime. I, I know. Mindy Kaling, do. who's uh -huh. doing the uh -huh. uh, Scooby-Doo, yes. liked J.K. Rowling's tweet. <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> Yeah. And She's now canceled. she's getting eaten by peeps. I have to share that with you. Peeps Ooh, like this. Yeah. No goodness. one should have to say this. But <laughs> if your feminism doesn't include trans women, then it isn't feminism at all. Actually, that's so untrue. Supporting JKR in any capacity <laughs> and being a feminist are mutually exclusive. Super <laughs> <laughs> disappointing, Mindy. Yeah. Yeah, Can yeah, we translate that? Right like, translation. <laughs> if your feminism doesn't include men <laughs> taking over the roles of women, you're not a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> if your there was, feminism uh, isn't Twitter men, lying. then you're not a feminist. Yeah, so it's funny because when, when the Velma show tweeted out that, hey, she's got a crush on Fred or whatever, there was a bunch of people out there being like, yeah, oh. imagine Mindy Kaling doing a project where the brown woman isn't interested in the white man. Like, they, they fucking oh, ripped wow. the pieces over that shit. Oh, oh my like, God. It is never They're racist. for these people. Jesus. Wow. Yep, it's uh. bad, dude. And uh, the the actor, obviously, rest in peace to the actor. What was his name? Robbie, Robbie Coltrane. Uh, Robbie Coltrane. Yeah. 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 He passed away. But go to Dad Eraser's Twitter Oh, I account. saw, dude. It's I, uh, holy disgusting. Shit. Fuck what? these pieces people, of shit. These people are People are fucking psychopaths. All right, so they're basically going at. They're basically trashing him because of him. He JK supported Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Yeah, and so now they're trashing him because of his passing. Just go to. You, oh, you know, get out. Again. I, mean, I immediately saw a people. tweet that was like, "Looks like there's one less supporter of J.K. Rowling in the world." Mm. Like, they as soon look, as he they have to live with themselves. You just made ten. More, you just made ten thousand you know? more. Yeah. You just no, yeah. they don't. Like forty percent of them won't won't make it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, yeah no, you just psycho. made ten thousand more J.K. Rowling supporters. Uh, 
Shit, shit, Ryan, we should do it. We should like blow everybody's mind and do a Harry Potter stream. Oh my god, I'll, I'll fucking do that in a second. Can we do that for Christmas? Well, That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, that's January. A good so, uh, now I'm gonna be watch because I've never watched Harry Potter. I'm actually gonna be watching the Harry Potter films with Blabs. Ah, oh, you nice. the Blabs. Blabs is who you should bring on for a fucking stream. Yeah, yeah. do a Harry Potter stream. Yeah. Blabs oh, is a fucking expert. That's so. why uh, I, yeah. I approached her to do this. Yeah, so yeah. That's so you're doing that in involved. January? Starting in January. Okay. You know, maybe, and then we're going to watch, watch, watch the movie. Either, and then going to break no, it. You read the, what? As, have you uh, read the book? I have, gonna I have. have it edited down into like, I, you know. Yeah. So one per week. So Ryan, have you read the books? In Orlando. Looks like it. Maybe like an hour long, just blow people's mind. We'll talk about fucking Harry Potter for an hour straight. Just. Just to ruin our so reputation. You, oh, <laughs> you've never, so you've never been, so Gary, but you've never been to, have not you ever Orlando. Been to Universal? I've been to the Universal in LA, but it's like nothing okay. compared to the Orlando. It's about half, it's about half, the Harry Potter land is about half of what it is here in yeah, Orlando. Okay. It, it is incredible in Orlando. Oh, it I is, can't wait. That's what, dude, that's special, the, like the so. first thing I like, fuck horror nights and everything like that. I yeah, want to go yeah. to, I want to go Potter, to Harry yeah. Potter yeah. world. Yep. Let's yeah. go. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Hell yeah. Well, Orlando's going to be awesome. So anyway, shout out to Friday Night Tights and uh, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to all of you later. Bye. Yep. Bye. Hey, Jeremy, Jeremy. What? Uh, fuck you, ass. No, 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 Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going to yeah. say? Hand on heart. Honestly, do you know what I was going to say? Jeremy, I love, I love you, you, man. I love you. I'm glad he wasn't here for that. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Uh, I I think I found I think I found the perfect music that might go with this ending, guys. I think we got to go. The Creed. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> the Briggs of Power came out. And uh, I've got a clip for what Az just said. I am not gay. I have relationships with women. Sex with men. And I got news for you. I need you gay. I love looking at all the little thumbnails of you guys like going, oh. <laughs> Doesn't that just mean we've got LGBTQ plus representation now? Now we're, we're absolutely uh, protected from any criticism. We are. You're our ally, as We are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shielded. Uh, hey. If you attack me, I will fucking destroy your life. We're going to read that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, like, subtle. Just, like, just like a good member of the Alphabet Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> I will destroy your life. I will find your relatives, will, your descendants. I will destroy your life. Their pets. I will destroy, I will destroy, destroy them all. <laughs> I will destroy yeah. everything. It's, your it's kids will never go to school you. again. Never. <laughs> <laughs> they will but never see an education ass or a ass. teacher. You won't be able to shop at your local grocery store because I will fucking end you. I will end you so hard three generations to come. To come. <laughs> in the box. Do not come. <laughs> As you're saying, if you that's that's if you attack him, but if you just like a tweet from Do JK Rowling, that's also enough. <laughs> I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I like that tweet Do from JK come. 16 times. Uh, I wish I could like it a thousand times. It was so good. Uh, Elizabeth Harris, this is two parts for forty-five dollars. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm gonna hit the wrong button again. <laughs> Uh, I felt physically ill after the last episode of The Rings of Power, but listening to you all makes me feel so much better. Uh, I screamed so loud while watching last night that I scared my dog, LOL. So sad <laughs> that it has come to this. Yeah, don't scare the little doggy. Uh, but no, the dog can handle it. Uh, they could have summed the whole season up by just showing Halbrand leaning into Galadriel and saying, Hey, girl, want to touch my darkness? Roll credits. <laughs> <Beauty Yeah. fest. laughs> it would save us a lot of time. Yeah, it would have yeah, saved us a lot of time. Well, Elizabeth, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so correct. Yeah, I was I was screaming last night. My kid was asleep, so I woke him up a couple times. Uh, Freighter, it's part of the job. Uh, Freighter, I can't believe they didn't race swap Sauron. Weird. Oh, the I dark know. no because they the, the right evil's there. guys got to be white right yep you i can't know. do that yeah um and that's why they made him a man and not anatar which is just like when it hit me that we're not getting anatar the lord of gifts like that was it 
it was just one line, I was like, oh, fuck, this thing is really dead. It's really dead. Like It's crazy, and, dude. And, yeah, any Tolkien shill out there that still supports this, your integrity is down the toilet. Not that it was doing great in the first place. Uh, but some people did change their opinions, which after they watched the show, which means they were honest. Uh, not many, but a couple did. Uh, Freighter X for $50. <laughs> hey, Elf and T Lords, not Gandalf versus Nas Girls was the worst thing I've ever watched in the series. By the way, Gary, you called it a few months ago back about Disney wrecking the toxic male. Uh, character of Namor. Yep. Namor. Uh, by the way, where's Namor? I don't see Namor anywhere. I, I just don't he's, see uh, He's uh, no, he's, he's on his Aztec pyramid doing some stuff. Actually, 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 I oh, think... No, no, no. no uh, he's I, he's, uh, his, he's uh, sacrificing children because he's an Aztec. No, he's, yeah, in, yeah, uh, yeah. In, uh, he's yeah. actually in Black Adam. Uh, cause oh. that guy looks, the rock looks more like Namor now and acts more like Namor now than Namor. If you true, look at yeah. Black Adam looks a lot like Namor Samoan in the comic book since for both pointy Namor ears. Anyways. With the ears. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could, you could make a custom Mego out of both, uh, with, if you take a Spock, you can make a, you can make a Submariner or, or a, uh, Black Adam. Uh, Stardust Viking gifted 10 Nerdorotic memberships for $50. Hail. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, like for uh, uh, dude, fucking Namor. I've been waiting for Namor for a long time. So like one of my favorite characters, like pretty much the first like superhero antihero. And uh, I guess I'll still be waiting for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, they might want, might as well have just created a new character because that is not Namor. No, the, the, uh, at all. Apparently. Doctor Doom is going to get either mentioned or introduced in Wakanda Forever. Uh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's going to be sorry. like a Saudi or something. Uh, waiting to exhale too. Um, Who is Doctor Doom? Doctor Doom. Uh. Who knows? It could be Mephisto all over again. You know. <laughs> yeah. Remember, we were going to see Red Hulk at the end of She Hulk too, but now it's Harrison fucking Ford. Harrison Ford. Is that real, Ryan? He's what? like a hundred years old. Harrison what? Ford. That's what the report was yeah. today. I saw it from some reputable sources, but yeah, he's replacing his uh, Thunderbolt Ross, which would be Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's retarded. Boy, he but I don't really know how they're going to do. That. I don't know how they're going to do any of this shit. Like he is, he is so fucking old at this point. I, I find it a little like I think that they're going to do like a, a Planet Hulk yes. like, movie or show of some sort. World War Hulk, like, maybe. Yeah, World War. Like, they're going to do something because they said, the fucking Kevin Robot um, said that we wanted to introduce, they were going to say a character, probably Scar, and then she said, oh, save it for the movie. Mm. Right. Yeah, but they, so have to work, I think they have to work out a deal with Universal, just like uh, with Sony. They could. I mean, it's possible. But Universal owns the distribution rights to the Hulk. That's why he's always guesting. So, wow. Yeah. Still, huh? Well, that's why um, I, I could be wrong. Has anybody called Namor the Submariner? Not that It's very off. odd Not that, that they haven't no. called him the Submariner. Um, they called which, him the Sub Eater. Which is a, I mean, it's derived from Latin, Latin, but not Meso. American, not South American. It's oh, not, yeah, sorry, good yeah. point. I doubt they will. Yeah. <laughs> but they also... The, the, um, by oh, the way... <laughs> that's we have accurate. our rings of power. That's great. The reason they had to change Namor so much wasn't really for diversity. It was a rights issue. It's uh, His rights are messy as hell. Isn't that always a rights issue? Yeah. I mean, it's this is the problem with the MCU at this point, is the fact that everything comes down to a rights issue. Mm -hmm. not, Even with the, not the whole really. Thing not really like that's less an issue now than well, it ever yeah, well i talk been. about throughout the history of the mcu because they didn't have the rights to the x-men at the at the very beginning yep yeah but that's why it was better yeah no i, <laughs> I right. agree with you on you're that. absolutely right uh it, it, it was better back then like they yeah. they had to do they had to build the mcu off b-list characters and they did a which great meant they job had to it. tell good stories yeah. yep. they had no fucking choice yeah and they still like hey uh we didn't even acknowledge that Warner Brothers, the America's dumbest company, did something smart. They brought yeah. back Henry Cavill as Superman, uh, a character Marvel will never have, by the way. And, yeah, and we got three Batman coming and Superman. If they just focus on, I don't know, the, the Trinity, uh, the main three, 
maybe they could save it. I think it might be a little late, but Henry Cavill's back. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. I think it's great. So yeah. hang on, are they going to actually continue on the, with the films that they've already made, like do sequels? In the ones that, that are in production, sure, but I think they're going to, like, they're restarting again. It's going to take yeah. years. It's so, kind of crazy. And the same, like, as soon as this Henry Cavill stuff started to really ramp up in terms of his appearance in Black Adam, which is now confirmed at the end credit scene, whether you want to go sit through two hours of Black Adam to watch. I, have you seen Henry it already? Cavill. It was on Twitter yesterday. It was on Twitter, yeah. But Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, and Gal Gadot were all in L.A. at the exact same time that Ezra Miller was confirmed to be filming additional scenes for The Flash mm -hmm. in L.A. Just putting that out there. Uh, did they, like, lock Ezra Miller into a rehab? I mean, like, 30 days isn't going to be enough for that guy. Uh, he needs, like, behavioral therapy. therapy. Yeah, like, like which mean, is a year minimum. Uh, caffeine riddled beverage for fifty dollars of oh, fifty Canadian pesos to the FNT chat and panel. All handsome, wise, strong to some strong boys. Uh, to the strong oh. boys and ghouls. Ah, yes. Ah, Sunday's gonna be awesome, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm coming to on, it. right? Yes, you are. I think so. Yeah. All right. I'm, yeah, I'll plan. Oh, finally, that'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Bauer for 50 British pounds. That's proper money. Uh, Disparu would know about that. Uh, Am <laughs> <laughs> Amazon has officially petitioned for Rings of Power to be officially recognized as one of the wonders of the world as it's the first dumpster fire that can be seen from space. I'd rather eat French mustard That's with good. my eyes than watch the final again. <clears throat> that was good. That was, that was a good. British... Super chat. I love it. Rest in peace, Robbie Coltrane, man. Mm. Hagrid, he yeah. was dude. he was the fucking perfect Hagrid, dude. Yeah, he was. That's what I said. I, I made a video on my yeah. on my live channel about it. And uh I, in the uh the reunion special that they did on HBO yeah. Max, Ooh. he had this little clip where he was like, you know, the thing about Think about Harry Potter, and you know it's going to be passed on from generation to generation. My kids will be able to show their kids and their kids, and you know I won't be around to see that, but Hagrid will. Hagrid and, will live. Well, on. he knew he was sick. That's awesome. When he filmed that. He'd been sick for like two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, and then and then I retweeted. I was like making all the women cry on Twitter because I I retweeted the Hollywood Reporter because uh, I I looked for this because as soon as that happened, I typed in it's not Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Yeah, already. Hollywood reporter had tweeted out that video oh. and he's just like, fuck bro. Ugh. Uh, it's part of the magic. It is. Magic you know what, uh, Ryan, I have like, I haven't watched that special. I'm going to watch it tonight. I, I wasn't going to watch it cause they, they pretty good. excluded, uh, JK. I was pissed she about is, that. She is in it. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, like she, she has parts in it now it's pre-recorded footage and stuff. She wasn't a part of the reunion reunion, but not a whole lot of people were. So yeah. Tom Felton uh, also supports it, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Tom yep. Felton's cool. Yes, <clears throat> slithering for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, hold on. I know something. A Harry Potter reference. Uh, slithering two points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Good effort. Good well, effort. Well done. Yeah. Wow. Well Thank done. You. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta break out my. I have my. I have my Dumbledore one six scales. My series black. Uh, yeah, wow. so I have. I think Snape. it's about time to do a reread of. The I books, have my Snape, you know? <gasps> dude. Snape's <gasps> ball. The books, dude, you dude, the books are as so much as go. go see, dude, they're so much better. Go see yeah, how much a humble. Snape one six scale hot toys is worth. It's insane. Uh, hold on, the um, the, both of there's a toys McCoy. Right there's a yeah. there's, and then there's a Hot Toys and they're both well right. technically a Hot Toys and they're both worth you know over a thousand bucks. Oh sure. well, because oh. another you know sadly another person who has uh, passed on. Um, yeah. I will go for eight hundred. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Fuck me over, big boy. That's uh, eight hundred. It depends on how much. They, nobody knows what we're talking about. We're talking about limits with one six scales. I I don't go over a thousand dollars, and uh, I can't buy any right now because my wife would kill me. Oh, are you saying how much would you go to to buy one? To buy a Snape? 
a thousand. Yeah. You'd have to buy it for a thousand because you wouldn't find it, find it for eight hundred bucks. Ships in the night. Yeah, just this missing is, each other. This is weird, right? Because I I was thinking about um, getting this. It looks like you got it, which I did end up getting. Which is the, the, the battle the, the battle damaged. Uh, I hate Thanos. that he doesn't have sleeves. I thoroughly that's, hate that's, it. That's uh, I just watch Rings of Power, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen things. You, know. <laughs> you have not seen what I have seen. I um, see She Hulk. And I I was like um and ahhing on it, and then when I decided to pull the trigger on it at Sideshow, uh, gone. Yeah. You've got to join you got to join the waitlist. So I, I joined the waitlist, I've been on the waitlist for ages. And then as having a look at how much stuff Big Chief hasn't delivered. Oh dude, it's uh, it's ridiculous. And they had one in stock. So I got that from Big Chief. And then this which arrived today, I unpacked it, I put it on its stand, and as soon as I did that, an email pops from Sideshow saying, Boom, guess what's come off wait are you uh, an item on your wait list is now available for you to purchase. And I'm like, how, how, sorry, it's a really boring story. I should have started with that. But, um, <laughs> but I just thought, I just thought it was really quick because we were talking about hot toys and I just found it very quick. Well, maybe I'm if you do another hot toys, hot toys, I'll be there. <laughs> so no, I want to summarize well. the story. I wanted to buy a thing. It wasn't available. Then it was the end. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like Rings of Power. power. <laughs> no, it's like the <laughs> Rings of Power. that was the Rings of Power version of the story. Oh, sorry, sorry. This one actually uh, had some details. No, no, no. And, the Rings and, of Power story. It has okay. a better, like, oh, okay. Okay. It's a better story than Rings of Power. Hey, I, I, good, cool hey. story, bro. Um, I'm going to get the Super Chats. Okay. <laughs> Let's, go. Right. Common nerd. Let's go. The Common Nerd for $50. Three, to uh, three chats total. On the stream website, Circa Betting Mama Uh Part one, hail Nerdronic. I want to start off by saying thank you for the inspiration. You're, you're welcome. Uh, but you did it yourself. Uh, to you and everyone in on the Nerdrotic crew, to everyone at Geeks and Gamers, and to everyone in the fellowship, I could not have done it without you. I uploaded my first, wait, I'm going to go down, my first video on this channel January 4th. Uh, on this channel, January 4th, on Tuesday, it hit over 1,000 views. My Rakeda hey, video. Nice. Nice. Well done. Nice. Well done. Nice. Well done. I remember my, a nice milestone. I remember yeah. my first. She was 17. I was 14. It was in you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my first 1,000 uh, view video. Uh, uh, Gary, my my Rakeda video. You were raped. Uh, kind of, but. I, I thought that was going to Joe Biden. I was the same second. thing. She was 17. I was 14. She was 14. I was 30. Oh, what, I know. What, I, oh. <laughs> why is it if that was fucking Trump that said that or oh, Republican no, no, no. that said that, it would be fly over fucking planes, bombing everything? He's old. Uh, Dude, he's a pedophile. He's old, evil, and a pedophile. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. My Raketa video took off. Good. I'm sure Nick would be proud. I grifted off of him for monetization. He would be, to be honest with you. Uh, waiting on the hours to catch up. I should be good to go, as I promised my subs from the beginning. Well, well done. And we got one more. Uh, part three. I will send the link out to everyone in the fellowship. I can find contact info if you have time. Even a five-minute appearance, so I can thank you personally, would be amazing. Hail to the fellowship, and may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. Yeah, I mean, like after uh, in November, hit me up. I'll have to like right now. It's crazy time. Calm down, then. Crazy time. I think I'm going to do a Prager you thing on Monday. That's oh, the really? first thing I'm doing. Really? Yeah, yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. Wow, uh, Michael Plowman. For fifty dollars, not five dollars. Thank you, as you are my superhero. Thank you for suffering not only Batwoman, the Rings of Power, and She Hulk for me and for so many others. Oh, uh, get it for the money. His bank account. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> uh, Pavel Sevic, for one thousand Czechoslovakian pesos. I've started to reread the Silmarillion again after 10 years to wash down the stench of Rings of Power. So many amazing stories tonight. I am having two glasses of whiskey 
One for me and one for Gary because I want him to stay sober. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh. Thank you all. It's a good way Friday to justify drinking more. <laughs> it is. <Yeah. laughs> hey, if that's what you need to do, have that extra glass for me and, uh, and you know, don't become an alcoholic. Okay. <laughs> I'll have one now just to make sure Gary's safe, you know. <laughs> uh, Mark safe from alcoholism. For Ryan. <laughs> Today, today, yeah. uh, Mr. Don't Reed. worry, Gary. I'm sober with you. All right. You. Yes. yes. Right there, man. Uh, Mr. Reese on the Streamlabs side for $100. Wow. wow. Hail Friday yeah. Night Tights. Thank you. Gary, here is some money that for is- suffering through Rings of Power so I don't have to watch this crap. I'd rather re-experience having my wisdom teeth pulled out than <laughs> watching a single second of that abomination Fuck Amazon, fuck the shills, and fuck Jeff Bezos. He had a few said. Welcome. Very well said, yeah. When I hear abomination, I just think of She-Hulk. I think of She-Hulk, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it just never gets old calling She-Hulk an abomination in the title, right? And like, Which I will do on Monday, by the way, on Monday. Perry's, it, uh, um, poor guy's cutting my review, which is the weirdest review I've ever done. I don't think I talked, I think I talked about that show for five minutes. Of, and the rest of the video is just how Marvel is dog shit. Um, well, and basically, you're not wrong. And basically <laughs> saying I was so. right. In my, like, my last video I said Marvel is dying, and people are going, what are you talking about? They just announced Deadpool and Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I'm feeling That's pretty That's why we you know it's dying. Deadpool. He is old. They she don't Hulk understand what you're dying. trying to say. Use I, your noodle, guys. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about that video. It's, it's, it's the only one that, like, might legitimately – we get to a million views. Wow. That'd be my first million viewer. We'll wow, wow, that's wow. kind of crazy. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy that you're at half a million. Well, what are you, like 570 now or something close to that? 570. I think the channel years. passed a billion, Oof. didn't it? Total views. No. A billion? No. No. Mm. no 100 million. 100 million. So. 100 million. Oh, yeah. 100 million. I'm up to 132 million channel views. Yeah, I've only got like 112. Oh, but I only- in seven years I've had one one million view video. I'll take it. I'll take I'm, it. I'm almost at 75 million views. That's good. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, I've right. had I, you know it's wow. okay. I'm not going to say conspiracies, but the three videos that should have hit a million just got cranked ah! down, brushed right at yeah. the last minute, and mm-hmm. you know, like maybe in six I mean, months it'll hit. But <clears throat> honestly, YouTube has changed, and uh, they're suppressing videos a lot more. It was a lot easier to get a million view video, you know, four years ago yeah. than it is now. Oh, well, there, it, when, it they, when they when like, they push your stuff to the actual people who were there was a, you, there. <laughs> I'll find the YouTube video for you guys. The good old days it came out yeah, like a month ago, videos. where a guy <laughs> did. Like to call that on YouTube. I'll find the video for you guys. It came out about a month ago. A guy get it did. A deep deep dive in the code and he found the word suppress like it's all over oh. the place yeah yeah so like, it's and there. there's also just there's also just way more content yep now than there was four years ago you know what i mean with i, I don't know i don't know if the amount of people that are consuming it daily has increased at the same rate as the amount of content creators have i, I don't feel like it has i think there is so, yeah i, think there's I mean there, there's a that. crazy yeah. amount of content that is getting made but most of it isn't getting viewed like, like you know isn't yeah. it uh, only the top like few percent of creators get viewed by nearly 99 percent of the viewers it's like a it's yeah, it's cr- like, like if you're if you have like ten people watching you on Twitch, you're in like the top ten percent of Twitch or something crazy like that. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. tons of people just you know streaming to not a big audience, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. No, uh, but it, it's it is crazy because I like two years ago, if you had a video that got ten thousand, twelve thousand views in the first hour, I think it's hundred thousand views guaranteed, Easy. no problem. Yeah. Mm. Now I, I've had I've had videos get fifteen thousand views in the first hour and only get like. 35 or 40. That's crazy. Total. See, that's crazy. That's, that's not insane. That's insane. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, if and if you get um like a well, half a million views in a day, you should hit a million. Back in the three years ago, four oh, years ago. Yeah. Not, oh, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. Oh well, it's fine. Half a million we're views doing, in a day is fucking awesome, by the way. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking mm-hmm. awesome. Uh Bob Extra Jesper- just found a laser beam. A snot, a snot <laughs> rocket. <laughs> it's my lightsaber. 
That's so, Mark's That's line. your blaster, not your lightsaber. Okay. Oh, sorry. Get it right. <laughs> Go back to school. <laughs> Fake geek girl. Go. Get it right. <laughs> <It's like a laughs> uh, Bob Jester, 28 for $50. Hail Friday Night Dice. Is it too much to think that this could be the justifiable end of... Whoopie in a fat suit, Hulk. <laughs> I, uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, no, I think uh, they'll they'll bring back. Marvel will be the last to the change party. They are going to continue on on this path for a good couple of years until it is just ground into nothing. Kind of yes. like a lot of our intellectual properties, but they are going to be the worst. Trust me. How, like, have the, has the same company, the same parent company? How have they done with Star Wars? How have they done with Star Wars? No, there's no movies right now. The best Star Wars they put out is this boring, inane show with the most uninteresting lead of all time. And that's the best Star Wars they put out. I know. Yeah. And I I, 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 just because you're talking about. I don't know whether you're talking about Andor or The Mandalorian. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Or Boba Fett. Yes. Or Boba Fett. Oh my God. Mm, Forgot Boba Fett. Sorry, didn't you, Az? Andor Everybody is so average. About Boba Fett. Uh, yeah, no, and- but what's interesting, Andor is the best star- thing Star Wars has made in ages, and it's painfully average. But also, with it being the best, no one's interested in it. No, I tried to review that thing, and no one bothered. They don't care. I like. I did a re- uh, episode fuck, yeah. four and five review, probably the lowest viewed video I had in years. Yeah. no one gives a crap. About same, Star Wars isn't on life support. Same, Star Wars isn't just dead. It's been dead. It's, it's mummified. Been dead it's because gone back into the earth. It's gone. When you it's, hit, it's yeah. When you hit apathy. When you finally do something right and you hit apathy. Apathy. Yeah. When Star Wars Theory, the biggest fucking Star Wars channel, he used to get like thousands of people watching him, like watch a TV show or review a TV show. That ain't happening with Andor. It's like a couple thousand, three thousand. It's pretty sad. And he's got millions, with Andor, millions of subs. Did Andor do it right, or did they just not offend the audience? Because I, I watched the first three, and it was so boring. I thought it was But it terrible. wasn't offensive. It mm-hmm. And I think that's what... People are like, oh, it's the best one, just because it didn't attack them. And that's the bar yeah, that yep. we're coming for. It's like, yeah. if you go off how much it entertained you, rather than how good it is relative to other Star Wars stuff, I think you come away with a different That's opinion. kind of the issue, right, is that we've been force-fed garbage Star Wars for such a long time. There are people out there that are willing to accept a mediocre product, and that's yeah. what Andor well, is. It's the same thing with The Mandalorian. I, lo- I love somebody yeah, called I it say, the That's Mandalorian. the Mandalorian to me. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree I, with you, I, Ryan. I think, like, I think that Andor, the first three episodes, I, I do think it was a little boring, but I do think that there was something nice about seeing them – like take their time like building characters and stuff like that I mean, and, and I because get what you're that's, saying. that's not star wars anymore star wars is literally just fucking throw a cameo here and a cameo there like no death no story lightsaber, but the problem was with andor like general. nothing else happened after that four yeah. five nothing else fucking happened apparently mm. episode six stuff happens haven't watched well, it see but... i haven't even bothered watching episode six because it, it's so damn slow it was yeah. like all right if i'm gonna watch this thing i'm gonna do it at least two episodes i might get something um and for me, there's slow burn, and then there's pointless filler. And Andor has yeah. so much pointless filler. Uh, yeah. They could have done a slow burn and still made something you know, much, much better than what they got. This here. goes back to the whole entire issue with Disney Plus. Everything is fucking filler. Yeah, it's filler for the next. They product. don't know how to make television flat no, they out, don't. which is crazy because they own out. television networks, and they don't know how to make television. Uh, I mean, it, you, yeah. like you compare that shit to House of the Dragon, which oh. a lot of us have been enjoying. There is, there is not a scene that is wasted. Nope. There's yes, not dialogue. Correct. There's not a look between two characters that, even if it's not relevant that episode, that it doesn't pay off somewhere like five episodes down the line. <clears> at least <throat> so far, it's pretty fucking incredible. Especially yeah. when you factor in how many characters they've had to balance and probably make some pretty tough decisions about which characters should be talking to which characters at which time because there's so many fucking people involved in this. It's pretty remarkable. It, it I, is. It's te- it's schooling them all, taking them all back to sc- like you know grade one, school back to school, saying this is how you do it properly, and it's just showing it in such a stark contrast how astoundingly crap well, all these. It's other taking are. it and, back to like something even Game of Thrones forgot it was in the later seasons. Uh, 
uh, meticulous, well-written, yet entertaining show, even when people are sitting around and talking. It wasn't just a spectacle, and that's what all these idiots, because they're all superficial fucking morons in Hollywood, saw Game of Thrones for its spectacle and didn't see it for what people actually liked. Tyrion Lannister, Littlefinger, Varys, in the, and then we're talking about the first four seasons. You know, uh, Ned Stark, yeah. uh, Robert Baratheon. We, we like these characters. They, they, that's, that was it. Um, oh, it was too much walking. It was too spread out. People got it. Uh, people figured it out. Uh, 20, 20 million people on average at one point were watching this fucking show. On average. So, House of the Dragons has proved an opinion that I've had for a while. And it might not be the most popular opinion, but I've always said that Game of Thrones did not need as much gratuitous nudity for it to be successful. The quality of writing was good enough for it to stand on its own two feet. And uh, <laughs> I know you, I'm, I might, people might not agree with me, but seriously, like um, House of the Dragon shows that just good quality writing is all you need for that show to just be massively popular and successful. Sorry, as <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I like, like, I didn't. I don't like when you went there. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, now I do I'm think you, you do need point. to address some of that shit. Though you do need to address how, um, like brothels are such just an accepted thing, right? And you like just the, the the type of world and the type of people that you're dealing with and the the systems of how honorable you are. So then when you have a character like Ned Stark, who would never even fucking imagine mm -hmm. getting caught in a brothel or something like yeah, that, you yeah. know, it's important to like make oh, these characters yeah. and, and their moral systems. But oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah, terms I'm of, in terms of just a constant scene, every episode, you're hundred percent right. Yeah. Especially because they just did it for eye candy. They called it sex position because they thought the dialogue would bore people. And it's actually, no, that was really good engaging dialogue and stuff. And I'm not a crazy eye Puritan. I'm against pornography and stuff like that, but I actually do realize that there is a mature use of nudity sometimes in film to actually convey some important things, especially when it's not overly sexualized or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, for instance, I wouldn't call Cersei's walk of shame, pornographic at all no, no. i actually think that's a really impactful scene using a tool to their you know um a narrative you know the, uh, sorry using a narrative tool to their own benefit and and so yeah like uh that's kind of my view on it okay. I, I think sex much like violence should there should be a point to having it in a scene rather than for the sake of having nudity yeah. or violence mm -hmm. Well, I mean, House of the Dragon shows this. There's a, there's actually a sex scene between Alicent and and Viserys, and that actually conveys characterization. It's not pointless. There's a right. lot of point to that sex scene conveying yeah. something quite well, significant about. It makes you you're right. It's nice to make you uncomfortable as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it shows that you know Damon can have kids. So, uh, fifty British pounds from Andreas K. One of my coworkers cried. During episode seven of Rings of Power, he is fucking 23 year olds, 23 years old. He loves the show so much, but hates House of the Dragon. So what's wrong with him? Um, he's retarded. Dude, somebody dropped <laughs> him on his head as a baby. You. Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, someone who has been shown good taste, I guess. I don't know. Bro, yeah. I like I just I just looked up the uh I, the Veyman. I, I just looked up the Veyman scene. Veyman Valerian's last words seen on YouTube just to watch it again. Yeah. And like <clears throat> his dreads that like fall off like the one side and everything. It's God, it's so fucking good, man. It's good. Oh no, I dude, I've watched that. I've I've watched the episode three times already. I'm gonna watch it again. Uh it, it is such a good episode, and dude, I, I love that scene so much. Uh when the but when oh, the king walks episode. when the king walks in, dude, that is the scene of the series. It's <sighs> incredible. Like the, f the what they've done to make you care about Viserys, while at the same time being so frustrated with him. Yep. It's it's really unique and so well done, and a lot of it's tribute to Patty Constantine, of course, but also just the writing of the show. Mm -hmm. Like the idea that you have this guy who you're so frustrated with because he's done the wrong thing a lot. He's made some bad decisions. He's but, so but scared. But he did of it for the conflict. right reasons, though. That's what I love sometimes, about him. You can see. Sometimes, but, yeah. I mean, he has made mistakes, but his his primary motivation in so many things was he wanted peace, peace in his family, peace in the realm. His desire for peace in the realm made him act too slowly to address, you know, the the uh, crab king and all that stuff. And so he did make legitimate errors, legitimate errors. But you see why, and I understand the reasons why, and it just makes me like him even more, even with his mistakes. Uh, I don't think they do enough. Uh, that's one criticism of the show. I don't think they do enough to show you like how how the reign of King Jaehaerys, who was before him, 
Yeah. Like it was like 50 fucked years of over. fucking peace and prosperity yep. and everything went well. Roads got built, fucking aqueduct, like all this crazy shit happened. It was really good. So like he on his shoulders is that. That was the person who came before him. And he wants to make sure everything is good in his reign as well. And he's so scared of any conflict. That's one of the things that causes it. So from, and you know, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Finish your thought there. Sorry. No, and just like finally at the end, he does like he does that for Renera, but it, you know, it should have been done a while ago. And even it, like, he could have even gone a step further there. Like he could have legitimately been like, this is my fucking mm -hmm. Royal decree. Like nobody ever, like if, even if you think they are bastards, they're fucking legitimized. I'm legitimizing them right now. This is the fucking bottom line. Every single person in here should know this. You know, I mean, instead of instead of the steps he took, he still wasn't going to kill Vayman. He was just going to take his tongue out after he said that shit about Romero. <laughs> well, the whole thing might have pushed him to uh, execute him. Yeah, yeah. But he did. He did kind of do that in the confrontation with, uh, you know, the kids in the eye and stuff where he says, if anyone questions the legitimacy of her children, I'll have your tongue. That is to a me, royal that decree. Became, that, that became, became the, the royal there. decree. Yep. And that doesn't yeah. really change until a king dies. Uh, so what George said about Patty, and particular to Patty mm. Constantine for his betrayal of King Viserys, the first of his name, the character he created with Ryan and Sarah and T and the rest of the writers for the show is so much more powerful and tragic and fully fleshed out than my own version in Fire and Blood. I am half tempted to go back and rip up those <laughs> chapters and rewrite them. Please fucking don't finish wins a winner but that's you what he said time okay but but, but hang on good, things to good on, on him for admitting that yep. though yeah right? yep. like that yeah. is a mature thing to do because i loved the betrayal of the Sarahs, and uh, I, I i think that's a sign that he is a very talented writer because he could see the quality in that betrayal himself mm -hmm. to the point where he said it's better than what i did well it's an, and i know it's it, it, Sorry, it's pumping up his own show, and so, you know. It but, is, yeah, but on. it's also an embarrassment of riches if you have George alive there. He just gave, he fleshed things out, and you could you got him on a hotline, and you can call him. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ryan Cadell did call, and he, I never watched it. My wife liked it, said it was good, so he's a competent showrunner, at least. You can say that. Uh, Hail Friday Night Tide, shout out to my fellow Aussie, Shad. My fellow New Zealander, my New Zealand brother, as also, it's good to see some British decorum on here with Disparu, loving House of the Dragon <laughs> and everything they're doing. But did anyone else get a little Nikki vibes when Otto Hightower took the throne? Uh, no, I didn't, but I guess we could patty pee for 100 Australian dollars. Was uh, Rias Ifanzis uh, in Little Nicky? Reese Ifans. No, it's Rises Ifans. Ifans is it. I've only fans. <laughs> it's Rises only. Is that fans. fucking Welsh or some shit? It's Welsh, yeah. Yes. It's yes. not, even, it's not yes. even a language. It's, you guys are from another fucking planet, man. Yeah, yeah it's not a lang <laughs> like, a man other language. Other languages, you can sound like you can understand, like it's written in Spanish or Italian or German. I can figure it out. Fucking Welsh? I had no fucking clue how you say like gibberish. Uh, no, uh, on there with Irish. Imagine if you're like, imagine if you're almost like drunk to the point of being unconscious and had three strokes. That's what Welsh the language is. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon French is pretty up there. They have some really weird pronunciations. I know people can get it if they kind of know the the cues of oh, this do these words sound out that way. I'm not French. Why am I supposed to know how to pronounce their crap? It's, it's a whole language, language that sounds completely stuck up but really like in, a, in an <laughs> eloquent way you know it's great much like it, German, sounds very, sound angry. It, it sounds very beautiful but it the does. pronunciation when you try and read french is like what oh my god french, that, was, that was that was my favorite life french Matrix porn. trilogy was from the second one with the merovingian it was yeah. like of all the yep, languages the best ass. french is yes. the best of cursing it's like wiping your ass with silk yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tender warrior 68 for 100 dollars says rings of power riders have very little creativity. They have none. Uh, they've repurposed so much Jackson movie stuff. In fact, they repurposed how Celeborn and Galadriel met by copying Baron and Luthien and the lore. The writers need to retake the 11th grade creative writing class. They failed. Yeah. Hacks. Wow. Woo. That was, that was that harsh. Was and, and true. Yeah. yeah. Robert McDonald for $100. Says, Gary, 
Here's some grift for you fools. Also, use a couple of bucks for an egg timer and have Quarter Black add a buzzer to your soundboard for when Shad and Ch- uh, Shad the Chad goes on one of his soliloquies. <laughs> so glad she self-insert and Bezos tax shelter show is over for the season. Uh, <laughs> thank God. Maybe for the decade. Who knows? Thank you. Hopefully. Matt G for $50. Says, holy shit, I'm so fucking high. (laughs) 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 And you guys just dropped so many fucking truth bombs uh, about this absolute, uh, these absolute lunatic buffoons. In the first 20 minutes, my mind is absolutely blown away. You guys are fucking (laughs) legends. Hail. (laughs) Yeah, bro. He's asleep already. Yeah, Probably. yeah, Morgan, he's long gone. He is uh, uh, asleep or passed out. Uh, there's, there's going hey, to sleep and waking up. A little. There's going to sleep and waking up and passing out and coming to. All right, that's a, many of us addicts. That's all we did was passed out and came to. Big distinction. Uh, Saber Leo on the Streamlab side, two parts for forty four dollars and seventy four cents. Hail, esteemed ladies and gents. I've been watching most of you for two to three years, and I truly love what you're doing. I 100% believe that you all, especially FNT, is the future of pop culture and entertainment shows for the people by the people. Wow, that is high nice. praise. <laughs> One more. High praise. Shameless and, and plug alert. Uh, talking. I've created a website to help people find you and your content all from one place. Uh, at Co- so it's e h k o u dot com. It's e h k. I don't know if there's porn there. I don't. Go at your own risk. Go at your own risk. I'll go check. I did not vet this. Oh wow. As would you please do some research for me? Sure. <laughs> uh, e h k o u dot com. Would love for you to all check it out. And thanks for doing that. I know. Um. Like people have done that for EFAP. EFAP's brilliant. They got a, a brilliant audience. Uh, mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, if you want to chat more, I am at Saber Leo on Twitter. Hail. Hail to you and thank you. Cool. Richard for $100. Love what you guys do every day. Looking forward to the Orlando meetup, the anti She Hulk meetup. I know you will be busy that weekend, but I'd like to treat you, the whole panel, to dinner or cater food oh one of those nights. Keep up the great work. I don't know, because somebody's, wow. offer, somebody's offering free food. I mean, I like food. I think we got to yeah, take that. got my attention. Who was that again? Pineapple on pizza? That was Richard. Get the uh, fuck out of here. Chris. hope so. Oh, Big Dick. Huh? X-ray girl, shut it. Big, big, <laughs> big Dick wants to give us some food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Big Dick wants to stuff our faces, huh? Wow. Um, Whoa. Gary at Neurotic.com. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) News. Slide right into it. I was was about to say, Az has shown what he can do on screen. Mm Mm-hmm. Didn't you fucking shove a banana down your throat? No, I'm pretty sure she did. Az Az put a whole mic in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It was more. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Five minutes later. So Darren you know, is man, Richard. It's less of a dick thing and more of a stuff in your face for the food thing. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ro- what is this? Rob. I like the that. Data. Perfectly, Gary. Roba. Roba. Roba, Roba Dansom. Dansom. One for fifty dollars. <laughs> and oh shit! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she Hulk is an earnest. If unintentional argument by the writers to repeal the 19th Amendment, they may say they hate nerds, but they really, really hate women. They really do. (laughs) They really hate single women. I think after watching She-Hulk, a lot of women are going to go, you know, maybe I should settle down. You know, not choose a career (laughs) over a family, you know. Traditional. Just Values. reminds me of that video being shared on Twitter where is that girl saying, I don't want to be independent. Yes. Yeah. I want a man <laughs> yes. to look after me. Yeah. <laughs> All I want to do. Oh, women. <laughs> Flashcast yeah, does that, right? For Hail Flashcast. Every time there's a threat of war, if you just go on Twitter, it's a load of people who are like, I'm, I've started baking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wearing aprons, like all of a sudden everybody's got uh, aprons on. Yeah. Oh, the great sheep. Oh, hi, whose dog is that? 
mine. Oh, it's like, God, go smack your dog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up and I slap like, it on the ground. I like they sound it. like chihuahuas. You ever hear like my chihuahuas. dogs? No. My dogs have, know better. I have my dogs are really quiet. <laughs> well, because they're like a thousand years old. They are really yeah. old. And the other one, I, I have a dog. I straight up, I'll, I'll do a video someday of just on Twitter. A dog that thinks they are a cat. You know which one I'm talking about, Garrett. I've got a dog yeah. that thinks they are a cat. I shit you not. I, like the dog would probably go in a box if I trained it. <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> fucking dog in the world. When my wife brought it home. It's, we were going to foster it great, until we found it another home. That was three years ago. Oh. Uh, the great she- fields, man. That's how it works. Oh, in, no, no it's stuff. called manipulating your husband. That's what it's called. <laughs> and they say it's women don't marriage. have power. Oh no, they're like, oh, oh, yeah. the please. <laughs> Why do you think we flew into the sky? Why do you think we went to space? Why do you think we built bridges so we could get <laughs> laid? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I didn't think we built giant skyscrapers that look like big yeah. penises all over the place. We're just bitch. trying to remind women of, the, of penises. Yes. Rockets. Rockets. Giant penis. buildings. Swords. <laughs> it's all. Trains. Yeah, there you go, baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, Swords. <my>. Whoa. <laughs> nice soul. Get a little racy there. Well, I, you, you know, don't, don't forget about the swords, penis. You, you should look. You should look up what the translation of sheath means. We know now, thanks <laughs> oh, to you. Know. We know. Yeah, I think it I means vagina. That. Yeah. Uh, sheep City, the would great. Like to sheep with my penis in your sheep. sheep. The great Sheep City for fifty dollars. What's up, sheep? On the Streamlabs side, Super Ready Mama Susan, my two two one B gear is here. Excellent. Nice. Uh, just waiting on the shirts. Also, the cable to my art tablet shorted out. We'll go to Best Buy. Oh, uh, so I'm drawing on my phone until the new one shows. Oh, he, he doesn't even want to go to Best Buy. He just ordered that shit on Amazon, didn't you? Yeah. You could have just <laughs> drove down the sheep. You could have drove down the street and got a cable. Uh, the manga's seeing a few speed bumps, but the wheels are going to keep rolling. The Iron Age is now. I agree. And hail uh, 221B Tactical. Ryan. Yeah. Ah. yeah, go check out if you want Geeks and Gamers shirts, hats, all the stuff. We got a lot of stuff coming on 221B Tactical. We just did the, um, it was only for a couple of weeks, an exclusive meetup shirt that we did. So that's kind of what the template we're going to go for for a lot of these is if we're going to do a meetup somewhere, whether it's like a Dallas Comic Con thing like we did earlier this year, we're probably going to do a special shirt surrounding that and, you know, do the launch on 221B Tactical and it'll be, hey, two weeks it's up. Uh, Get in while you can, and then it'll then it'll go poof like the fucking McRib. So yeah, but definitely check out two two one B tactical. They got great stuff. The McRib. I've also got an awesome uh, video to share. I haven't watched all of it, but I, I watched half of it. I'm like, we need to watch this on stream. Steven voiceover. See how oh, hail Steven voiceover. Steven voiceover is great. Yeah. Gladriel, look at me. <laughs> you know who I am. Yeah, you're Sauron. I've been calling you that for weeks. Look at the water. <laughs> It's just so fucking retarded. <laughs> <sighs> oh, very clever. Tell me your Sauron without telling me your Sauron. <laughs> um, very terrible secrets. <laughs> Have you been drinking? We all know. <laughs> me, Jeremy from the Quartering, and his amazing video editors, Friday Night Tights crew, the Geeks and Gamers, Lock Yellow Flash. The only people that didn't know are the people in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get yourself a bit of the old ice chalk treat. Come on then. You want some? Bring it. You want some? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yay! It's a happy ending! Yeah, they I like that ending! <laughs> oh, guys! Oh, for me. guys. The sea is always right. The sea is yeah. always right. Oh, the sea go. is always right! right. Uh, That's why it was so fucking weird that Ellen deal stuff. Uh, where it's just like, how did how did he survive? Where, where is his wait? How where is his wife? And she's like, she's dead. She drowned. No, she drowned. drowned. She, she drowned. drowned. And I'm just like, but the sea's always right. Ah. <laughs> she was a bitch. <laughs> Smooth the did DJ. Just, Smooth. Did he just admit to murdering his wife? I think he did. Uh, Smooth the DJ gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. 
Craig Frigenti for $99.99 says, thank you for watching this crap so I don't have to. You're welcome. Thank you for supporting us and being here. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Lamb Chop for $123.45. Very, thank you. Very specific. Thank you for watching these shows so I don't have to. You're welcome. Um, we'll see if I survive and more importantly, if Quarter Black survives because he actually has to watch it slower <laughs> than I do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah, not you can always outsource a quarterback. Dude, one, one more day, buddy. Make one somebody else day. watch it for me. We're yeah. almost there. We, we, we're we, almost there. We're okay. Almost there. We, we're going to have three videos coming out within four days. That's going to be like, Dude, don't ever expect insane. that on the channel again. That's ever. crazy. Talk. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, talk. We're spoiling the audience. We're spoiling. We got Rings of Power. We got one out right now that you can watch right after this. We got uh, the review of Rings of Power on Sunday. And then we got the She-Hulk review on Monday Ba-boom. or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. We're not sure yet. So it's up to the parry. Uh, how do I say this? Crat, Crado, what? Kratos. Kratos. Descendant. Oh, who was taking the piss out of me last week, Gary? Kratos. Huh? Kratos. Who was taking the piss out of me? And then oh, he- I was because I had one video. chance to do it. Give me a break, all right? I'm re- I'm functionally <laughs> retarded, okay? Uh, <laughs> video game character. He doesn't know it. Kratos. Kratos, Kratos. Descendant Gaming Channel for fifty U.S. dollars. I'm sorry. I am a gaming uh, moron. Free normie. Uh, total normie, but I am absolutely playing. Gamer the, adjacent. Uh, what's, the, what's the Harry Potter game that's coming out? Uh, uh, Harry, Legacy. Uh, Harry yeah, Potter? I'm going to okay. be playing that. I'm going to be playing that. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Witcher. Yeah, I'm going to play the fuck out of that. And then every, like, every trans activist that it pissed off, I'm probably just going to buy another one. I'm, so. Me too. <laughs> yeah. just well, I got the collector. I, like, bought the collector's edition. So <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. It looks fucking it's awesome. It's a floating wand, right? Yeah. It's a fully built Hogwarts, man. It's fully built. Fucking awesome. You can go wherever I you want. I hope it's good. Yeah. And Hogsmeade. I'll like it because I I mean I can't compare it's not like I'm gonna go well be a game snob about it. Like if it fucking works, I'll be happy with it probably. <laughs> yeah. You won't know the difference. I won't yeah. know the fucking difference. <laughs> the if it's glitchy, version. I won't know. I'll just go whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think it's a, I think it's a challenge to make a game that y- you feel like you can kind of actually have a, a duel in. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It, it just feels like it's uh, it'd be tough to make a game where it feels natural and like the, the combat flow would be what you would expect from it. So I'm hoping they do I'm it. really if interested it looks in like, seeing I don't how know, they like, use the, like the magic There's a couple system. of games that I think achieve that. If it looks like dual well, fighting aspect. Well, that would be fun. Yeah. But if it looks like, you know, Dumbledore fighting Voldemort, that was fucking awesome in the movie. That was, I was like, holy yeah, was shit. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's kind of what I mean, I guess. It's just like, it'll just be fucking... It, like, there has to be some kind of option for parry, parrying spells, yeah. uh, a couple of kind of protection charms <laughs> and things like that. But yeah. Are they like, going to have, like, a loadout? Can... Like, you have certain spells that you're kind of attuned Probably. to that you have set up, you know, maps yeah. to certain buttons or something? Yeah, like, if you just give me fucking, like, eight spells or something, it's kind of like, okay, gay. Yeah. I, like, I, like I, I don't know. I just feel like you need more than that. Um, well, it depends at least on for, like, for what we would want to do. Well, it, as I mean, doesn't it depend on what year a wizard you are, or do they have that fixed? In I the hope game? so. Yeah. I don't know. I hope so. I'm gonna go. Fu- I'm gonna go slither. I'm gonna go full fucking evil as I can. I'm gonna fuck over every other person. I don't I'm know. Open Slith- the chamber of Slith- secrets. Wait, Slytherins get a bad name. I think I would be Slytherin, and I'm a good well, guy. X- X-ray yeah. girl has to be a Ravenclaw because all the Asians go into Ravenclaw. Yeah, she's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, X-ray girl, what is house. what is your what is your Hogwarts house? What's your favorite house? Raven house. No, I'm joking. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Of course, because you're Asian. That's that's such a a joke because when she was interviewed for the Geeks and Gamers website by Blabs, uh, she said, what's your Hogwarts house? And she says, castle? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. It was word. uh, It was a word association. Word association. So you didn't have to say an actual house. 
What, you, I agree like, with I agree with Chad. I think Ryan's more of a Hufflepuff. No. <laughs> Chad's just Agreed. fucking with me. No, but like I like Ravenclaw. I'm a Ravenclaw's kind of a Hufflepuff. I'd shoot myself in the head. Ravenclaw <laughs> is Hufflepuff's great. Ravenclaw is the God right, House. I have no idea what it's you guys like, are saying. <laughs> yes, they're the God no. House. The the Ravenclaws are the God House. They're like yeah. almost bad, but not quite bad. Ravenclaws? Yeah, right, Ravenclaws. Right, really? like, no, they're the no Ravenclaws are the nerd house. No, they're the nerd uh, ones. Nerd they're, god. Like, dude, you're gonna have Ravens like, for fuck's sake. It's god. Gr Gryffindor is kind of like your jocks. Like, stereotypical your jocks. good natured jock, jock yeah. house. Uh, and there's a lot of people that think that they'd be in Gryffindor. They're really fucking Hufflepuffs because they're yeah, Hufflepuffs yeah, yeah. shit. See, um, I'm going yeah. Hufflepuff because I don't I don't want to be the popular kid. I don't want to be the evil bullies. Right there in the middle. I don't want anybody to pay attention to me. Can you remember you know a single role. person from Hufflepuff? Cedric Diggory. Cedric died. Diggory. He's yeah. dead. Hannah Abbott. <laughs> She's no. first in the alphabet. Right there. So. Right, right in the middle. Her. I think it's wrong to everyone think that Slytherin is automatically evil. I reckon I'll be in Slytherin because I have boundless ambition. I'm confrontational. I'm critical and things like that. Uh, and uh, and so I'd probably be a Slytherin if I was in the thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm Connie, not, I, ambition. I, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are all characteristics associated with Slytherin. Pursuit What's of power, happening? racist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's only you, Ryan. Well, uh, there, there was a witch or like was bad that weren't in Slytherin. I also find that hard to believe. I find it really yeah, hard to believe that there's not a single bad witch or wizard. Like, look at treasure. fucking Peter Pettigrew, that cocksucker. Yeah, like, come on, yeah, freaking yeah. Gryffindor. Yeah, he was wasn't he? Gryffindor, right? Yeah, yeah, fucking. So I, I don't want to besmirch the good name of Hagrid, but he was wrong. Uh. <laughs> uh Thanks for watching this stuff so I don't have to, says Grumpy Ficus for $50. I hated Grumpy Ficus. The X-Filed Thackeray for $50 as well, says reading the Cimmerillion again for the fourth time. Thanks for this show. I haven't watched it, but friends are and ask me questions all the time. Unfinished Tales again next. Yeah, well, neither the Silmarillion or the Unfinished Tales have anything to do with this show. At all. That's a good thing. Lance Johnson for 50 euros. Why are you Elrond? Why are you Elrond? <laughs> Why are you Elrond? <laughs> Heiko Suvar, Suvorg. And there's, a, there's a umlaut in there. Suvarg? Uh, for 10 euros. Says, hail for Friday Night Tights. Greetings from Estonia. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. I was actually awakened by The Last Jedi. Went to the cinema. Liked it. Started thinking about it, went again and hated it. Rings of Power sucks many donkeys. <laughs> House of the Dragon for the win. I love a sucks many donkeys. I'm going to say that a lot now. Hail Estonia. That's You're awesome. a donkey. Warwick for $50 on the Streamlabs side. We just posted our first hobby roundtable for Legion Cast, a Horus Heresy podcast. Did I say it right that time, 40K nerds? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, check us on Apple and Spotify. We are starting to get an episode out every two weeks. Hail Friday Night Tights and hail to the fellowship and hail Warhammer 40K. Okay. You guys are proper nerds. I was watching. I would love to get into it at some point. Uh, Maybe it in retirement sink, when we dude. didn't have to YouTube. Uh, as you guys did a great job on Sargon's channel with, uh, with the nose. I was watching you a little while. I, I don't want to get into like the the collecting and building. I want to get into the lore of it. That's yeah, what yeah. I want to get books, into. Maybe books, awesome. the books, and uh, yeah, yeah. That that painting, that the small stuff. Yeah. Like I'm no, love it. Your figures would have to be this big for me to paint them, okay? Because I couldn't see any of that shit. <laughs> they got just, those. Yeah, my, my like fine yeah. motor skills haven't like my handwriting is the like, same oh, as the muscle. Oh, it just fell off. You're awesome. Uh, yeah, my, how, your handwriting? my handwriting and my like fine motor skills are the same now as they were when I was in third grade. So I don't think that'd be best for me. Sorry to hear that. What well, sucks is like I I can paint and draw, I, I can illustrate all day long, but not on something small. Oh yeah, you could. I think you can do it. No, it's just layers, man. You're muted. Dude, as you're muted. muted. Oh, you're Magnifying muted. glass. When I was drawing my comic, when I was in my late 20s <laughs> I, ha I had my glasses and i had a that uh, you know that big magnifying glass that you hook to your yeah, draft yeah. table yeah i was using that and like drawing with that thing i like uh, it's bad you can, you can use that to paint 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd have to be the size of a. I got one right there. You know the 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 telescope at Palomar Mountain in San Diego. That's how big it would have to be. Oh my god! And the lens that used to be the it's biggest like, lens in the world. It's not anymore, it's like but it thick. was. It's like this. It's, thing. That, that's what it had to be. As you were saying something, no. No. Were you no. just gonna sit there and be mute? Oh great. Okay, <laughs> in Aquaman for fifty one dollars, oh, three parts. You, you muted me, so I'll stay mute. I didn't mute you. <laughs> I did not mute you. I didn't mute me. It wasn't me. It wasn't, wasn't me. X ray. Somebody mute no. me. No. I, I was petting Joe, uh, Rocky the entire time. You were petting so Joe. You said no. You didn't. You said Joe at first. <laughs> I was about to say Joe. Joe. I mean, just your boy. Uh, yeah. This is the Chihuahua. Yep. Say hi, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say hi to the rest it's of us. Fuck puppy. you, dog. <laughs> um, and knock my mom for fifty-one dollars, three parts. Uh, P1, I'm spending my time with my grandparents. Good. Spend some time with G Ma and G Pa. Uh, yeah. My grandpa is on his way out. Oh, I just wanted oh. to say that uh, as hard as it is, I wouldn't trade a second despite the pain I feel now. Family is the most important thing in the world. Being there is my duty. Yes, absolutely yep. is, my friend. Um, time is precious. Yep. That's why the anti-masculine, anti-family messaging in She-Hulk and Rings of Power angers me so much. If my family had these values, I wouldn't be there for them, and they wouldn't be here for me. I'm bro- uh, if I broke down and I cry, it would be worse for my grandmother, not better. Uh, true. Uh, these Hollywood weirdos can shove it up their ass. I'm grateful all the time that I have time with family despite our various political disagreements. I will continue to be there for them, be the man they need me to be. Fuck modern Hollywood. God bless family. I agree. Well said. Well said. Uh, Hollywood ain't going to keep you warm at night. Your career ain't going to keep you warm at night. Um, and, uh Yeah. It's men fences. I, like we all have estrangements. So I've got them. Yeah. We all have estrangements. Uh, but you know the core. Of, you, you'll be there when you need to be, no matter any estrangement, right? Just why I think that uh, scene where the king oh, walks goodness. down. Uh, yeah. Oh. Despite his heavy pains and all that, that was like so so touching because, you no. Know. Mm. The, the fact that that crown scene was ad lib. It's crazy to me. Crazy. <laughs> like, but you can see then, where they cut it. It's right. So the crown you, did you could fall. because yeah. it, like he's kind of next to him. Then all of a sudden he's behind him in a weird yeah. way, you know, like, so you can see that, but the fact that that happened and then Matt Smith, just Matt Smith and Patty just rolled with it. And it was the perfect thing. And Damon's entire attitude from the moment they walk into, uh, what essentially is almost a crypt before he's even dead. You know, his everything's cobwebbed up and his little uh, his little fucking 40k sets all cobwebby and shit. Yeah. And he can't even look at his brother. No. Like like he could he was so uncomfortable and he refused to like actually look at him like how bad he was. It was just trying to explain what was happening. Um Damon hated seeing his brother like that. And it's, uh, it's brutal. Uh, it's fucking brutal. And I'm sure like everybody who ever had somebody die of cancer like just knew like what that's like. And yeah, you have to, I mean, it's fucked up, but you got to force and, yourself to look, you know, in those and, situations. And the, fact that, and the fact that every single scene, I, I don't think there was a single scene where uh, the series good part of his face that wasn't rotting, wasn't towards the blacks or Renera and Damon. And then the rotten side of his face wasn't towards the greens, Allison, Otto. Really? Like at the dinner scene, it's like that when they're on the side of the bed, Renera's on his good side. And Allison, even when she does reach over to like give him the stuff, she's on his rotten side when he's like mistaken oh, yeah. for and everything. And he's like, the realm. so much fucking symbolism. And he's the realm. There. Yes. Wow. He's, he's himself. He's the, uh, mm-hmm. Viserys torn up and the realm torn up. It's, it's wow. Mm-hmm. It's like genius storytelling. Uh, you know, you don't see much it, that these days. It, it, no, you don't. You don't see multiple symbolism where it matters to the story and not somebody's personal politics of the day to match some fucking ESG score. 
or personal and, vendetta against you. And, and, uh, yeah. Well, right, it speaks right. to universal values. That's what's resonated with um, uh, game. Uh, sorry, uh, House of the Dragon, and that's what Hollywood has forgotten about. Their values yes. is all this woke, progressive propaganda uh, agenda crap that they want to force into you. You know, uh, masculine, uh, traditional masculinity is sex and all that crap. That's their messaging, and people hate it. But when you latch onto something that is actually true that has deep resonating truth to it these universal truths like the importance of family and all that stuff which is what house of the dragons did man it hits you in the feels and like my mm -hmm. favorite scene is not only that scene in the throne room but his speech to his family when he and uh, yeah family is important they had massive you know um uh, estrangements and he was just pleading with them with all his heart to put aside their grievances if not for the crown for the sake of this old man who loves you dearly what an ah yeah. oh, what an amazing line i bloody yeah. love and it. and then and they even and he finally that snaps his fucking wife and his fucking daughter <laughs> into realizing all this shit like we shouldn't have been doing this right mm -hmm. we, we need to fucking mm -hmm. like we need to come together, but it doesn't matter because they have instilled that shit in their kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. Their kids don't understand the significance of it, but yes. they are the ones that taught their children that. And it's yes. too fucking late. Too late. Yes. Steve C has gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you. Lance Johnson. Not that Lance Johnson. The other Lance Johnson for 50 euros says Odin looked. He did. And then he left. <laughs> Eric Miller for $50. We built the nerd and geek fandom and they came and kicked us out. The woke are the modern day colonizers conquering anything and pop anything popular and bringing it back uh, to what they want to talk about. These people are uninteresting and so are their stories. And that's why they'll lose whatever they quote unquote conquered. Uh, great. Unfortunately, we lose too. Crazy Tiger person, $50. Gary, the Lord of the Rings. The War of the Rohirrim is coming in two years. And now we all know that the Rings of Power is also coming in two years. That's right. They will be up against each other. George mentioned that last night. They'll be released in the same year. <laughs> I promise you I know one will be doing better than the other. And I am I am looking forward to the War of the Rohirrim. It's gonna, I think it's going to be cool. Could be wrong, though. Uh, Bradley Burnett gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. WG has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you. <laughs> Butternut Smash for $50. You are killing it tonight. Don't stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ask, we just honor your wishes. Uh, we honor your wishes. Uh, but no, I'm not going to stop until I'm uh, dead or 60. Hopefully I hit 60 first. Wow. <laughs> so cynical. I, and you fucking told me off the other day. What? Oh, dude, I don't, I didn't express any interest in, no, I want to be around, but like, I just, I don't want to be talking about like woke ass Hollywood when I'm 63. That's all I'm saying. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll tell when you why. I'm I'll 64. tell you why. Yeah. When I'm 64, I'm going to be like in a, Fucking motorhome with Mrs. Nerdrotic driving around. When I get older, losing my hair. A couple, a couple of years from woke. now. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Guerrera for 50 Canadian pesos. I get this show being so sad, but I don't get the lack of even attempting to adapt Tolkien. This should have been they didn't. Kella Brimbor's <laughs> yeah. Anatar. And our Farazon story. Our Farazon, the golden, is such a cool concept. Not even to try to adapt it. Um, yeah, because they suck and they're liars. They aren't these big Tolkien fans. They probably read the books. You can go, you could fucking learn Elvish in a year. Take a little course, learn some Elvish. I think they're bullshit artists because I heard the same fucking shit from these clowns with Star Trek. They said the same yeah. exact shit, and they made Star Trek Beyond. Okay, so which was garbage, not as bad as In the Darkness, uh, which they had something to do with, but they couldn't even get a credit Oof. on that piece of shit. Max Power. That was that was so fucking. Yeah, Max Power for fifty dollars. Says you all are still going after my nap. Never stop what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Thank you. 
WG for two hundred dollars. Which damn WG? Wow. Oh, WG. Um, WG's uh, and WG's bringing like yeah. a bunch, and I mean a bunch of door prizes. So wow. I have to bring in a bunch of door prizes. So we got to figure out. Uh, Melissa has a good idea for that. She'll wow. probably contact Steph, my nerdy home. If you're out there, that's who she'll talk to. Uh, hail Friday night tights. Here's uh, one for the road. See you magnificent bastards in Orlando. See you there. Oh my God, Marksman. I love you, Marksman. $55, a nine part super chat. Wow. Jesus. Wow. And that's going to, that should be it. Right? It's quarter past three in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's- the, there's a nine part and then a six part. <laughs> There's a nine oh, wow. part and a six. Marksman. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, all right. Nine parts. Is it about rings of power, Marksman? Or <laughs> that's that's <laughs> all right, here we go. <clears throat> you ready? 16 part super chat. Did I get that number right? Or 15? It's 15, right? <laughs> six plus nine is 15. Thanks for doing my math for me. X ray goo. Um Damn it, Az. I tried to help you, but you keep making it worse. It started wow. with tits, then trans tits, then ha- you hated fucking you you hate you hated fucked chickens. What the fuck's going on, no, Az? I don't, I don't know what that no, meant. No, you hate fucked chickens. You Did hate you? fucked chickens. I don't oh. no no <laughs> no. That's why I was so confused. What? No, no, I no, okay. <laughs> He basically said, <laughs> "As he right. fucks chickens." No, I want to hear the rest of this super chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I want to. I want this story like really in short. Miss, in Miss Survival, okay, brief, brief, brief. Miss Survival got myself a nice little base, which is one of those like watchtowers when you're in the woods, you know. And uh, a, a chicken got on the roof, and I couldn't get uh. to the chicken because it has overhanging areas, so I couldn't get to the chicken. So this this chicken is literally fucking ba-bap, ev- all fucking day every day. When I'm in my base, the only time I get no fucking rest is when I leave the place. But I'll come back and I'm tired and I've been fucking chased by zombies and I'm low on ammo and I'm hungry and I got this fucking chicken on the roof going. Bah, 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 bah. So I ended up having to move furniture out of my house to climb onto, to get onto the roof, to fucking shoot the chicken with the last bullet that I had in the fucking game. So the chickens, I didn't even fucking take the body. I didn't even fucking, I left it, left the body. You didn't eat and it. Then, no, I kicked it off. I, a couple of days later, I kicked it off the roof. And then ever since then, every, the chickens just, they, they're after me. Well, they should be. You murdered. So I'm just, I'm just going you around. Murdered, I'm fucking committing chicken side. You murdered the father of all those chickens. And they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're going to avenge you. They're all coming back this to get you. sounds like Disperu right. and ferrets. Uh, then yeah. you hate. Even had, <laughs> they actually, Sorry, yeah. okay. I even had. <clears throat> Uh, I want the next 14 parts. The person please. of the channel who sent me a chicken oh in the God. post. <laughs> <laughs> is that your love chicken? <laughs> this is this is snowflake. Now you're chasing. <laughs> now you're now chasing. Now you just need safe space. Now safe space. you're chasing after well, no, more. No, it's not okay. a safe space, X-ray girl. It's a safe place. If you've no. watched the fucking playthroughs, you know what I mean. Big difference. <laughs> Big oh. difference. Now you're chasing after large chicken tits with cocks. <laughs> it was last Friday. Don't worry. Don't you try and deny it. Um, uh, are you doing trans furry on us? As Shag called it, ra- Shag called it a rabbit hole, and he was right. <laughs> but he couldn't imagine how deep this goes. There's oh, no I rabbit at the end. But considering the direction, we may find a gerbil. Others have reached out to me. <laughs> hey, I'm not what's he called, uh, Richard Gear. Uh, others have reached out to me, and what they have found, well, all I will say is the path was long and trans. But to be fair, <laughs> that Tifa cosplay became trans after the fact, so she doesn't count. Frankly, I'm very concerned. How long before you, Tifa sex doll, becomes w- uh, comes with it? Your Tifa sex doll comes with an extra part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if you don't get help soon you'll fall into a hole so deep that only a trained swordsman like shad can safely navigate it and i don't think that's one tunnel he wants to explore more of a job for femrond or trans witch gerbil hunters extraordinaire wow 
Uh, I don't know what I can do to uh, help you, but I can at least give you the advice. Take the Tifa sex doll out of your online cart or at least remove the penis. (laughs) (laughs) Now, before I go, I still have to address some controversy I apparently caused. Right. Yes. People saying I went too far calling X-Ray Girl a calculator. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Two things. I treated it, it's capital like IT, with the proper respect and owned, wow. that's capital too, object deserves. Second, I live in a neighborhood that's 90% Asian, so I say this from years of experience. All right. Are you in San Francisco, Marksman? Uh, The calculator is every man's dream and every dad's annoyance. A bimbo Asian will still retain their medical skills, but having their account skill accounting skills becomes destabilizing, meaning they can no long they can no longer do their dad's taxes for them. She's the dream. (laughs) Oh my god. Don't believe me? Look at Mark. The man is missing a leg in Canada and married. (laughs) <laughs> he should be the most miserable motherfucker alive. Yet he's the happiest man you'll ever see. <laughs> and why is that? Just watch a self build, shelf building stream and you'll understand. <laughs> wow. That came back around and it was a positive story. It really did. Yeah. Calculators Thank like Carson. Calculators like X-Ray Girl have become unicorns now, which makes Mark one lucky bastard. Mark, I know you're watching. Don't forget to give your calculator an occasional pat on the head. Not too many can't have these calculators thinking they're people after all. Oh, my God. (laughs) And then it went right back. (laughs) back. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right. X-Ray Girl, a.k.a. Calculator. Got it. Pretty cool. Bop, bop. Marksman, now. Marksman's back for a si- just a short one this time. Six parts for $60. <laughs> Streamlabs tried to cut me off. So I had to send the rest of the second round of donations through YouTube. X-Ray, they should be in your DMs. Guess YouTube is taxing us today. Oh, well, Rings of Power went down in flames, and it's been a good day. Part two. Thank you for the crap. Uh, thank God this crap is over. I need some good shows to flush the shit out. Thankfully, one that recently started is an anime called Akiba Made War. And it's M A I D War. Uh, follows a fresh out of the high, high. Oh, follows a fresh out of high school girl uh, going to get a job at a maid cafe. Feels <clears throat> like a slice of life show in Japan, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't sound normal. Uh, girl has no experience with the maid industry. Everything seems normal when we get to see this poor girl traumatized when she watches her coworker gun down the entire staff of a rival maid cafe during what was supposed to be a simple delivery errand. Yeah, that sounds like Japan to me. Maid cafe gunning each other down. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Uh, the show's premise. Yeah. What if maid cafes in 1999 took themselves so seriously they were operated like the Yakuza, gunning down their opposition, <laughs> firebombing each other? Uh, do fucking do Japanese people just sit around and think of what if scenarios that are just yeah, insane? Anime is crazy. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you do all day? Uh, they, they didn't think what if atomic bomb. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, well, they might get a check. They might get a second round of that. Like the rest of us uh firebombing each other's cafe and even selling each other into slavery all to be the what? best made cafe around my god this sounds amazing what? now <laughs> our, the poor, very best. our poor protagonist <laughs> just wanted to work for a cafe not knowing that maids are basically gang members who will break your nico nico kneecaps for passing out fill flyers on the wrong corner the dichotomy of tone surprisingly plays well off of each other. It's over the top. At, yeah. Oh, oops, I didn't no shit. That. It's over the <laughs> Just top. Reference Nick and Nick and kneecaps. Uh, it's over the top and hilarious. Because... <laughs> so Mark's <Marksman. laughs> It's over the top and hilarious because of how seriously it takes itself. Hooked after one episode. I highly recommend it. Shad, you've had many mental breakdowns this, the last few weeks. Give it a try. You need some humor before you bash your head in. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> well, the House of the Dragons has been helping me. It's been recover. helping. Was that it? Was that it? Fun day, fun day. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my. Okay. We got to go now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I will be doing. At, next week, I'll be doing square up. I tried. I got half of one done. I can. Uh, I haven't slept very much. So um, I was up till 430 this morning. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah I fucked. was too. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> So we're going to go. But thank you to the Modrotics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You helped keep the lights on. Thanks to all our hosts that bailed on us early. Fuck them, actually. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. I love them. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> well, Jeremy's probably st- uh, competing on a stream right now. Uh, th- he just wants to play video games. That's all Jeremy wants to do is play video games now. What a punk. Does he make like mm-hmm. content, Ryan? Some. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. As long as he's still making content, that's good. He's yeah, dry- fun playing video games. I like. I wish there's I could. so much garbage out there, and he doesn't. He hasn't really watched House of the Dragon at all. He wasn't really engaged with the first episode, so I think he's gonna like binge watch it at the end because he likes the binge model. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so he's playing video games. And they're having fun. House I, of- however, thrive on negativity. So uh, <laughs> no video games for me. Yep. Uh, all right, so we'll go around the horn. We'll start with Comics Division. Go! Oh, boy. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Comics Division. Follow me on YouTube and the Twitters at Comics Division, and you can also follow my new channel, which I renamed to Current Year with Ian e K., uh, where I talk about prepping politics and occasionally pop culture as well. Um, and, of course, there's Prep? my regular channel. Monday, you're on yelling... Sorry, what? You're into prepping. Oh fuck yeah! I do. I am interested. Oh yeah, he's he's. Oh, comics oh. division is like the massive black pillar. He loves. <laughs> I would dude. say a black dude. pillar. I want to learn how to make some pemmican. You know, pemmican? like yeah. I, I, it's my awesome. life. One of my life dreams is to be a full on yeah. prepper. Rimbled. I want to build a, like, a awesome. compound that's self sufficient and all that. That'd be great. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm working on. It. I ha- I have the ranch. Um, that's not terribly far from where I live. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, if things got really bad, I could walk it. Uh, but, um, yeah, the goal is that if things get really bad, I just go out there and grow my own food. Uh, but yeah, I, I've gotten to the point where I even have a freeze dryer in my garage where I'm freeze drying. Do you have a two, nice. like a two stroke engine, a motorcycle, something that doesn't require any electricity to start I'm working on that. Got to work on that. Yeah. Electromagnetic mm-hmm. pulse, dude. Yeah. And, yep. Um, you have a water cycle? Cycle? I, like seriously, that's why I have the, the bug most... out bag, and I can actually walk to the ranch in basically five days. Yeah. Uh, preppers are the most sane people in the world. Yep. I love them. They they're gonna be the ones who survive. Oh, dude, watch yeah, tremors. Yep. Watch tremors. Sense. Okay. <laughs> that's like prepper one hundred and one right there. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and and that's why I moved well, here. I know if there's a mushroom cloud outside my house, I'll probably just fucking eat it. <laughs> wow but anyway monday on yelling at park cars i got carrie smith on it's gonna be a good time looking Ooh. forward to it that's why i moved to yeah. san antonio so i can move to comics division's prepper house <laughs> <laughs> you see the mushroom cloud and you're like oh no call comics division comics division sorry about all those short jokes let's go if you need to uh quarter black hair Hey, my name is Quarter Black Garrett. I have a channel named Quarter Black Garrett. You can find me there. On uh, Sundays, we like to play some games. This Sunday, as an I, since X Ray is too important and can't show mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. we are going to go bust some ghosts in Phasmophobia. <laughs> it's going to okay. be dope. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Poor right guys. after this stream, uh, I'm going to be playing Left 4 Dead 2 with. Who am I playing with? Ords Board. Or we're playing some Left 4 Dead 2. 420 Ords. Uh, 420. Be- <laughs> yeah, hopefully he's uh, he's around. Okay. Uh and look. Get some guys, sleep. Guys, if you get to get to Orlando, because I want to see all of you. Mm-hmm. And I, look, I'll, I'll I made these. Let's, I made get, some let's get some butter beer, dude. I want to get some butter beer with y'all. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh. You guys remember Pogs? Mm-hmm. No, I, I made them. I was too Pogs. old. I do remember Pogs. <laughs> I remember from my 20s. I got some pogs and I made them for Orlando. So I remember slammers. I'm yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones I care about. Fuck those. I don't have them yet, but they're ordered. They're on their way. I remember pogs from pogs from my 20s, dude. I wasn't even a kid when that shit came out. Yeah, dude. So I'm ready to 
ready to give them out to people. So good. I'll see you there. And uh, thank God this God awful show is over. Oh my God. Only one more day. Amen. Of sitting in my room with the lights off. I didn't know you felt that way about just, Friday Night uh, Tights. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Oh, dude, what over, did we man. talk it's been about my whole before brain for the last like, month straight? <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Wakanda forever. Marvel will always do something dumb. Hollywood will always do something dumb. As long as the yep. sludge. And Am Amazon yeah. is going to be doing so much damage control to try and mitigate this disaster. Yep. They'll fail, but I'm going to be watching what they're going to yes. try. Yeah, we're out. watching the, the aftermath. Oh, for sure. and, and so. people might be ready to talk. We'll just oh, let it The A's are all good. Huh. People might be ready to talk. Maybe get some behind the scenes of what's really going on. Hmm? Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, yeah. Let's go to X-Ray Girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's why I picked you. You didn't look ready. You looked like you were zoning out. Uh, here is a shirt. I want to sell um, the profits from these go tit shirts are going to go towards uh, breast cancer awareness. Um, most likely it's going to end up being the breast can or the cancer society. And so if you are looking to get a shirt, go to flagrant triggers and get a shirt. Support. Breast go cancer. tit. Go, go tit. tit. We love go the tit. Clearly after tit. watching this uh, stream. <laughs> we respect the tip. We had a bit it of a theme. Like a double standard that women can get away with wearing a go tit shirt, but if a guy was wearing around a shirt that said go penis, they'd just think you're gay. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. double standard. Yes, they would. <laughs> yes, they would. <laughs> would you like me to make a go penis? No. I no, told no, you to do that. No. Actually. I said you no, need to have gotta both be, sides. It's got to be go. Go tit and then team peen. Team peen. <laughs> team peen. Yeah. Pee life forever. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <sighs> Ryan Kennel. Um, go to 221B for Geeks and Gamers stuff. Um, on Tuesday night's main event, we will be premiering the first trailer ever for the Epic Verse, I do believe. So that's going to be really cool. Josiah and Mike and those guys have been working on stuff and. I can't wait to see it. Uh, I may or may not have gone up and visited those guys for something as well. So I'm really looking forward to the Epic Verse and what they're looking to do with some independent stuff. That's awesome. Big shout out. I was up in Nashville the past couple of days. Shout out to Rumble and Truth Social and for John Rich for putting on this incredible event at his house. Um, it was a massive party. A lot of cool people were there. Got to meet a lot of neat people. A lot of people watch this show, guys. Um, a lot of people in all aspects of content creation, entertainment, political, a lot of people know FNT, a lot of people know Nerdrotic, Geeks and Gamers, everything. So it's all good, but that was a blast. So big shout out to those guys for having me up there. Yeah, awesome. thanks for having him up there. No, it's all right. <laughs> I, there's a Johnny oh. Cash Museum in, in Nashville. I got to go now. Now I got to go. Nashville's awesome. I love yeah, it. Yeah. It's yeah. like... Uh, you just you just walk Broadway and you just get fucking hammered and uh, eat barbecue barbecue yeah, barbecue oh, I can eat I love Boom. barbecue barbecue Great. I can eat hot chicken uh, spe yeah. speaking of hot chicken as what okay. what what quarter black said love you chat I'm done <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> so synced cool. It's a synced. We love our New Zealand brother. We really do. I said do. what I said. Yeah, you said we got what so you much said. diversity <laughs> here. We do. <laughs> we do. Uh, Disbrew is about to hit 100,000, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Nice. The link is in the description. Uh, I'm sure he'll hit it in the next video. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, plug whatever you like. Oh uh, yeah, Disper on YouTube, that kind of feels a bit like the end of an era. I've covered Rings of Power for so long at this point, and it's been such a crazy journey that, uh, to hear the end of it, especially, it was weird that it uh, kind of arrived at the same time as She-Hulk, they both ended the same week, and my last two months of my life have just been like, Rings of Power, so, uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen from this point on. Uh, I know, what I do know is, uh, 
Uh, you can follow me over on uh, Twitch as well, Disbrew, largely because I want to stream Overwatch 2, and I don't want that much swearing on my YouTube channel, which is about all the expletives that it's just... Me, me playing Overwatch is just a stream of rage. So if you're interested, you can go do that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, for anything else, I'm going to uh, obviously cover sort of the fallout and uh, see what other topics come up. Especially the end of Doctor Who is going to be an interesting that's, one. That's, that's it's right <laughs> around the corner, baby. Uh, we got House of the Dragon ending, which has been, been a wonderful gift for this channel. And, yeah, uh, Doctor Who is coming. But, like, what happens, Disparu, is things level out. Don't freak out. Uh, and I know you won't, but, like, it's that's what YouTube is. It's just this. That's all it is. So you enjoy the highs when you're there. Don't get too high. Don't get too low during the lows. You'll be fine. Or maybe you'll oh, well, just keep going up. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, with me at this point, it, I can still remember getting 100 views a video. So it, it's not like um, yep. it, it's that that out of 10 number. That's what gets you. But once the 10 are out, then, you know, that's um, true. I just kind of ex I Th that's 100 percent true. You can have a good month and you get a 10 out of 10 video. That's like better than your average one. You're like, fuck this shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 dude, the next two months are going to be brutal. They're just going to because for I mean. For all of us, because we're not going to be making as much content, and YouTube is so like you're. I'm going to be making seasonal. just as much. Uh, oh, there's going to be a lot of political <laughs> content. To a make. video, I know that's not you though. A video that like that starts like will like, would be a banger video. Will just look really average for a little while. It, it goes away. It, it it levels out. So yeah, I don't care. I don't give a. <clears throat> well, ad, ad revenue is fucking awesome towards the holidays. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's great. Trying to always trying to sell you shit. It's great. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a little break, but our big break will be in January when we're seriously taking... I'm taking a week off. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to do nothing. Week. Oh, a well, week. To. Yes. Seven fucking days. I'll, I'll do it's, Friday night. It's tights, necessary, but, man. Yeah. People can Yeah, you got to take a break. Really. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, screw yeah. it. And, it, and I know that, like, it feels like, oh, if I stop, it'll all come crashing down. Like, it's okay. You can take a little I've bit I've taken break, 14 days between videos all the time. It's fine. Yeah. It's Mahler takes a different Gary. Mahler takes a year. Okay. Shad Swordsman, 300k man. Look Dude, I we've we, like we've shot past that 300k on uh, the enemies of self graphic novel. We're up to 307,000. Damn. The moment. And th that's that's gone Damn. up like three thousand just during the time of this stream. So that's insane. That's brilliant. And uh, I'm wondering, like, oh, oh my goodness, I wonder because we've still got two weeks left on the campaign. We might reach four hundred k. That would be in, that would that would. Wow, wow. You guys are already like uh, top ten yeah. Indiegogo campaigns of all time. We're I think. we're we're in the top ten, I think now of uh, the most successful Indiegogo campaigns uh, of all time. Comic books, yeah, yeah. Comic That's books, nice. Yeah. Comic books specifically. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Makes me really excited. Like I said, I've, uh, uh, we're already working on um, uh, the plotting out for volume two of Sh the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel series, and I've been st sitting down, starting to. Uh, piece together the story elements and everything for my my star wars uh replacement series i'm nice. excited about that Good. um and i want to push that to places because after i, I i'm probably going to do a trilogy of like really distinct kind of film length art <laughs> graphic novels in that and then i'm going to try and bring on writers to do additional stories in this universe to really expand and grow it out and uh, the, i i had this idea of trying to make a new star wars back when uh, last jedi and um uh, and uh, uh rise of skywalker came out because it's Star Wars, look at andor freaking star wars is dead it's so crap now and uh and so I actually, you because know, Daily Wire is making those films and everything, and so I actually reached out to the, the guy who's handling a lot of the production and stuff, saying, hey, I'm a writer. I reckon we could do something in regard to Star Wars. He said they didn't have the budget for it, but that he was interested. He said, maybe pitch me a script sometime. And I was like, all right. Instead of a script, how about I show you a graphic novel? That's like a storyboard. Let's see oh, that. Hell yeah, dude. And uh, and then we might be able to see if we can actually produce something film-wise uh, and really push this to, to some 
some big plays. Because like I said, there's still a fan base. There's people that want these great stories, things that resonate deeply, that have those universal truths that inspire us to be better, that's being destroyed. We barely get that. And like House of the Dragons is just a brief kind of, I don't know, blip in the radar of the sludge we've been going so all right we can make our own and we can make it really really good and so it's all starting here and it's exciting and the more that this graphic novel get goes further let's let's really do it let's dive all in and uh and uh and bring on the iron age as they bring say. on mm-hmm. the iron age i love that yep. straight uh, speaking of which that's our guest next week mr iron hey, age really himself nice. Razor Fist will be joining us next Friday. That should be fun. Uh, good job, Exodus. Goo. We have some other guests we're working on, but they're they're more of a, they're going to drop in when they feel like it because uh, that's just the way it goes, and we've given them permission to do that. So mm-hmm. uh, we'll keep you posted. On they have that. consent. They have consent. They have the keys. They have the they have the code to the alarm. They know how to get here. They know who they are too. Um, so I just dropped a video this morning, dropping a video Sunday, 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 uh, the final rings of power review. It is the end of an era, but like, you know how it goes around here. We got at least a week, two, three of content after the show airs, uh, the same, our first rodeo. And what do we do next? Whatever Hollywood does, I, uh, you know, it's the holidays. We got a couple of movies coming out and there will be certainly stuff. And of course, Dr. Who. Doctor Who, I will be oh, live. Oh, fuck. I will be ass. live <laughs> with this guy. I pulled him into it. I pulled him back in. See, I'm pulling him right now. Get over here. Suck your ass. Get over here. Get, get over oh, here. It's like just over a week away, man. It is, brother. As you're so good at watching bad television. Um, it is It is a yeah, week. Man. I know. It is but a, I, oh, it, no, it's a week from Sunday. A week from Sunday. You and I will be live after it airs in the good old UK. Um, the f- we're gonna say goodbye Shit. to the last female doctor played by Jody Whitaker, <laughs> who we will love. I won't be available Dr. next Karen. Sunday, guys. Well, this yeah, <laughs> that will be available next Sunday, guys. What time is it on? I might be. I might be. Well, we, be. we only do like an hour and a half. It's on. No, no, no. What, we, you we, tell we, me what be, time it's joking. on. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just joking. I'm joking. It's your country. You tell me what time it's on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't well, care. Like, That's your, the thing. I don't care. TV is so fucking weird over there. It's like your show will come out weekly, but it'll come out like sometimes at 10, sometimes at 11, sometimes at 1030. Uh, That's the BBC, yeah. It's after country yeah. file. That's all I know is that's after country file. And I watch you nice English people talk about the environment for a half an hour and then some actual well, English uh, countryside thing. I love how there's no difference between your country from north to south practically. And there's like a country file. Just it says the people. Sorry, sorry, Gary, I'm confused. Are you speaking to Dispery now? I am. I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. I was. He's really good. As I love you, man. I I genuinely, I, as is so great. He, he is, as is the best. And, he just doesn't want to uh, see Doctor Who, but I, I, I want to see the bitch go. And it's a ninety-minute episode, for fuck's sake. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. All right. So yeah, Orlando meetup. I'll be there Thursday. Prior to the meetup, we're going to be going to Universal that day and spending, yeah. I guess, the entire day and night at Universal. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. You're going to be tired. I'll probably just end up getting a place near your content house. Not too close, but near. Uh, well, once we near, that far, out. Wherever, wherever you are. are. Wherever you are. Uh, Garrett, have you got a place to stay yet? Not yet. I was waiting for you. We were waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> wow. <Right. laughs> we'll ta- I'll, I'll talk out, to though. you. Yeah, we'll ta- oh, get, we're going to talk tomorrow, so we'll talk tomorrow about it. All right. Cool. Thanks, everyone, again, for supporting Friday Night Tights uh, and... Geeks and Gamers and Ryan and Shad and Disparu and even Little Comics Division down there. Uh, we, we all thank you. Uh, and may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. Ciao, Bella. Bye-bye. See you next time. Yeah. Ciao, Bella.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.